If you're looking for even more inspiration on how to get the most out of your Sewing Street purchases, then why not sign up to my brand new video platform and online community? It's John Scott's Threads of Life, where every week you'll enjoy hours and hours of exclusive video content, including beginner and advanced sewing classes. You can join me on the road as I travel the country to meet your favorite designers. Plus, we delve into my life story, and that is just scratching the surface. I hope you'll join me on this exciting journey of John Scott's Threads of Life. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How amazing is this, John? Good morning. I can't remember the last time that we stood on air together. No, exactly. And you know what? I am so thrilled to be the lucky one to be <gasps> launching, I mean, your TV launch of Threads Life. How are you feeling? Uh, nervous. Nervous? Really it's nervous. It's the first time I've ever seen John Scott, like, actually nervous. A uh, bit flustered this morning, aren't you? I, I tell you what, we, I came in and Vix was prepping her show with Jenny and I started going, oh, do this. And I was like, I've got to go away. Right, I, you've got to make an appointment now. I do, I do. We very, uh, well, I know that you've been working behind the scenes with the team for a very, very long time in, in prep for this day. And thanks to John. Thank you ever so much, everyone, Hayley and Scott and everyone who have okayed this. But we have got free PMP all day today, thanks to John. Um, and we'll explain why in just a minute. But all you have to do is use the code JAN24PP. And I wanted to announce that straight away just because we want to make sure everybody reaps the benefits of this, don't we? So that is on every order, whether it be the subscription that you're going to get today or any of the items on the website, any of our items with Jenny Jackson or Adele. We've got loads going on today. But I must say this morning, there is a real buzz in the studio, isn't there? Yeah, it's exciting. It is exciting. It is exciting. I just, I'm used to being there, you see, so it's a bit so odd being on this Have you been a guest before? No, never. Not here. No. no. Oh, my gosh. Right, so. Uh, okay. What's your name? Where do you come from? My name's John Scott, <laughs> uh, and I come from Strapped Upon Avon, <laughs> and uh, I work as a shopping telly presenter, <laughs> but I've now launched the John Scott Threads of Life, which... Um, oh. It's a kind of like a Netflix little platform sort of thing. Should we put some graphics in? Because I want you to start buying, because I know people are buying on pre-order oh, already, yes. aren't they? And just so you know, I mean, loads have gone on pre-order already. Right. The most important thing I've got to say as a salesperson <laughs> is... Da, 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 da. Oh, it's... Oh, the anticipation. There it is, but not two-way. Three-way split pay. There you go. Because actually, normally, our split pay, if it's £100, it doesn't kick into three-way split pay unless it's like over... Oh, no, no, two-way two two -way split pay. pay. Yeah, yeah. So I have to thank Hayley and Scott for letting me do that sort of thing. Because the thing is, right, uh, when I said I was bringing it on, first of all, thank you for Sewing Street for letting me bring it on here. Because This I is actually nothing to do with Sewing no, Street. No, no, it's nothing to do with Sewing Street. And it's not, uh, what I want to say is it's not in competition to Sewing Street. It's not yeah. a shopping channel or anything like that. So um, we're working together, basically, yeah. on it sort of thing. They're being very supportive, as I am to them and everything. So it's nothing to do with Sewing Street whatsoever. It's like a little network. Netflix platform, but my own platform sort of thing. And what you do is, can I just explain what oh, it please, is? Yes. So what you do is you pay an annual subscription of 99.99, all three split pays, 33, 33, no interest charge whatsoever. And we don't charge for doing split pay either. But anyway, so it's a Netflix, Netflix type platform where we're going to launch it on next Monday. So a week tomorrow, yeah. it launches, it goes live. And each month you will get different shows loaded up to it that you can watch whenever you want, wherever you want. So you're, there's even going to be an app. I've got so many things. They're all waiting oh, to just go like this, right? Loads, I don't think. But there's going to be an app. So, so you can watch it where you want, when you want. So if you think if it's the middle of the night. You think, oh, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. You can go to, you can go to it, go to the site, log in and watch. And there's going to be, uh, there's a menu. There's everything like that. And it's not just sewing, it's all sorts of things. There's a lot of sewing on it, but it's all sorts of things. John, before we get yeah, too go, far go, into go, go, it, go, just go. because we can just no, keep no. talking and talking yeah. and talking, and there is lots to digest. We've actually got a short video. Oh, OK, we? yes, uh, explain it better than me. Well, it just means that it gives everyone a chance who's on the... Because there's a lot of people already speaking to the customer service team. One thing I must stress is make sure they have your email address. Make sure they have your email address, whether it's your email that's registered to your Sewing Street account or if you're calling on the phone line, just triple check that they have your email because that's where your All subscription the contact, link will come to. Yeah. So before we ask you loads of questions and we talk about it, we'll just have a minute, have a quick watch of this video about John Scott's Threads of Life. 
Hello and welcome to John Scott's Threads of Life, my exciting video platform and online community where you can enjoy a whole host of exclusive content and perks when you become a member. Sign up today and you'll have access to a whole array of brand new TV shows that we're constantly producing exclusively for members. Every week there'll be hours of new content being released. In fact, over the course of your 12-month membership, you'll have well over 100 hours of programming that you are free to watch on demand at a time that suits you. And here's a small flavour of what you can expect. You'll get the chance to hear all my stories from the past six decades in the most fascinating sit-down one-to-one. It's John Scott's life story, and I know you're going to love it. The Sewing Surgery is the go-to show for in-depth tutorials and masterclasses on everything from dressmaking to patchwork and quilting. Join me on the road as I travel the length and breadth of the country in Meet the Designer, where I chat with the biggest names in sewing to take a deep dive into their fascinating lives. Enjoy some light relief as I'm joined on the sofa by some familiar and some new faces in our weekly topical chat show, Loose Threads. And believe me, we keep it loose. The A-List is the show where I'll be interviewing all my showbiz chums and getting them to open up and spill the gossip like no other show they've been on before. We're taking your calls and your emails in Dr. Mike's surgery, where we'll tackle any medical questions and concerns that you have. Behind the scenes is your front row seat as you follow me for the day to see everything that happens when the cameras are not rolling. I'll be hosting live sew-alongs where you'll be able to join in from home and ask any questions as we make and create together. Talking of live, you'll also be able to join me for an exclusive members-only live chat every month so we can really let our hair down and have a good catch-up. Not only will you enjoy all that fabulous video content, but you'll get access to an exclusive online community to chat and share your makes with me and fellow members in a safe and welcoming environment. You'll also have the opportunity to win amazing competitions. Plus, I've got my own app. It's absolutely fantastic because it allows you to watch any of the shows when and where you want. You can even cast them directly to your big screen TV for the ultimate John Scott viewing experience. You can sign up today and be ready to log in when the platform launches on Monday, the 5th of February. And I hope you'll join me on this exciting journey of John Scott's Threads of Life. I'm so excited for you, John. I mean, it looks amazing, doesn't it? And I love the fact that every time I meet somebody new and I tell them I know you, <laughs> I'm friends with John, they're like, what a fascinating career and life you've had. And we always get snippets of it on Sewing Street where we have a chat, but we never actually have the time to just sit and hear about your stories and your lives and your friends. You, I mean, every time I go out with John or have a coffee, it's... Oh, and you know, when I was with Jenny, Jerry Halliwell and I was doing this and I was thinking, oh my gosh, your um, life is just amazing. It's weird. And yeah, I still get miserable about it. Anyway, <laughs> that's fine. So the benefits of buying today, John, right. because a lot of people I know have already joined the community when you launched uh, last week. But today, obviously, we've got it on split pay, which I think is going to help a lot of people at this yes, time of year. I, I, and I have to explain that I, ca I can't offer split pay because the company we set up to do Threads yeah. of Life, it's like when we set up Sewing Quarter, yeah, we were a new company, we couldn't do split pay, whereas uh, obviously Sewing Street have got that facility. Uh, and, so, and so really, really good that they've, they've let me do that and everything. So, so yeah, it's 0% interest, three split payments. Now, there isn't anything physical they will get. No, will they? So no. What so, will happen? So what happens today is you'll pay your £99, £99 or your £33, £33. And then, like, you, whenever you buy anything from Sewing Street, you'll get the... It's invoice? Not, invoice. The invoice thing will come through. Then you won't hear anything from us until midnight on next Sunday, the 4th. The 4th, which is midnight, going 4th going into the 5th, right? You will then get an email from us, John Scott's Threads of Life, saying, this is, your, um, this is how you log in and this is your temporary password. You then go to the website, www.threadsoflife.tv. The page comes up. 
It says sign in, like you do with all, like you do with the lottery, like you do with everything like that. You'll put in your email address. Then you'll put in the password that we have sent you. You can change that. Don't worry, because it'll be a weird, they're always weird, yeah. aren't they? Weird. Yeah. There's a space on the website where you can go and change it to like Vixie's Babies or, you know, <laughs> I Love Kieran or something <laughs> like that. Whatever your password is, I've just given away a password. Stop giving away all my so, <laughs> so, So then what will happen is you can then log in on the morning of the 5th. So that's so you won't hear anything from us until midnight on the fourth. Then you've got all morning on the fifth next Monday to to sign in and do your everything. Have a look round because there'll, there'll be no shows on at that point. I was going to ask what's going to be no, on the site. No, there'll be no the shows on the site. Then there'll be like a little adventure of what is coming, what to expect, what's this that, what's this about, who's on it, and everything like that. And then at two o'clock, we now the thing is, this is why I'm never ever ever going to be in competition with because I won't do anything live while Sewing Street's on. And can I just yeah. confirm that you're not leaving us, are you? No, 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 no. A lot of people are saying, hang on, what's this new John Scott Stories? Like, no, are no. you leaving us? No, I'll still be here 15, 14, 15 times a month, like I am at the Fantastic. moment. Always the same. But so then on the fifth, uh, next Monday at two o'clock, I will go live on the site to officially announce. So you log in at two o'clock next, uh, next Monday and uh, I will pop up going, oh, hello, it's me, I'm live and everything. Now, that bit there, I also need to explain that they, you do not have to be a member of Facebook, you do not no, have to be a member of YouTube or anything. Nothing to do with that. But next Monday, I will go live on Facebook, my YouTube, my Facebook, John Scott Sewing World, and on the site to explain what it's all about then what will happen is uh, we'll then leave Facebook and YouTube and just stay exclusively on the site for the exclusive members. And then we will download the first batch of shows. Okay. Right. So I don't want to give anything away. Have you Mandy's... filmed lots of them already? Oh, yeah, we filmed loads. We filmed okay. loads. So we, I've done, I've been to Brighton. We filmed all the designers there. We've got the most incredible studios. Daniel's got the most incredible studios in Washington, which we go to once a month and do a block of shows while yeah. we're there and everything like that. Well, I mean, this oh, there you been... go. Look, look, look. There's the this studio. has been a long time in the making, hasn't it? Totally. So I'll just explain how it came about. During lockdown, I did a little thing very similar, nowhere near as... It, like... Fabulous as this sort of thing. I have to just say, I mean, Daniel, who's my business partner in this, it, it, I just sit on the sofa and shout. He does all of this. He does all the website. He did the balloons and everything. He is a wizard. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for him because he saw me doing that going, oh, I wanted to do that with John. Anyway, then it was during COVID and everything. And then he's been badgering me ever since. Go, let's do this. And I'm going, no, I'm not coming. Because it was a live show before. Whereas this time, it's literally, we will upload shows to the site. You will get an email to say a new show's up. But while you're on the site, you can look at a calendar to see what's coming up next month and the month after. Do you know what I love as well about the site is that this platform also has a community. And it's all completely secure and safe. There's no, you know random rogue people no, getting no, in. Not it's not like a Facebook group that anybody can get involved in. You're all there and it's safe because, I mean, my mom doesn't do Facebook yeah. and she's really quite, I don't do Facebook, I don't want to, I, and I know a lot of people are a bit, you know, scared of online things. So just know that this is all one secure platform, but it still has that community. And when you're joy, joining the sewing community and a reason why Sewing Street is so popular is because you do share your mates, you ask tips, you speak to yourself. And I'll be, I'll be, You'll be there, there. Because uh, all the shows, it's not a live show. So, because if it was a live show, we'd have to say, you have to be there every Tuesday at yeah. two o'clock or whatever. We didn't want that. We wanted you because I know I have some nights and Jenny Jackson had a night last night where she couldn't sleep last night. Right? Yeah. You can go to the site and you can watch the show and watch it. And if you love man, take, well, I'll, I'll give you a clue, right? Mandy Shaw is on the first show, right? Her, her meet the designers on the first so show. Did you go to her house? We went to her house. We sat in her kitchen. She made cake for the boys. She didn't make any cake for me. <laughs> um, but anyway, she, but, so we do meet the designers. In a, you can watch that. The minute it comes up on your, on your site, or in the middle of the night, you think, oh, I want to watch Mandy because she makes me laugh. You can watch it then. You can watch it next Tuesday. If you've got, you get the app, right? So on when you get your email, there'll be a, a link of how to get the app as well. You can go to the dentist or be waiting for your kids at a football match and watch it on your phone. Is there a time limit of no. when I can watch it? So no, can watch it's it there the whole month. time. Uh, 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 I'll the whole, watch it again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can watch it as many... There, there, there's, Mandy. Oh, there's Mandy on the bottom left-hand corner there. Watch it as many times as you like. But also, I don't know how to do this yet. Daniel's got to teach me. You can cast it. If you don't do that. Oh, don't you? No. 
There is literally, I haven't got my phone here, but I'll teach you how to do it. It's so easy. I know exactly what you're going to okay, say, that you on. can cast it onto your TV. Yeah, 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 but have so some smart TV. Don't if you're on the platform, there'll be a little button that looks like a square telly with a bit of a fizzy bit on it. And if you click that, it can link to your smart TV. So, right. yeah, you so you can cast it, which is brilliant. Now, we've had loads of questions, John, coming right. yeah, in yeah, yeah. about, you know, um, vouchers, codes, split pay, all of this. Please, will you speak to the customer service team? It's 0800 001 4433. Our producer can't do anything from his end in terms of your own personal voucher code. If you are in a country that you can't deliver to, that we can't deliver to, it's still worth speaking to the call centre. Oh, no, 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 because, to email yes, it yeah, no, no, we've had no already, physical. we've had people from Australia buy, this Fantastic. is direct to me, and we've had loads of people from America. Someone from Northern Ireland. Uh, oh, Ireland. okay. Ireland. Uh, Ireland, not yeah. Northern Ireland, yeah. Uh, speak to the call centre, because everybody should be able to buy Fantastic. this, wherever, wherever you are in the world, because there's no, you won't get, don't be expecting your delivery drive, you know, like, we always have the same boy delivers that sort of thing. He won't be bringing <laughs> you anything from me. If you buy Jenny Jackson's and all that, you will do, but this... You don't get any, nothing comes through your door. Right, can I show you what it does? Oh, yes. Um, so, oh, yeah. yes, of course. Don't forget your PMP. If you're being charged PMP, make sure you're using your code Jan24 PMP. If you want them to take it off, don't panic. Speak to the customer service team. They can take it off for you. It's supposed to be free. Well, it is free PMP all day long today, whether you're purchasing John Scott's Threads Alive or whether you're purchasing anything from the Sewing Street today. But your 12 month membership can i show you exactly what that includes? oh yes 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 so you have your exclusive video content which is going to be brand new each week right That's okay. 120 videos am i right well, yeah yeah so Haley looked at that and she went oh do i just get one a week and it's no you get a, so when we launch there'll be i think there's either between five or eight going next monday and then every week there will be three different shows okay and uh, it could be anything it could be the uh, meet the designer it could be well we'll go through the shows and the yeah. internet thing so literally it's not one show a week you will get some shows are an hour long the meet the designers are oh, all nice. an hour long then we've got um my life story that's half an hour long each time and then it, the shows the shortest show is like 20 minutes of thing but you will get over 100 hours can i also just point out like a lot of people message me going 99 pounds 99 pence that's less than two pounds a week wow how much do you spend on well well i've just bought my coffee yeah at, at even at McDonald's, it's more than two pounds. So, so I just wanted to put that into perspective. You know what I mean? That was all. Right. So back to the back to the. Uh, so then also exclusive live stream and sew alongs yes. as well. So that's where we have a designer who will design a kit. You will buy it most probably from Sewing Street. So okay. this is why we're working in conjunction. So say, okay. let's for example say it's Joe Carter or something like that. She could design a toy. Mm -hmm. You buy it from here, and then we will from the studio in Warrington about a month later do. From it's like um, Jamie Oliver and what's the one that swears a lot? Um, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> they do Christmas dinner, don't they? Where they actually stand with you and chop the sprouts and chop yeah. the. So it'll be like that. So we open so. the box, we make, and it could be anything from any of our designers. I love that because as much as you know, we're fantastic at doing lots of demonstrations. We only have a set amount. Yes, of time well, it was to like today, isn't it? All. Adele's doing the most incredible jeans, jeans, but she can only show you in her time the zip, the zip bit today yeah. because you can't. Whereas we will do the whole thing, sort of thing. Fantastic. Okay. We'll go back to the slide. Again. So it says exclusive online community. Yep. We so mentioned about that you're going to still be able to share your makes and speak to everybody. And ask community. me questions, send me messages. Okay. And then every now and then the, on that online community, we will be live as well to have a chat and everything. An exclusive competition? Yes, now. So I've, it's not a shopping channel. No. You're not going to be buying You things. can't buy anything. Uh, can I just tell you, <laughs> everybody's seen my pictures on Facebook. I haven't got a mug here, but everyone on has seen my pictures going, oh, I love those mugs. Um, so we are, look, 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 look. Are we going to be able to have the mug? Uh, eventually, okay. we're going to sort that out so you can have the mug. But we don't, have, because, our, because we're not a shopping telly, we don't have a shop within the site yet. So yeah. Daniel has to work on that to see, because yeah. eventually we'll have a badge as well, because yeah. everyone loves a badge. But you do they? get competitions. But so, so, right, the first competition is if you sign up before the launch date, which is the 5th, yeah. right? If you sign up before then, so anybody who signs up today, anybody who's already signed up via me direct, your names will go in a virtual hat and you will win a prize. Now, I can't tell you, not you will, one of you, okay. one of you will win a prize, right? I can't tell you how much it's worth because I've just, I've just rung around all the designers going, Jenny Jackson's brought her prize in today. Oh, so we're going to make a, a mystery prize. Camper. 
So one person will win all of that. But you'll see that when you, when you log in on the 5th, you'll be able to see that. I'm not showing you now, but I'll tell you, Mandy Shaw's sending something in. Uh, Sandy Chocolate Chip Cookie sending something <gasps> in. Oh. All the designers are all sending something for this mega, mega competition. But we'll have competitions going on throughout the year. And also app of Android and Apple devices. Yes, yeah. So your phone, your tablet, your smart TV, we're yeah. going to be able to watch it on the go. And I love that as well. You know, when you're sitting waiting for... You're sitting on the train or you you can also download it. Yes, that's the other thing. Yeah. I don't understand any of this. So if you know you're going to go on an aeroplane, yeah. you can download... Say you wanted to see... For oh, my life. Oh, yeah, all 12... Well, you can't download them until they've They're all... But, but whatever's there... You could download them. So like on the first week, I've got Mandy Shaw. If you're thinking, oh, I haven't got time to watch that now, but I know I've got to go and wait for my boy to play football on Sunday or get on an aeroplane, you can download it to your device and then watch it on the aeroplane or whilst you're on the foot side. Without the Wi-Fi, basically, yeah, yeah. which is brilliant, yeah. isn't it? Really convenient. Loads of messages coming in for you, John. Uh, we've got a few about the, the um, vouchers and different things, so speak to the customer service Speak team. to the customer service but team. Everyone's very, very excited. Mm. Uh, congratulations on the launch of your new adventure. We had a message, so great that you have it on split pay can't wait for this show thank you uh, the other thing i was going to say is on my facebook live a couple of sundays ago i was talking about what people would like to see and everything and then somebody came up with this brilliant idea that we go and visit the fans one at a time all the fans come into the studio in warrington and we see their makes and talk okay. about... So, like, I just That's saw a message really from Julie Vaughan. So, if we go to... I'm not going to give away where Julie Vaughan lives, but I know where she lives, right? We <laughs> could go to Julie Vaughan's house, sit in her house, talk to her about the, the kind of what she's made, how she got started, how she's inspired by Sewing Street, who her favourite designs are. So, we just suddenly thought that's another way That's of getting nice. everyone involved. So it's not it? all completely set in stone on the shows that you're doing. You're asking people's input no. still. So yes, totally. So far, can we give away some of the shows that you can you've you can, you can Because if you go now to www.threadsoflife.tv, oh. there is, I think it's there already. You can see different things that are, that are planning to come up. But you can ask me about any of the shows. So now. there's, well, your brother's involved, isn't he? Yeah, my, my older brother's involved. Now, he, he hasn't got a show launching on the first day. Yeah because he's done an advert saying, please send me your medical questions. Now, when we did it Your last time... Your brother's a doctor. Well, no, yeah, he's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's, a, he's a consultant surgeon, actually. OK. But, but, but he will take any medical questions, because he's a general surgeon. It doesn't have to be about surgery. And what he doesn't know, he'll find out for you and everything like that. But we have lots of people... Oh, there he is. There he is. He's, not, he's the one on the left, not the one on the right. That's Alison on the right there. <laughs> See, Alison's already been into the studio to, to, to film a couple of shows as well. Alison Reed's been in. But anyway, so what you'll do is you'll send in your questions to my brother and then I will film with him all of your questions and he will have time to explain it to you and everything like that. So, it's, you know, like on the daytime shows, like when I was on this morning, Dr. Chris used to be on with me, right? He would have three minutes per answer. Yeah. Mike can have as long as he wants to answer. So okay. if it's something that only takes three minutes, it'll take three minutes. And we're going to have people phoning in. Oh, on the medical oh, one, yes. so people can ring. When, when we do it, when it's up and running, you'll be able to actually ring in and go, this is my problem, and he can talk to you through the screen about your so actual good. problem, which will help other people as well. Oh, and, that is brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I love the fact that you've got cooking involved as well. Oh, yeah, so there's, uh, there's, there's cookery, two, there's meat bakery. designer, there's uh, the Simply Delicious, there's... Uh, Fran oh, you know my friend Francesca, right? She always cooks the most incredible fan uh, Italian meals when I go to her house. We're going to do Francesca's Kitchen, where we do all of her favourite Italian food. Well, my favourite Italian dishes that she makes, like a cookery show. I mean, that's brilliant. And I want to be a guest on Loose Threads. Oh, yes, yeah, Loose Threads. That's a bit, bit like Loose Women, um, <laughs> where three of us sit on a sofa. And we already had Pete Price in and Michelle Eagleton and Sheila Brayshaw. This is the, the right-hand picture of those, right? That's us in the green room at, uh, on Air Media there. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, that, so we're going to do... Uh, we've already filmed a lot of those and been filming more of those. And I want you to come on and sing as well. So oh, sing yeah. Oh, it's going to be great, honestly. For anybody who hasn't yet subscribed, there is still time. There is a massive queue on the phone line. So we're going to do a little 40-second recap video of, you know, what you're going to get and what the, the platform's going to look like. I know it's very, very busy. Thank you. Um, you're the best early bird we've ever had. <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Do make sure you're checking out your baskets. Select split pay and don't forget free P and P as well. Do make sure you're checking out and we're back in just a second. If you're looking for even more inspiration on how to get the most out of your Sewing Street purchases, 
then why not sign up to my brand new video platform and online community? It's John Scott's Threads of Life, where every week you'll enjoy hours and hours of exclusive video content, including beginner and advanced sewing classes. You can join me on the road as I travel the country to meet your favorite designers. Plus, we delve into my life story, and that is just scratching the surface. I hope you'll join me on this exciting journey of John Scott's Threads of Life. Uh, now, uh, Vicky's just said to me, there's loads and loads of questions coming through on the, um, yeah. what's that thing Facebook. called there? Facebook Live, right? I'm really dithery as a guest. It's just as well I'm a <laughs> no, presenter. I love it. <laughs> um, you can. Now, this isn't done in branding. Michael's just made this for me. If you need to ask any questions at all about it, Daniel is at the other end of this, right? Hello at threadsoflife.tv. That's the email address for any questions you might have. Don't put Hello. .com at the end. No, right, <laughs> do not put .com because you'll go through to a shop in Bali. Lovely shop. Lovely shot, but don't go. So hello at threadsoflife.tv. He's sitting there with his computer on now. He can answer any questions. So if you're thinking, oh, but what about this? Or I don't understand about casting it off. <laughs> I always thought what you did was you put your phone towards your telly like that and you moved like that. Uh, like a fishing <laughs> rod, like casting out. Uh, anyway, he will answer your questions if you need to ask any questions now. Now, yeah, remember, while stocks last, this will all be on, this will be on the website till the end of the day. Oh, but, that is a good point, actually. I don't know whether we're going to be able to do it on split pay again, because this is like, you know, our exclusive launch for oh, you. Oh, OK. And I also don't think you'll be able to do free PMP. Because right, you no. fought for that today, Right, now, I did, I did have to fight for that. Yes, yeah, so if you buy it after today you will be charged PMP because it's not that there's an actual postage charge, but there's the administration costs and everything like that. And also it is quite difficult for them. So, so basically Scott said, you know what, John, why don't you have just free PMP for, for today? <laughs> so if you, buy, if you buy it next week, if there are some left that week, or well, I'll be mentioning it forever now, won't I? But do you know what I mean? You might, will have to pay PMP. So wh what I'm saying is next time, you, if you come in another day to buy it, make sure you buy something else, like a sewing machine at the same time. <laughs> so you've paid your PMP on the sewing machine. You're not just paying for that PMP. But today, it's free PMP for the whole day. What was the Can code? Can I show you the code? Yeah. Because I've forgotten it. And we want to make sure that everybody has written it down. You and have got to it put ready. the code in, though. Use the code. Don't panic if you forgot to do it. Ring the call centre. They'll take it off for you. It's Jan 24 PP. Jan 24 PP. Midnight tonight. Remember, all of your orders will be consolidated into one, one order number, basically. If it's still showing the £3.95 PMP, just hold off until, you know, later because it will be taken off for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, if it's saying PMP on your delivery note, it will be taken off at midnight. You won't be charged PMP at all. No. Um, I'm so grateful that you managed to get it on three-way split pay as well because, look, 33.33, so you pay the one payment today just for anybody who is maybe new to sewing street mm. i know a lot of people who follow john scott who might be watching for john the first scott, time <laughs> um if you do purchase from us and select split pay so easy to do there's a little column on your checkout button on your checkout basket um you click that and you'll pay the first payment today which is interest free no credit checks needed you just pay your 3333 and then next month you'll get charged again 3333 and then the following month so that's what march then you're paid off after yeah january february march yeah year. so the end of march you'll pay and that's it then for the whole year fantastic john so happy to join you um you give us so much it's nice to be able to support you and oh and get more of you in return oh sharon. sharon thank you the thing is i'll just tell you something in a minute right Oh, another message. Morning, John and Vicky. Just bought my subscription. Really looking forward to this, John. That's from Tracy. Oh, right. Because a lot of it. Thank you, Tracy. But a lot of people, you know, I do a Facebook Live on a Sunday. And that won't stop, by the way. That won't stop. So if you can't afford it or if you don't want this, my Facebook Lives on a Sunday won't stop. But they'll just be me. It started off during COVID of how to make the scrubs bags. Do you remember? I yeah. did a demonstration. Then we did how to make the masks. And we had to make how the, the scrub hats and everything. And then they just, they carried on. Then we did sew alongs. I did a Joe Carter toy and a, a Baffer bag and things like that. Now. It's just become a nice chat, hasn't At it? four o'clock okay. on a Sunday afternoon on my threads of, no, hang on. No. Oh, John's got so many worlds. John's got so many world Facebook, right? Uh, we just chat on the Facebook, right? There's no. It's just me in my, well, you, that picture of me in the shirt in my bedroom. Well, it's not a bedroom, my office. <laughs> my office. Not that one. They're, they're all the studio. The one that being the yellow shirt. It was on the video. It wasn't the photo. Yeah. Um, and that, should, that, won't, that won't stop, right? But people say to me, oh, you're so kind giving up your time. It got me through COVID as much as it got you through COVID. So people say, oh, you're very, very generous. I love it. I wouldn't yeah. do it 
if I didn't love it. I wouldn't spend, because when I do a show on a Sunday, it's fine today. Oh, no, it's not fine, because I have a personal training session after this. <laughs> but normally, I finish the show on a Sunday, because I'm always here on a Sunday, aren't I? I pelt home, stop at Waitrose, buy my dinner, get home, make my coffee, set it all up, do my Facebook Live, and then that's my Sunday complete then. I, I love it as much as you love it. So it's kind of... I'm grateful. I'm grateful that you send me lovely messages going, thank you, Sir John, John, for this is my... Some people message in going, you're the only person I've spoken to this week. And for oh, me, yeah. that's enough. That's yeah. enough. If I've made one person happy like that, then that's completely enough. I, I kind of have a little sob every now and then with, along with you and everything when you've got sad stories. But that won't stop. But obviously, the exclusive ones will still happen from Threads of Life. And I love the fact that you're still... We're going to get even more... Of... Sadly. <laughs> We're going to get even more of John, which is just what we love. We get every now and then we have to go back into, come on, John, you're at sewing street, you've got to sell the sewing machine, you've got to do this. Yes. Whereas actually, lots of us want to hear your story. Exactly. So it is full of but but not just my story. So like when we've got it, like today, you've got Jenny Jackson on, yeah. right? During the show, you could start a story and Jenny could say, oh, I first learned how to do EPP. But then in your ear, you go, oh, we've got to sell it now, move along, we've got to go on to the next thing, right? Whereas there's none of that. So on all the Meet the Designers, basically, we just sit and chat for a whole hour. So all the stories, I'll just explain this to you, all the stories that we start here... Like, like, Mandy, like Mandy Shaw, who knew she used to be a nurse? Oh, just yeah. mean, and yes, I knew at the back of my head, that, but she, on her uh, Meet the Designer, she chats all about being a nurse and funny yeah. stories about being a nurse. So it's all the things that we can't do here. Is it all the designers from here? No, no, it's all not this, just designers. So there's, yeah, so, there's other faces we don't there know. There will be a lot, because if you think we've got a lot of hours to fill. Yeah. So uh, there you go, look, there's Fiona Hesper Hesper's there. Is this the little, oh yeah, Mandy Shaw. Shaw. Um, so that these we went to all their houses. These are all their, their people's houses. I bet you loved that. I hope she's not got that top. On. Oh, Lisa Lamb's got the most gorgeous house. Lovely 1930s. Wendy Orlando's house is amazing. <laughs> uh, oh, you need to start doing through the keyhole yeah, on um, there yes, as well. Yes, exactly. I had a good old nosy one. Oh, so we went to Sarah Brangwyn's um, sewing studio in the garden. So it was lovely. Now, Tara Sparks, you won't know her, will you? She's no, gorgeous. She's a machine embroiderer. Okay. And she's absolutely adorable. So all of your guests, on obviously, on the Meet the Designer are sewers, but you You've also got some of your A-list friends. Well, uh, Hundreds in baskets, oh, by the way. Oh, thank you so now, much. Now, we don't have a complete... We've had to put a number on it today, yes. haven't we, really? And it, it and way over half of that has gone. And that was a number a bigger big than number. we ever thought. Because because it, I'm not selling you anything physical. physical. Like, if I had a, a bundle of something, we'd have to say how many we've got. Yeah. Right? This is, so, so... Uh, thank you. Anyway. Yes, there's um, loads. Uh, but yes, but there's going to be all sorts of people on there. So next, oh, oh, the phone's ringing. <laughs> who's in on a Sunday? Uh, um, uh, so, oh, it's called Centre, but they're overwhelmed, overwhelmed. Um, so uh, now, how can I give a clue away about? So yes, so meet the designers are all sewing people. A listers. A listers. All of. Oh, hang on, all of the. Uh, Sewing so surgery are yeah. people who are experts in their field. So, yeah. like you've seen Rebecca, Joe, and Alison, and everything. Yeah. But we're also filming other people. So, um, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, not next week, the week after, I'm filming. A f we haven't, we didn't list it. It's John's friends who've got fabulous jobs. Right? Okay. So, we'll be interviewing Nadine Baggett, the beauty expert. We'll be interviewing. Now, Dr. Jeff Foster is an expert in male hormone treatment, right? Okay. Right, now, you might probably thinking, well, what's that got to do with me? If you listen to what he's got to say, a lot of my ladies will go, oh, my husband's... Oh, my husband's yeah. a bit like that. Yeah. Oh, my husband gets hot spelled. He's brilliant. So yeah. we're going to be doing an interview with him sort of thing. I've got an idea for another one. If oh, you, Because you do behind the scenes as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it in a second, but I want you to do one of your PT sessions because you said you get home, you put your PE kit on. I just imagine you and your plimsolls. Like no, I've, I've got a proper... It, well, you call it a PE kit. Yeah, well, it is your PE kit. It's a pair of shorts <laughs> and a T-shirt, isn't it? And actually, I look quite good in a PE kit at the moment. Well, can we do a behind the scenes well, PT session with you? Well, I was actually thinking... Well, motivator. Maybe, or I was thinking, maybe people would want to do exercise... You tell me what you want, but maybe... We could do exercises people could do at home yeah. that don't have weights and don't have the, the... I'm very lucky that I can afford a personal trainer. I give yeah. up other things, but, you know, yeah. uh, I can afford a personal trainer to come to see me all the time. Whereas some people at home going, well, I don't want people coming around to my house. I'm, but with bags of sugars and tins that's, of molasses I think that's or really whatever. That's a really good idea. I just, thought, I just thought of that. Then maybe get out, because he's quite... He, um, what's it on the eyes? We're pleasing on the eyes. Well. Oh yeah, getting so, involved. So so we'll get at the moment he's wearing his because we because we work outside at the moment. We're in the garage, right? Fabulous. With the garage door open, so all the village 
that whenever they see his car in the drive, suddenly everyone's walking their dogs going, all right, John, all right, John. And I'm like, oof, oof, let this in the garage. And they're all like... look at the eye candy Yeah, of course garage. they are. So I'll get him to... We could do that, couldn't we? So have you filmed some of these behind the scenes? We've done shows. two behind the scenes so far. We've done one of me... Behind the scenes? Uh, behind the scenes. Oh, love the pun. Yes, not behind the scenes. It is behind the scenes, but it's called behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. brilliant. So you, you go, actually you're going to do one here, them. aren't you? We're going to do one here as well. We're going to interview Steve. Great. We're going to interview Scott. We're going to interview everybody here as well. Oh, uh, Ben. Oh, right. Now, would you like to know... Uh, I'll uh, throw it out there. Ben is now an ambassador for non-alcoholic... Is it just beers or drinks? And, 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 yeah, so, so would you like to see one of those? Ben working out what beers he wants to show? Yeah, we That's can do that one. as well. That's a Get good Vicks on to see. Do you sing. want to do behind the scenes with the twins? Oh. All the babies. A no. day in the life. No, but we might see the, the, nice, three. the nice cashmere blankets that they have over their laps. <laughs> <laughs> I bought, I just explained, I bought these two rather gorgeous cashmere They're blankets beautiful. for the girls. I, and then we were on the other day and there was a, pic, there was a picture of the girls in the outfits that Ben had bought. And then there's another picture on the, in social media. And I was like, she never... Anyway, yesterday or the day before, she took a video of the two girls in the prams with their blankets. She had, they don't go out when it's raining. <laughs> oh, not, the, not the girls, the blankets. <laughs> when it's muddy or anything like that. So Only we could do that. Yeah. Only for the posh days. Um, can I just remind everybody who is just tuning in? Yep. In, yep. Why Look, we've gone over here. time already. It's not very often. I know. Sorry. And don't worry, Jenny will get a complete demo time. Don't worry. Yeah. But I've, there's a lot of people who are very excited about your new platform. For anyone who is just tuning in. Right. Why? I mean, it's not very often that you come in as a guest, is no. it? No. Well, I'm going home in a minute. It's really weird because when I came in this morning, I normally Before arrive... Before your lunch? No, no, because I normally arrive with my big Waitrose bag and inside I've got my avocado and my tomatoes for my breakfast. You still but... got here at... Before any of Oh, us. no, because I didn't want to change my alarm alarm clock. No, Ben was here for me today. Oh, right. I know, that was the first. <laughs> uh, but, but I normally bring... All, and I, in my little tray here, I've had my snacks. I haven't brought any of that and it felt a bit weird leaving the house with any of it. So, this is my new platform. It's like a subscription platform, exclusive, so the people who subscribe to it will have access to all wow. these different shows. It'll be like a Netflix thing. It's not like a live show where you have to be there at two o'clock on a Thursday morning. You can watch any of... Look at Lisa Lam. She was so funny. She did... Now, in the middle of hers, she suddenly does an origami demonstration. <laughs> I don't know why, why. We had all her bags on the table and everything. She suddenly went, of course, I love origami. And she started doing an origami demonstration. And I love the fact that you can keep rolling with that, whereas on a live show, you'd have you'd be, to... I'd be like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. So there's... Because there's no pressure to oh, sell anything fine. at yeah. all. But what we also do is things that you've bought from Sewing Street, like kits you've bought from Sewing Street or fabric you've bought from Sewing Street, we're going to give you ideas. And believe me, we talk about Sewing Street a lot. So it's not like, yes. oh, them and us. I just want oh, you to know... Oh, this is not in competition It's, it's, it's nothing. It's we're not in competition. Different. We're not selling anything. It's completely different. It's just... And also, we don't do medical... Pro well, I sometimes do, but we <laughs> don't do medical problems here. We don't do cookery here. We don't do baking here. So it's all... Uh, uh, you know what I mean? It's all these different things that... Uh, oh, there, there, that, that's, uh, that's... That's uh, your house. That's my house. Oh, you're not seeing that at the moment. That's you are me. behind us. Oh, there, there I am. <laughs> Show no, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so basically, for your £99.99, pence, it's only available on split pay here, right? Yes, I, I'll be honest, you can buy it directly from me, but I can't offer you split pay, right? You can't, so this is the only place you're going to get just split pay. Just doing the math, that's like just over £2. Under, just under, under £2. Under £2 pounds a It's one ninety three a week. Fantastic. And if you think about how many shows you're going to get, you're going to get at least 120 shows wow. over the year, which you can watch... Any time, there it is, cast the telly, see? There's Joe Carter, yeah. look. Um, uh, you can cast it to your telly, you can watch it on your computer, you can watch it on your that thing, Tablet. you can watch it on that thing. There's an app, so you can take it with you wherever you want to go. If you go on How do I download the app? Will I get information? Right, okay, so what happens is you buy this today, You'll Which get... is important, you buy yeah, today, can yeah. I just oh, say? Because yeah. you get three-way split pay, free P and P. Free P and P, but you need to put the Which code in. I don't think we'll be able to do on another day. And no, we will talk no, about this no, on another day, no. but you won't get free P and P, and you won't get split pay. I don't. Well, I don't know that. We'll try, but we definitely won't do free P and P. We have more in baskets than we have allocated today, John. And I know we did a okay, massive, so massive the number. Okay, so the number, the number that we. <laughs> That we said, they said, and we, and Daniel chose the number, and he said, and I was like, Daniel will never sell that many, but put it in, you know, I'll, to please him, we'll put it in. So more yeah. uh, baskets, more people than we've got allocation. Don't worry, I can get more. 
Oh, now. And oh. everyone can join this community, yes, can't yeah, they? Yeah, and yeah. I love the fact that if you're getting it today as well, you're definitely going to be entered into the prize draw. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Pass. And the split pay, because I don't know if they'll do the split pay again, because no. that was a launch special. Especially the three-way split, three split pay. The three-way split pay. What do you mean? Is How do you mean? Is it just the sheer amount of people? Okay, it's oh, vouchers, okay. multiple vouchers, all that sort of thing. So international shipping, don't worry about the whole shipping thing. It, you will definitely get one if you're checking out today. We've made sure that the technical team in the office... Well, actually, yes, because if you've paid for it, right? Oh, is it, uh, there's issues that you're checking out. Oh, okay, but don't, don't worry, um, we'll, it'll be sorted. It'll be sorted. Right, we will have sold it. I'm, well, I'm back we'll in on... It today. What day is it today? Sunday. I'm in on Tuesday. Okay. So, like, I'll make sure that everything's sorted for you. But please don't stress. Please don't stress about it. And thank you so much. Right. <gasps> I bet... How does it... I bet uh, you're now, well, now, you got really is, nervous before you I, came I am on. still now. <laughs> I am still now. Um, I, I, I'm humbled. I really, really, really am humbled. Because it's a luxury... Yeah. And I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to tell you not to buy it, but it's in this of day course. and age, it is a luxury. And I know this is why I was desperate for the split pay because 99.99 is a lot to put for you know to put out in one for some of us. You know what I mean? The fact you can do it 33, three 33, way. Uh, three way split pay. Yeah. Uh, so let me just explain because I've got to go. Look at the time. Um, so what happens is, is you buy it today. You'll get your receipt from Sewing Street or invoice thing that they yeah. all send you, right? Yeah, because it comes through on an email, yeah. doesn't it, right? You'll get that. Then you won't hear anything till midnight on Sunday night. Oh, no, a week today. Which is the 4th of February. 4th of February, right? So at midnight on the 4th, going into the 5th, right? So um, you can then, you'll get an email giving you how to log in and your temporary password. That will give you access to the... Um, the platform. The platform. I can't do my words, right? <laughs> and then, and then, for, and then at two o'clock on the fifth, uh, the first. I, I can't remember if it's five or eight shows. will go completely live, but I'm going to do a live show on the platform, but also on YouTube and my Facebook page, so people who haven't subscribed can have a quick look and go, "Oh, I really should have got that. Really should have bought oh, that." Oh, but you'll only get the first ten minutes, and then so, it'll all go. Then it'll, it'll go Facebook. to exclusive. It'll then it'll go to exclusive. Go to yeah, the members. exactly. So it's exactly. definitely worth just getting it. So you're there. You're ready for yeah. it. You've got your username. Um, just again, just to remind you. It will be the email that you've got on your account. So it will come through to the email that you've got registered with Sewing And check your spam. Because because I, yeah. I what did I do recently? And I oh I was oh no it was really important. It was my accountant. I kept saying you've not sent it. You've not sent it. I said, John, we have sent it. They said go and check your spam. And it was just a random email from I'd gone to my spam. So if on the morning of the fifth you haven't got anything, go and check your spam. Or you can email. Can we just show that email address again yeah. for me? Hello at Hello. Of life dot TV. Yeah, you must do dot TV, not dot com, because you'll go through to a shop in uh, Bali. Beautiful shop in Bali, but it's not me. Tracy I just said. Good morning, all. Subscription purchase for my birthday. Happy birthday, Tracy. There's so many messages. But Thanks for yeah. your dedication, John. Congratulations. I'm sure your shows will be a great hit. Right. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I've got to. Go oh, oh, no, it's you. It's you. No, you're the presenter. Oh, go on. Tell me again. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. You're right. You can only producer. use one voucher at a time. So you can either do split PMP or. No, no split, free PMP. Free PMP or oh. split no, 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 no. You use both of wrong. them. You can use free PMP or your ten pound voucher. If oh. you've got a ten pound voucher, which I presume was in the advent calendar, yes, maybe. yes, yes, yes. It so was. if you do want to use the code, it's in terms and conditions. You I got can't that use completely the wrong. Conditions. So PMP. Yeah, because PMP is not just for the post, is it? It's all sorts, yeah. all sorts of things. Yeah. So if you use your PMP code, you can't use ten pound. You have to save that for another day. Um, but that's not us. To, that's not. Just the thing we're doing today, that's, that's always, just, that's every day. If we were doing another day with normal shopping and everything, it would be exactly the same. If that you day. use your voucher, you can use your voucher, you got £10 off, which is you. Well, yeah, but then you. PMP and, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So you make more of a saving using your voucher than you get your free PMP, don't you? Yeah, but it's up to you. If you want to use free PMP and save you £10 voucher for another day. But, but, but the voucher runs out on the 31st. Oh, so use your, yeah. Yeah, use your so use your voucher, use your voucher and forget the free PMP, that's all. Um, right, John. Yes. Um, are we? Oh my gosh, there are so many of you who have got this today. I can't Lucky little. Jeez just, just said how many people have signed up today, which is just amazing. We're going to sell out, basically. Love it. We, there's more people in baskets than we've actually got stock of today. 
And I said, I said in prep, don't worry, don't worry, we'll never we'll sell that a, many. We'll just have a nice little chat about it. Yeah. Well, they gave us a ridiculous number that we're not going to sell, but yeah, it will sell out today. Thank so, you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm truly true. I'll be on my Facebook Live later. You'll see me sobbing. And enjoy your journey, because I mean, you'll journey home. Your journey back to Waitrose <laughs> on your morning at nine o'clock. Oh, hang so on, Waitrose weird. won't be open. <laughs> it doesn't open till 11, does no. it, on a Sunday? Oh. What are you going to do? Uh, you I'll can hang out here if you want. No, it's fine. I'll go to Costa, Costa Coffee on the way. <laughs> um, is there any last words? Just you thank you say? so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Make sure you check out on it, though. And if you do, if it does get to later in the day and it's sold out, I promise I'll bring more back on Tuesday. Well, I'll, I'll get Daniel to speak to Hayley later and try and get more. Actually, I'll try and do that. So check out the website. If you don't get it today, if it says it's sold out, I'll well, try and get Daniel and Hayley. Me. I'll go and bring Hayley now from my dressing room, right? Oh, but, okay. oh, okay, please, please be, be careful. Double figures now. If you do want it, just make sure you click in split pay using your free PMP code where you can. Um, I don't think it will still be available by the end of the next break. So once you've got home, please, will you get on? I'll, I'm gonna, I'll ring Hayley now. I'll ring, oh, eight, eight, four, five, those. Yeah, I'll ring Hayley now and see if I can get more put in for today. We're and so I'll have to ring Daniel as well. Obviously. And thank you for choosing me to come on and launch the win. <laughs> My absolute <laughs> pleasure. Oh, I need these. <laughs> Yeah, you take your balloons with you. I will do. Thank you so much, John. Everyone, enjoy. Oh, there's, go on, there's going to be over 100 people missing out on this. So we're going to go to a quick break to get everybody checked out. And fingers crossed, I will keep you updated on more. Um, for anyone who's like, what on earth have I missed? I've tuned in to see Jenny Jackson. I've missed something. We'll show the overview during the break. So have a watch of it and speak to the team. We'll and I'll see you on. Tuesday. Take care. Jenny Jackson's going to be coming up with me after this. And I will go through the whole of the day. We've still got loads to do. Jenny Jackson, Adele Rowland's here as well. And free PMP for the rest of the day. So stay where you are. I'll see you after this. Hello and welcome to John Scott's Threads of Life, my exciting video platform and online community where you can enjoy a whole host of exclusive content and perks when you become a member. Sign up today and you'll have access to a whole array of brand new TV shows that we're constantly producing exclusively for members. Every week there'll be hours of new content being released. In fact, over the course of your 12-month membership, you'll have well over 100 hours of programming that you are free to watch on demand at a time that suits you. And here's a small flavour of what you can expect. You'll get the chance to hear all my stories from the past six decades in the most fascinating sit-down one-to-one. It's John Scott's life story, and I know you're going to love it. The Sewing Surgery is the go-to show for in-depth tutorials and masterclasses on everything from dressmaking to patchwork and quilting. Join me on the road as I travel the length and breadth of the country in Meet the Designer, where I chat with the biggest names in sewing to take a deep dive into their fascinating lives. Enjoy some light relief as I'm joined on the sofa by some familiar and some new faces in our weekly topical chat show, Loose Threads. And believe me, we keep it loose. The A-List is the show where I'll be interviewing all my showbiz chums and getting them to open up and spill the gossip like no other show they've been on before. We're taking your calls and your emails in Dr. Mike's surgery, where we'll tackle any medical questions and concerns that you have. Behind the scenes is your front row seat as you follow me for the day to see everything that happens when the cameras are not rolling. I'll be hosting live sew-alongs where you'll be able to join in from home and ask any questions as we make and create together. Talking of live, you'll also be able to join me for an exclusive members-only live chat every month so we can really let our hair down and have a good catch-up. Not only will you enjoy all that fabulous video content, but you'll get access to an exclusive online community to chat and share your makes with me and fellow members in a safe and welcoming environment. You'll also have the opportunity to win amazing competitions. Plus, I've got my own app. It's absolutely fantastic because it allows you to watch any of the shows when and where you want. You can even cast them directly to your big screen TV for the ultimate John Scott viewing experience. You can sign up today and be ready to log in when the platform launches on Monday, the 5th of February. And I hope you'll join me on this exciting journey of John Scott's Threads of Life. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. 
Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Jenny, did you just see that? Did you just watch? Did I? Yes. I if did. you just watched, because yeah. you're part of Threads of Life as well, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was hilarious. Because he came to film me before I'd even moved into my house. Oh, my word. So I had to get like one wall done. <laughs> so it looked all right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, everybody who's already subscribed, you'll see Meet the Designer and you're one of the, uh, yeah, the episodes, indeed. which is really yeah. exciting. It was good fun as well. Before we um, start talking about your, your show, we've just had the most chaotic 45 minutes and I haven't had a chance to even tell you what's coming up today. Haven't sh had a chance to tell you anything about the day. Um, but today, Jenny Jackson is here. Uh, two amazing brand new, well actually, three. Brand new, brand new projects. We've yeah. got an FPP. We've got, sorry that we're a bit late by the oh, way, because I know you're scheduled yeah. for half past, but we've got plenty of time, haven't we? Yeah. We'll make sure that we do all of our FPP with you and EPP coming up two projects on the, the um, Hexi pocket handbag and also the uh, multi-use EPP pouch. Yep. It's coming up in the 11 o'clock show. Uh, and then at 10 o'clock, I'm really excited about a pair of jeans. A demo of a pair of jeans. I've never, ever done that. I think I did it in a past life at Sewing Quarter. And I, as far as I'm aware, I've not seen a jeans demo here on Sewing Street. So I'm really excited for that one. It's Chalk and Notch, which is a brand new um, pattern house for me as well. And then we've also got this Sienna beautiful, it's like a raincoat jacket. Really nice jacket coming up with Adele at 12 o'clock. So we've got a jam-packed day. And it is the perfect day to tell you again that we are doing free postage and packaging all day long, all you need to do is you, the co's, uh, Jan at 24pp. It was supposed to be just for Threads of Life, but we decided, you know, let's just do it for the whole day. So for anything that you wanted to stock up on, it's the perfect time. If you want to get involved in any of Jenny's, Adele's patterns, go for it. We've also got loads of your past projects, actually, that we've yeah. managed to restock. Yeah. So um, we'll get to them in a bit. But let's start with brand new FP. P. How long have you been doing foundation paper piecing, Jenny? I did a bit for Sewing Quarter Day. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't start, that was other people's designs that I okay. did back then. So, quite, well, it's been a couple of years. So, I've been designing. for anybody who is, you know, new to FPP, what's the difference between EPP and FPP? So, FPP is on the machine. Yeah. Sewing on top of a template. I like to just call it sewing on the lines. Yeah. And EPP is hand sewing around templates. This is gorgeous. It's a Liberty as well. We've got two options to show you. Should we start with the Liberty one? So, the Liberty cushion, it's already been flying out. In oh. fact, it's already really limited. I think this is my dad's favourite colourway I've ever done. He saw, he came round the other day, saw the cushion, he was like, oh, it's the best. Isn't it? I absolutely love it. I think this is perfect time of year as well. Lovely and fresh and springy. So, instructions. I know that you always do fantastic thorough instructions, <laughs> but you also get all your papers included as well. You do. So, you get... Um, a set of templates to photocopy, like I did for the strip of the month. You get a set of templates which you can see are on thicker cut paper, go, and they're sure. ones that you can just photocopy. Okay. So we've got all so our there's your instructions. Of step by step instructions. All step always. by step, coloured instructions. Very, very, very clear. And foundation paper piecing. I've seen in books and different things that it's you know different parts of it are just skimmed over, whereas 
with anybody who's doing foundation paper piecing for the first time, it is really handy to be able to have Jenny's yeah. full instructions. <laughs> I like it's to have really as handy. much as possible. So right, then, so these are on thicker paper and they say templates to photocopy. So these, are, they're all true to size. So these ones, up, I think it's four pages. Oh no, it's, it's two, they're back to, like this. They're to photocopy, so then you can make it as many times as you like. Lovely. And then these ones here, they're on single-sided because these are the ones that you use straight away. Brilliant. I mean, that's... You're ready to go. You don't need to go to the photocopier at all. You can just... And, <laughs> and is this one, would you say that this is suitable for somebody who hadn't done foundation paper pieces yeah, before? Yeah, it's pretty easy. I suppose you're doing... It's you're doing repetition. the same thing, yeah. It's just sewing templates together afterwards. And then we've got a metre yeah. of your background fabric for the front and back of the cushion. Yep. And then you've got enough of your Liberty fabric for all of your... Are they flying geese you Yeah, they are. And yeah. your binding as well. And yeah. do you get to choose which one you want yeah, to you use? Yeah, do, you can do it however you like. Um, I know that Jenny's used the lovely red for your the binding. Which I've done a scrappy beautiful. binding. Oh, yeah, you? I think oh, I yes. used three or four of the fabrics. Four. Look, oh, lovely, all of the different ones. So you can choose which one or, or do scrappy binding and you have all of these Liberty and these are quilting weight cottons. They're absolutely stunning. 29.99. Didn't you tell me that it was 34.99, Ben? I'm sure in prep we said that this was over 30, this was 34.99. Fantastic, there you go. And don't forget, use the code JAN24PP and you'll get free postage and packaging today only. Um, so if you're buying John's subscription, which hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you have, um, if you want to um, get the, 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 any of the instructions or kits today, then it's a good date to do it. £29.99 for Liberty. We also have our Brights, which is a lovely rainbow one. Is this the yeah, one that you're going to demo? demo with? Yeah, I tell you what, this price is really good as well. Whichever one you want to go for, whether it be your Liberty or your solids. So you're having your rainbow colours. They're all cut into fat quarters. Fat eights. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Fat eights. So the Liberty's fat eights as well. Right. Because that's all you need. Brilliant. So then it keeps the price down and you don't... What is, you it? Still what is a fat eight? It's half of a fat quarter. Ah, OK. But for projects like FPP and EPP, it's really good because it's almost like you can use diff more fabrics because mm -hmm. you don't need the fat quarter. But you, right. still have, so you still have plenty for these projects, that's the thing. Brilliant. That's why I can still use it for the binding and I still have a little bit left. Oh, well, when you're making yeah. is up again, because you will use the pattern more than once and you've got the, fo the, the, the templates to, to copy as well, to photocopy. Um, this is a brilliant scrap buster project, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so when I was like designing it, I always make one out of my own fabrics while I'm right, like figuring it all out, all the maths and all that. And I made one out of some Alison uh, glass scraps. Oh, nice. And it's so cute. My dad thought that was the one for so easy. Oh. I was like, no. That's just the practice run. Amazing. So, yeah, any smaller bits of fabric that you're not quite sure what to do with, even if you want to have a bit of a practice before you dive into your liberty, yeah. use the scraps. Um, you also then have a whole metre of your background fabric, again, in that lovely crisp white. All of your instructions, everything that you need is included in there. So all that you may want to add is maybe add a quarter ruler if you haven't yep. got one. You don't really need to add anything else in. Normally, when I'm sitting talking about foundation paper piecing, I'm saying, right, so you're going to need the paper, potentially, you're going to need this, this, yeah. this. But, yeah. Just add there. a quarter ruler because it really does make life so much easier when you're doing FPP. You're going to use yeah. it, aren't you? Yeah, we'll yeah I've got the little action. one with me today. I usually use the big one, but I've got the little one. Brilliant. So, um, keep checking out. We're going to dive into the demo because we want to make sure that we have uh, as much time as possible with you, Jenny. So, what is it that you want to show us? Fab, fab. So, yeah, I thought... <clears throat> yeah. Oh, so I've made... Sorry, That's are we doing instructions on their own as well? I have no idea, probably. Yes, there you go. <laughs> £9.99 if you want the instructions on their own. Once again, is this going to include... Yeah, it's got it's yeah. exactly the same as you would get in the kits. The templates to the photocopy yeah. and also the templates ready to use. So you're getting a great wad there for £9.99. Um, your whole pattern instructions for £9.99. Pattern was already flying out and being told on pre-order, so well done, everybody's already got it. Beautiful cushion. What's the finished size of the cushion, Jenny? Is that an 18-inch oh, um, like, it is, 18 yeah. inch square? Yes. I like... Um, I always put, like, a, a bigger... Cushion in, so it's nice and yeah. plump. It looks great. Right. Definitely. So I've started making some of the um, flying geese blocks just so that we could maybe get to some of the construction. But how fun are these colours? Oh, colors? I love this colour. Yes. Aren't they great? Yes. So I was going to show you how to like sew two pieces together, but I'm going to start with the actual 
uh, FPP. FPP. Yeah. So I've got all my. See, I've done loads of them. I got a bit carried away when I was done that, when I was just getting through it. Oh well, I bet you get into a bit of a rhythm with it, yeah. don't you? Just a production line. Yeah. Oh. And then I was like, oh, I've, I've actually done all of it. So <laughs> luckily, I had some more templates. So I'm just going to cut just outside the dashed line. Okay. Just just a tiny bit, a few millimetres outside. It's just so then you know if your fabric's covering the whole piece. You right. know you've got plenty of fabric on there. And this is from A1, you're starting? Yeah, so I just thought I'd start with the first one. I've made A2 already. Well, I've got another A1 in case we don't have time to do the whole thing. Okay. Just wanted to be nice and organised. So, yeah, so these are, if you do get the pattern on your own, these are the type of scraps you're looking at for the actual geese. Do you give sizes? I give you all the measurements, how many to cut from everything. Because quite often they just say, oh, use it, that it's enough to cover the yeah. shape. And then it's confusing because I think, well, is that going to be enough to cover? Am yeah. I going too conservative or am I also being too, you know? Yeah, so I think, I think in wasting. the pattern from my head, you cut eight rectangles from yeah. the... Um, from each fat yeah, eight, but yeah. I say what All size. Okay. And then for the bits that go around the um, the geese as such, I tell you to cut a certain amount of squares and then cut each square on the diagonal, sizing and everything, and then you're good to go. So, and it doesn't actually take very long to cut out because there's only yeah. two different size things that you need to cut. So, Brilliant. Apart from the borders, but all those sizes are in there as well. Right, so I always fold the whole of my template along all the lines that I'm going to sew in the whole block, which I could have done before I came on, but I was busy watching John. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know whether I'm uh, more exhausted. We all had a, a bit of a funny night last night, <sighs> didn't we? I don't know if it was a, a funny moon, but I don't think anybody slept. No. Uh, and you've been at, I got where have three you been hours. I've been at Arding Life for okay. the past three days. It's my local quilt show because it's only 25 minutes drive there and back okay. each time. Um, and it was packed down yesterday. But I got into bed at about, I'd just gone six o'clock. Okay. And I didn't fall asleep till after midnight. Oh. And then my alarm went off at three. three. I was oh. so, <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was just, I just, can, and I was so tired. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. So hopefully you can have a nice rest Sunday afternoon when you get home. <gasps> So hopefully the traffic's all right, yeah. and um, I know Dylan's got some homework that we need to do. But I might see if I have can. you got a more of a chill week coming up. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Good. You can catch up then. Well, I, I say chill, but I think Lisa Lamb's coming over one day <laughs> during the week, so that won't be relaxed, will it? <laughs> oh, John said he had a great time with Lisa as well. Oh yeah. Well, Lisa did our deny as well. So, ah, so I've been seen her, her every day for the past few days, and she's been crazy. She wore a different hat each time. She was a frog, a shark, <laughs> Aladdin yesterday. Fantastic. She's crazy. Just quick start warning on the pattern. There's five patterns left. Literally five left. Three left now. If you want the pattern on its own. I think it'll have sold out. The most popular kit has been the Liberty one, which is the sample is made out of. Um, we've only got 10 of the Liberty kits left. If you want it, check out now. Remember, free PMP code. If you want to use it, it is eligible for everything today. Use the code JAN24PP to get your free PMP on the last few kits of Liberty. Thank you, Jenny. Right, so you've folded yep, on all I've those folded lines. on all the lines because I find it makes it easier as you go along to pre-fold them. So I'm just going to do these in any old colour option, right? This. So minute. you put the, right. So it would be, fabric if this was a printed fabric, it would be the wrong side of the fabric to the wrong side of the template. Obviously when you're using solids, it doesn't, yep. it doesn't matter. And I just pin it in place. And then the first line you're going to want to sew along is between A1 and A2. Mm -hmm. So before you sew, you fold over on that line. This is why it's easier to pre-fold because mm -hmm. it just folds easily. Then you get your quarter inch at a quarter ruler, just butt it up against where you've just folded the paper. That's why you add a quarter ruler is great, isn't and it? Yes, because it's got that little bit there yeah. that sticks out. And then you trim off that excess fabric. So you've got a quarter of an inch seam allowance there on that fabric. Do you just use the small one or have you oh, got the no, big one? I well? use the big one for like larger blocks. Okay, do you want to, uh, have you got this one, Ben? The 12 inch and the six inch out of quarter rulers. 
I think there's a combo of two. So it's got this quarter of an inch lip that you said, but also, do you ever use this tapered edge to fold? Do you, you use can that? do. I don't tend to, no. but you can. <laughs> Is that what it's designed for? Well, I don't know. I think it's you can just use it as a normal acrylic ruler as well. Yeah. yeah. You can just sort of tapers down, which I'm sure I've seen people fold. I think in. people do. I just think I just do it. But then it's this lip. It's that quarter it's that, inch, yeah. and that is actually really useful for um, lots of. Yeah, I way. sometimes use it to draw seam allowance around EPP shapes yeah. because you just hold it against your yeah, template. Yeah. Perfect. Um, that's for the two rulers, by the way. You get your six inch and you also get your 12 inch. Brilliant. So you've trimmed right, away. So I've trimmed away and I've opened my templates. What happens again. to this piece of fabric? Oh, that I'll just. Do you keep it or not? Not, no. not that size, no. No. <laughs> no. So then it's, um, you place your next piece of fabric, the one that's going to cover A2, which would be right sides together if they were both printed, along the, the fabric you've just cut. And what I tend to do is I just flip it over like this just to check it's definitely going to cover the shape that I need it to cover. So I can see that really clearly through the back mm -hmm. of the paper. It might not be as clear on screen. So that's in the right position. You sew um, foundation paper piecing on stitch length 1.2 because then you can fray, um, tear away the paper really easily and your stitches won't come undone. Right. And do you use a normal different needle or anything because you're going through paper? Needle. No, that's no. fine. Just cool. a normal one. So then you flip the paper up so your template's on top. And what you're going to do is you're going to start stitching a few stitches before the line between A1 and A2 along that line and then just a couple of stitches beyond the line. Okay. That's for when you're like, in the next step, when I fold over, I'll need to just tug it a bit. It just stops stitches coming undone. Right. So I'm just going to sew. Oh, I'm so glad that worked. I hadn't tested the machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what I've just oh, realised? So. Okay, what have you forgotten? I'm sure we've probably got it on a shelf. Oh somewhere. no! What's I've wrong? I've actually forgotten my um, roller. Um, my your little steam roller. roller. We must have one. We've got one. We'll grab you one. Also, I've left my um, my computer over there. I'm going to go and grab it. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck. I'll tell you what. That is just purely because of the um, week I've had. I think it's in the. Um, it might be in your little cubby. Cubby bit, unless it's in this little cupboard. Right, you carry on, Jenny, Sorry. and we'll find well, it. I'm just <laughs> running around the studio. Oh, always the way. I little just, I hadn't even thought about it. It's because I had, um, I took some of my pouches to Arding Lie to demonstrate with, and that's just not. So what you want to do now is you're going to fold over the fabric that you've just sewn. And what you would do is use a seam roller just to make that seam nice and crisp or you can use a dry iron right the mini irons are really handy for this if you um if you have one the big irons get a bit much but always whatever you do press or roll the seams as you go because if you don't you'll end up with like this happening right when you're sewing the next piece on okay. so you want that nicely folded over i'm just going to finger press it for now and then now you want to sew on the line between A1 and A3. Mm -hmm. So you're going to fold over. As you can see, that's where I did the extra stitches. Mm -hmm. So they've not come undone when I folded and ah, that back. Okay. So tip. then we're going to take oh, the ruler, press it up against the folded paper again and trim off that little bit of excess fabric. Open out the paper, grab your next triangle place it on top, which would be right sides together, flip it over just to check it fits, and then take it to the machine. And so just before the line starts and just beyond the line, still we'll use 1.2 stitch length all the way through this FPP. What colour thread do you use? I'm just using white. Yeah, I think I've got light grey on the bottom, actually. Right, OK. But I would go with a white for for this colourway mainly yeah. because the back <laughs> the background is white but a light grey would also be fine and I know for your EPP you always use like a 80 weight don't I you do. in your machine you just use no, 50 it's normal weight. 50 weight okay for this, yeah so what you want to do now is fold that fabric back that you've just sewn and give it a good press or a seam roller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna give it a real I can't believe do we not have a seam roller there is one there is one mm. Oh, Ben's still looking. I <laughs> know, oh, I can hear them. 
<laughs> Oops. So next is you want to cover A4. So that's the line between A2 and A3. So you're just going to fold over along that slightly longer line now, like this, and trim off that excess fabric so you have a nice quarter inch seam allowance to line the next fabric piece of fabric up against. It's really important that you do cut off this extra excess fabric. Okay. Because apart from it being bulky, if it was up here, you would line the fabric up and then you'll flip it out mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be enough. Mm -hmm. So never forget to do that. Has he found <laughs> it or is he just... I think he said, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so now you just want to line this up. Like I said, I can see the lines here of the um, where I need to for it to be covered, but I still just flip it back and double check. Then I'm going to sew all the way across this line to cover. Oh, he's going to have a good look round now, just subtly in the studio. <laughs> What's happened? Cat's not in today. Okay. Cat's arranged everything. In an in order that only she it. knows. Um, it's work? fine. We'll just do anything. I'm not sure. Well, shall we give it a go? Yeah, it's give it a go. Awesome. It is really good. Oh, look it's at this. <laughs> I oh, actually adorable. need this in my life. like a borrower. Do you sell that? I what? must do, but... Yeah, we do. Please find the code. Oh, no, I, I, I actually need I'm it in my life. See so if you can find your little mini good. ironing board. You yeah. This is very good. Oh, let's give it... It's like stuff. a clapper for... Oh, OK. Well, let's but just... Let's, let's give something. it a play. You'd need to... Uh, yeah, you'd need, probably need your little iron with it. You maybe, probably do. But let's see if we can just flatten the seam a bit with it. Do you want to do this at I every love, point? I love you just giving it. I mean, it's doing a job, isn't it? It's better than fingers, I could just it? get a little iron out, but I'm just, <laughs> we don't really have much room oh, today. That's fine. Yes, you do need to do it every time you sew, you fold, okay. and that's that's a funny little gadget, isn't it? Is that used for dressmaking? Or? Um, no, it is used for. Oh, it is. It is, isn't it? When when you especially when you want the two press seams open. Yeah, but it's normally you would use it in conjunction with your iron, and you could actually heat this up. And so, if you don't that's, want to put oh, your direct heat it, onto yes, the fabric, you heat it on the iron, and then. So, June Taylor. That's the one. I remember seeing it now. I've just never used it. Right, so we've covered A4. Now we want to cover A5. So we're folding on that line between A4 and A5. There we go. And again, just cut off that excess fabric. I'm not sure I could do FPP without an adder quarter ruler now. Oh, no, it's so handy, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine if you were having to get your ruler and try and, and measure, measure it every, every time. time. Yeah. Oh, no, definitely get your add a quarter ruler. If you do just want the smaller one, that's underneath us as well. We've got the larger one individually, the smaller one individually. The combo is great to be able to have both if you are doing larger blocks. Yes, yeah, it really is. Right, so I've trimmed off that excess fabric. I'm just going to line this one up. Again, remember, it would be right sides together if you're using printed your fabric. How many Liberty kits have we got left, Ben? Are there many? I think they may have gone. Uh, yeah, they've sold out. If you do want um, the pattern, the only way of getting it now is in your rainbow colourway. The pattern on its own sold out. The Liberty cushion sold out. It is a very, very busy day today. <laughs> People are still... Oh, has John's Threads of Life subscription sold out? Yeah. Oh, Hayley needs to wake up. She's having a, a, a lion by the <laughs> sunset. You can't get hold of her at the minute. Oh, I'm jealous. Oh, she went out last night for a... Was it someone's birthday I saw on Facebook? She was uh, out, out. Well, oh, she'll be sleeping then, won't she? There we go. Sorted, We're just going to use this to press it. That does the job. <laughs> there we go. There go. So yeah. now it's the next one. We're going to fold he over. He's so handy. And I really want that little ironing board now. Oh, you've got to find the code for Jenny. <laughs> Right, so we're going to cover A6 now. So we're going to fold on the line between A4 and A6 and trim off that excess fabric. I think I need to change my blade now. I have a different blade. I have a different one, especially for FPV. Oh, do you? I see. Because I, I end up saves, cutting through paper. It saves changing yeah, the blade over. But I think it's about time that it does need changing. I've been scheduled at eighteen mil one. Would you use that? I, I mean, you can do. But I'm just so used don't. to forty five that I just use it for everything. If you want to, like Jenny, if you are doing lots of uh, foundation paper piecing, and maybe you've got different projects going on at the same time, yeah, that you don't want to have to keep changing your blade because it is, it will blunt. It does blunt quicker, yeah. but it's almost fine for FPP, even if it is slightly blunt. Okay. 
Okay. Because like, mine lasts forever. It's a good day to get it today because it's free P&P. <clears throat> so if you do want an extra rotary cutter, we've got the clover one today. Um, this is similar to yours in, oh, in the fact that it's... Oh, actually, the, it's really, really similar. It's yeah. the closest, yeah. Um, this is the one with the, the safety catch and also you can use it if you're a left-hander or a right-hander. It's the 45 mil one. There it is, and it is just twelve ninety nine, and you're saving your PMP today. Just use the code Jan twenty four PP, and you'll get free post and packaging. If you're, you know, if you're getting free PMP, what sort of things would you be looking at, Jenny, on the web to stock up on when you're not paying oh, PMP? Extra things like sew line pens, refills, rulers, just you know all the bits. Wadding, yeah. Needles, needles. H six forty. Okay. Definitely, and interfacing. You know all the bits that you always yeah. need. Yeah. That's what I'd be grabbing. There you go. Have a look on the website. I can't show them all now. We haven't even got an hour on our own today. It's really, really busy. But it's worth having a look whilst you're on the website. Yeah. Right, right so sorry. we're just going to sew this next piece to it. Let's take it this way. And again, always keep your stitch length at 1.2 and always start not where I've just... My foot got a bit giddy. I know then. some people actually use the sew line glue pen with it. <laughs> yeah, so some people just use it, you know, the first bit of fabric, they'll just pop a dot on it mm -hmm. um, to keep instead of a pin. Right. I've always pinned because I use so much of the glue yeah. for EPP that I pin. Yeah. FPP. Right, so we've added that one now. And we're just gonna <laughs> just gonna use this. It's doing the job. There we go. So next up is actually a piece where the geese change direction. Right. So they're going to start going that way, but it's exactly the same concept. Obviously, we've just done A6, so we know the next piece we need to cover is A7. I'm so pleased you've done all so that. So that's the lot. <laughs> this is a lot of working out, isn't it? It was getting making sure that I've got all the numbers in the correct order. And obviously with um, FPP is... When you, on this side, it looks like the arrows are gonna end up there. But when you put it right, the arrows are over at that yeah, side going yeah, up. Yeah. So that was the bit that I had to work out to make sure that I had them in the right, so they would go all the way around like that. Can I say though, the benefit of doing FPP is every single time your points are on point. If you were trying to do that, just piecing, you would lose a point you would. now and then. You yeah. would. Or I would lose them all. I do think though. that with FPP, you get such accuracy. Yeah. It's just... It's stress actually really and easy. And it's yeah. accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I need in my life. And there are some amazing patterns that are FPP, oh, aren't yeah. there? So, like, I think it opens up... Once you put your head around it, it opens up the yeah. floodgate to so many more patterns that you think you would never be able to do. Yeah. Come the summer, hopefully I'm going to be teaching loads of workshops oh, for my new studio. And I'm going to do so many FPP ones because I love teaching. It's How amazing. is your new studio coming along Half done, half done. It's the other half that's taken a while because I got behind with work because of Christmas and the actual mm -hmm. move. So we're going to get back on that this coming month. Right. Hopefully finish it Brilliant. in the next couple of months. Right, so A7. So we're going to fold over this line, pull the fabric so it's nice and flat, and trim off that excess fabric. <coughs> Open it out. There we go. And we're going to make sure that it's going to cover that triangle. There we go. Take it over to the machine. Lisa Lamb says she's just got out of bed. She says, how do you do it, Jenny? <laughs> she said she was going to have a really lazy day today. I was like, I wish I could. No, Joan was up at three o'clock. I was. I was indeed. How many cups of coffee in a wee? Well, I've only just had one. just one large. You know, <laughs> just you one, know. but it was a it's litre like flask. <laughs> I'll probably have another one between shows and then make one for the drive home. There we go. So we folded that one over and then it's just the same concept. Now we're on A8, so we're going to fold over the line between the one we've just sewn. Trim off that excess fabric. and grab the next one. So after I've done this triangle, the next triangle, I'll show you how to trim the blocks down and sew them together. Right. So do you sort of construct all of your... You've got flying geese. Let me just show you, sorry, I know that this colourway is gone, but just to show you, so you're, you're doing this 
apart here. Yeah. No, no it's fine. It's in two pieces. So I'm going to show you how to put the two pieces together to make the one long strip. Okay. Right, so we're just folding that over. I actually want one of these now to, to try with the heat. Yeah, honestly, they are really good, especially like you said, when you want to really have flattened seams for, um, you know, like if you're doing as well, um, the quilts as you go, the June Taylor quilts yes. as you go, and you can't put your heat on them. Yes. These are really good. Perfect for that, yeah. Mm. There we go, so open that one out, and then you're just gonna add this triangle and then you've got three geese already done so it can come together really quick especially if you cut all your fabric before you start do you tell us what order to do colors no that no, is completely up to you, up to you. Does, it, does it need to have some sort of order or can it be random it can be random okay well, it will work why not it will completely work um sue's helped you out there Got the mini ironing board code for you, Jen. Oh, thanks. It's M X Z W nine eight. Can you see if there's any in stock, Ben? Yeah, I know. M X Z W nine eight. No, it's the um, mini ironing board for Jenny. A tiny, <laughs> tiny one that you Sue's just found bought. us. <laughs> right. So then, with this, you would Amazing. just carry on going. Okay. So you would fold this over. I'll just trim this one off. This is why I always pre-fold them because it really does make life easier for you throughout the rest of making the blocks. How many of these blocks are there? So there's like two A parts, two mm. B parts, two C, two D, and then there's one E and one F. So you're going to show how to connect the two yes. A parts together? Yes, Fab. how to trim it down. So I've got two... That's the... Yeah. Would you keep all your one. papers at this point so you know I do. which? Yeah, I keep it in the whole time. Yeah. I only remove them within seams that I've sewn until the very end. So this is the exact one that I was just, what have I done there? Oh, I've missed some out. Oh no! And I can't sew them. <laughs> <laughs> which one have you missed out, oh, April? Look. Oh. <laughs> I got carried away. Is that just now? No. No, this was at home. That's, uh, this was at home. So don't do that. Is there a simple that fix is for so it, hilarious. or is it difficult to um, do FPB because you've done such a small stitch? I think there would be quite a big old um, situation. You'd do it again? I, yeah, I probably would. I wouldn't usually. That is the first time I've ever done something like that. Obviously wasn't taking any notice. Here you go. This is your mini ironing board. We were probably talking about the mini ironing board. Um, 7.49. Is that it? Oh, my God. It's so cute. That's what I would use my free pie stitch packaging on. Yeah, there you go. If you wanted to treat yourself <laughs> with free P and P today, Jan twenty four PP. Oh, you Get don't yourself a little borrow as well. How much I would use that actually? I actually think that's really useful for you know when you're trying to do sleeves as well, or you know, yeah, or there's round loads of things. A bag. Yeah, round a bag. Yeah, that's a really good point because if you're doing it flat, yeah, you mum, might actually, actually, if you're around. watching. <laughs> Grab What's your mum's name? Because there's loads of people coming oh, through. <laughs> Might be Chris. Christine, it will come up on there. She doesn't tend to message in on that. We're on double figures, by the way, low double figures. Uh, Trisha just said, morning, ladies. It was lovely to meet you yesterday, Jenny. Oh, it was lovely to meet you too. I had, saw so many um, sewing street watchers. Were you on the Juki stand? No, I was on my own. Oh, it's the only It's the only one that I have my own stand because it's local and yeah. I go home every night. So currently it works fine for me. So I'm just going to, I can't do anything about one side if we can do this. <laughs> I can't do anything. That one is done. <laughs> we ignore that. See, <laughs> that should have a little white line there. Yeah. So, I mean, the line's worry. there on the template. It wasn't in my head, however. Right. So when you've completed your block, it will look like this from behind with bits of fabric coming out. So what you want to do is you get your normal ruler, not the adder quarter, and you line up your quarter of an inch mark on your ruler with the solid line on the template. Don't line it up with the dash line because of printing and measurements and stuff. It might not be the exact quarter of an inch, but your ruler that you use will always be the same. Right. I always use the exact same ruler for the whole project I love as well. This ruler. I don't know. I've not even seen it. It's been a year now, hasn't it? I first introduced this ruler 
when I first started doing the um, strip of the month. Right. And you still don't have it. <laughs> it's my favourite. I was going to say, 12 and a half by two and a half. That is such a useful rule. It is such, uh, it's my most used one, especially when I'm trimming FPP. And Sorry, everybody, I'm doing it again. Oh, I shouldn't even mention it because we don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we not have it? I don't know. I have no idea. There we go. So we're just going to do that all the way around the block. And do take your time to make sure you have lined it up nicely on. So you're putting that quarter of an inch onto the yeah. solid line of the template, not yeah. the dash line. And it is really important you cut this accurately because that is accurately, that's mm -hmm. the word I'm looking for, because that is going to be your seam allowance for sewing your blocks together. Your nails are lovely. Oh, thank you. They look really nice. <laughs> they're my real nails now. No, they're not. Yeah. <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I get that bi ab yeah. stuff now, so they're yeah. nice and hard. Right, so. Here, this A template is A1 to A18, okay. and this template is A19 to A35. So in the instructions, I've even told you which template to place on top. So you have one template up, and then this template I'm going to want to place on top, and I'm going to want to sew between the line of A19, and if you see there, A18 is just behind it. Mm -hmm. So then the numbers carry on right. once it's open. So you just want to line it up nicely like this. And for, when you're sewing two parts together, you want to start right at the top and go all the way off the end. Don't just do your couple of stitches above. Right. And go all the way across. You might want to pin this in place or a dot of glue or anything. Still keeping your papers you in. Want. Still keeping all the papers in. It's just getting quite bulky now is there Not a lot of things really. going through no. no it's quite a nice one without too much bulk Lorraine saying the mini ironing board's unavailable is it sold out Ben <laughs> yeah oh my gosh oh, it's no. sold out <laughs> thanks Jenny oh, no. <laughs> yeah but I didn't get one <laughs> <laughs> right so now this is the only bit of paper I will remove the bit within the seam that I've just sewn that's because I want to press the seam open, but also once I sew this block to something else, it would be sewn along this line. Mm -hmm. So you would end up with little bits of squared bits of paper that you have okay. to get tweezers out. So I've suggested for this part that you actually press the seams open between the two blocks once you've sewn them together. Oh, see, this would be good if we had the, if we heated it up for this, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Yeah, perfect. So you don't that. have your iron all over, because I tend to use my iron when I'm sewing blocks together. Okay. I don't tend to use it while I'm actually doing the FPP, but for this bit, you would get I your tend to get my out. actual little mini iron out for it. So that would be one block sewn together. Well, the two A's. <laughs> That's awful. And then I've done the D's. And again, I've opened out the seams. Oh, look, I can show you how to sew the bees together as well. And I've kept, in the pattern, I've kept everything the right way. Okay. So even though it took up more space in the pattern, to have it this template up like this, yeah, yeah. I've kept it that way, because right. I think it just needs to be clear. Yeah. Right, so for these part B, which one's, that's one, so that one needs to be there, B1. Okay. So you're going to take that one down on top. So your template actually looks upside down when you're looking at it now. And you're just going to sew across the top. And it's starting right at the edge and going off the other edge. By the way, we have still got loads of Jenny's past makes that we've managed to bring you what we can. Um, it's all on free PMP, so it's a great day to stock up on any of the other patterns as well. We'll show you, we'll show you through those in a minute. go so I'm just gonna again remove that paper just from that seam you can see how easy it tears away mm -hmm. when you've used that stitch yeah it's length. like you've perforated it isn't yeah. it yeah it's great 
Just use my fingers to do that. And then this was the last two blocks, which is E and F. Okay, so that's, that's the centre. The centre. So I've pre-cut, hopefully correctly, <laughs> questioning myself now for everything. All the measurements are in the pattern. Oh, yep, everything. And yep. even what order now to sew all of oh, this okay. together. Okay. So still keep all those templates in because what I tend to do is here, this is my little trick, especially if you're worried about points going missing, you know, just losing those points when you're sewing mm -hmm. normal fabric mm -hmm. onto it. So this is one of the side inner borders. I would pin that and then I would actually sew it template side up. So then I can still use that line as my guide. Right. And then you're not gonna lose those little points. That's a really good tip. That's a really, really good tip because otherwise you sort you of could blind, even, aren't yeah, you? you can just about see it through, see through. But still, if you really struggle with like accuracy, then just do it do like this. Side. Just pop that underneath it. And again, it's sewing all the way from the top off the bottom. See, I've already moved that. I would definitely say pin your fabric for the borders. And again, straight away, get rid of that seam paper, but only that seam. And then I found when I was doing this that oh yeah you don't the need actual any you don't need to press this open because it really naturally wants to mm -hmm. go that way. So I just press that. Then when you add the other side border, I did exactly the same. Pin it to the paper through the paper, and flip then it flip it over and use that guide right. again. No, that makes so much more sense. Oh, it just needs to so much more accurate than because can you imagine you've got all that all those gorgeous points you're proud of your points then you add normal like fabric without any foundation paper behind it and you lose a couple of points I'm just going to sew that one along I'm still attaching all the borders using a, a 1.2 stitch length because you're still going through some paper so you've still got this paper that's going to need tearing away. <laughs> what has been your most popular pattern whilst you've been at the uh, craft fair the last few days? Do you know what? I'm not sure. My um, hexi box pouch pattern, mm. it was a set of two. I did them on here. That's been popular, and I've got a long box pouch pattern. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those were popular, and my tub, my long tub. Yeah, oh, those I remember. Those were yeah. really, really popular, but people loved all my notions. Was it a busy one? Yeah, yeah, it was quite busy. It's not manic like the London yeah, one, because yeah. it's much smaller, yeah. and it's in the countryside. Yeah. But it's actually really, Lovely. really, really nice. A bit cold. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was nice and warm inside, but set-up day, we're right by one of the doors, oh. and it's the unloading door. Yeah. So it was like, open the whole day. <laughs> there we go. So what you would do is definitely use your iron to press those bits out. So that's nice. the two. And it's then in this colour, isn't it? And you just carry on adding those seams. Fabulous. Is um are there any of these ones left, Ben? I think everything is virtually gone. Everything is gone. Another sellout. <laughs> oh, amazing. Today. Um, we're going to just recap some yeah, of these. Yeah, that's fine. Is, is there anything else you wanted to mention? Um, I this? was just going to say, when you've added this one and this one, yeah. you then pretend that I'm going to just, if I place those two pieces yeah. just here, pretend those ones are sewn on, just going to go over by a quarter of an inch. Then you'll start, you'll add your two next FPP pieces, mm -hmm. which will just be like so you'd put your B going down and use that uh, line there as mm -hmm. your guide open out remove always remove the paper just from the seam and then adding once you've added all four of those you add the outside border just like you did that one brilliant and it's then all remove all yeah then remove all the paper before you put in your you Based it, it and yeah. all of that on two. Wadding. Did you do? I was going to say, did I did, you do it on one day? Yeah, I did. And I just did really simple quilting. Like, yeah. one, um, I did quarter of an inch outside and inside the um, 
borders. Did you use 80-20? Yeah, always. Honestly, this is such a great time to stock up on your 80-20 while it's free PMP today. Remember, use the code JAN24PP and this is cut off the bolt. So whether you're using it for cushions, for bags, for quilts, great time to stock up. Only £6.99 and 80-20. Why is it your preference? I, I'm asking out of curiosity just, because I I if just, I do a wadding show, I always think, is it personal preference? Or I think like a lot of the time it is, but I really like the thickness and the quality and I find that it washes well once you've made a quilt. Right, yeah. And it's just a really nice thickness. Not too thick, not too thin. Is it all right That's behind right. white having I'm not the, bleached? Yeah, mine's not bleached. Yeah. No, it's absolutely fine. Lovely. I always use it. I never buy the bleached one. I always have the natural looking one. Only £6.99. Uh, Angela said, good morning, Vix and Jenny. Love watching your demos and fabulous nails. Oh, thank you. <laughs> They're my own. They're I grew them myself. I was really, really proud, you know, because I had so acrylic good. like tips for so long, yeah. for years and years that my new nail tech was like, no, yeah, let's get rid of those tips. They look have your own. <laughs> amazing. They look amazing. Right, so we had loads of people coming through for 80-20 wadding, by the way. Keep checking out. It is free PMP. A few messages about John's Threads Alive. I know it sold out. It wasn't limited. I can't tell you how many we had. High, high hundreds. Uh, so even though it's a Sunday, it might it's, because it's a Sunday, it might take a little bit longer. But stay with us today, or keep checking on the website because we will desperately try and get more. Because it is, let's face it, it's not like we're having to print more. It is an unlimited thing. It just has to be ticked on a computer basically to allow us to sell more. We didn't have limited stock. Oh no, John came on as like this was the. It, it was just. Mind blowing how popular it was. He says it was booked in way more than we'll ever sell. I know he left with such Bless a him. little smile oh, on his face. I've he never, looked I've like, never oh seen no. I've never wow. seen him so nervous ever. I know. I've known John for yeah. 15 years. I have never seen yeah, him nervous was. like that. Yeah. He was so, it's, it's his baby. He's so proud. Yeah. And he, like, I think he was just overwhelmed with the response, which him, shocks me because it's John. Yeah, of course. I was saying to him, he is how I felt when I released my book. Yeah. Because yeah. I was just like, Oh, Everybody's what if it doesn't. Yeah. Sell, yeah. You know? Oh. And oh. you didn't need to worry either. Yeah. It amazes me that you. He just get... went off with the cutest little smile Bless on him. his face. <laughs> right. So keep checking out for your wadding. Shall we have a look at the lovely lap quilt that's behind you? Because oh. I remember we did this. Yeah, ages, quite a while ages ago. Ages ago now. Yeah, it was. Um, and it's still one of the most requested patterns that we have for you. So this is the EPP animal block quilt. It is the EPP. So you have. It is. You have your EPP paper pieces. It is one inch hexes, I think that one was. Fabulous. Yeah, was. And the panels that we have are amazing, yeah. aren't they? So, I mean, they're I massive. We need this to open this out. Because this is, um, obviously it's got loads of animals today. <gasps> I've seen someone recently finish this. Have you? They posted a picture, yeah, and it looked brilliant. <gasps> Look, so you've got all your EPP blocks, but then, We've also got extra blocks here. Yeah, oh, this lady used those blocks instead of, you see where I've done the yellow yeah. um, squares? Yeah. She's used those, <gasps> I think. Fantastic. And then you get all of these lovely strips yeah. as well. So, I mean, it's an amazing panel that you get in here. Plus, you're getting the colours if you want to do it, like Jenny yeah. has there with the green and the cream and the yellow squares. Uh, all your instructions. This is going to be a quick sort of recap through because we've got 20 minutes to show you loads of projects um do you know the date of this ben if you want to watch the demonstration it was back 2022 13th the 11th i bet that was our last show then it probably was because you said that it was i just the last time i found saw out you, i was pregnant well i didn't you hadn't no. told anyone but yeah. i have now looking back i think you were yeah with the questions you were asking me no you said to me earlier it was obvious that you were well <laughs> no, yeah yeah afterwards when i was like why is she asking how to get Maisie? Right, oh, to sleep. It's sleep. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I wish I'd told myself, it doesn't matter. She's just, it's still. Yeah, but still, still you do, you do just want to sleep. Oh, of course. want to try, don't you? Yeah. Still and had his own mind about sleeping. Oh, it's, it isn't easy. I say good night to him now before he goes to bed on a Friday and Saturday night when he's not got school. This is what I think. He's up and about and I'm like, got everything you need I'm off to bed now. but this is what I think is one day yeah <laughs> she'll take herself off to bed or whenever she wants yeah 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 uh, right there's your lap quilt we also have it in um so what what have you got there Ben because I don't want to give you the wrong one I've got the I've got the yes so the lap quilt 
what's the difference between these then? Because this isn't the EPP version, am oh, I right? Yeah, no, it. it we just it? did a version. Did we do, that oh was, yeah, we did. See, that has been a while. I want to say it? a cheat it's, version, yeah, it's, but it's not yeah, a cheat so version. It's just not EPP. Here is all those um, the panel you saw last time? That is all those hexagons sewn together will make the animals. And this one is without having to do the EPP because while I was doing all these cushions, loads of people messaged in saying, "I don't do EPP, but I love your animals." Yeah. So we decided to do the quill as a one without you having to do the EPP so you could still get the animals if you wanted. Brilliant. So you've got instructions without the EPP part, just of how yeah. to do like your sashing and your, your yeah. corner so the squares and things like that and quilting. So then you've also got your cream, your two shades of green and your gold, which go perfectly with your lovely animals. Yeah, you've got an extra colour there because I did um, checkered corners instead of plain ones because nice. it wasn't EPP. Yeah. I tried to switch it up a tiny bit for Fabulous. $38.99. Right, Chris, I'm going to pass you these if that's okay, because we've got loads. <laughs> the table's full. I've got the spring wall hanging here. Oh, we had this. Um, did we do that together? We did. We did. These, I mean, the panels are so clever, the artwork, how you look at it and you think, how is that going to work? But all the pattern matching yeah. is done for you. Because the it? animals, they often have two eyes, yeah. like four eyes, yeah. and you think, what is this? Have they printed it wrong? But no, they disappear and they all fit together. I love that. What a perfect time these. of year. I think the other ones have, fin have sold out now completely, the autumn and winter especially. It is absolutely beautiful. <gasps> oh, you can see, it's like a... Proper sort of acrylic painting, isn't it? It is, yeah. I love it. And then you also have, what do we use this part for? I, did, I, have, I didn't do anything with it, but you could, you could literally just make a mini wall hanging with that or a um, placemat. You could do anything. It's just quite a nice one. And then you've got some extra hexes and quilt and labels. labels. It's always good for keeping those because you can attach them to all different things. But yeah, it looks like that at the end. <laughs> what a perfect time of year to be making this as well, ready for the spring. It comes with all the paper pieces. Yeah, are I think hexes? Yeah, they are. They're 1.5. It comes with um, half the amount-ish and then you can reuse them to do yeah. the rest of it. Okay, perfect. Um, all your instructions are there. And this was, again, 2022, I think. But all of the um, videos are still on our YouTube channel. I'll give you the exact date. 22nd of January, in fact, 23. Um, it completely sold out during that show. We have restocked it, but only for a limited amount. Remember, free PMP, Jan 24 PP for today only. Um, right, let's do Victorian tile cushion. I've not seen this one before. Is this the one that oh, was yeah, here? Oh, yeah, it was here, but um, I ran out of um, cushion oh, pads. Oh, yeah, I think you... Um... So it's only got a tiny cushion pad inside a rather large cushion. Did you move it? Uh, ben, I'm sorry, Ben. Sorry, Jenny. It was found on the trolley just there. He says I know where I've put it. <laughs> so you get a meter of your cream, and then what size fabrics are these? They're fat Jenny? eights. Fat eights. Well. Oh, this is lovely. I really like that. Twenty-three pound ninety-nine, and oh, you there have all of your instructions of how to do. Is this needle turn? Yes, this is needle turn applique. There you go. Which is another technique I absolutely love doing. Is that hand sewn? It's hand sewn. You turn, you draw around the seam allowance, you draw around the shape, cut outside the shape with the seam allowance. As you're sewing, you turn it in with your needle. Okay. So it gives it that kind of 3D, like if you can see, yeah. they're not flat on there because yeah. you've got the seam allowance under. But I, I spent ages demoing that whenever this one was on. Uh, <laughs> Which was at some point. We'll find the date. Last year. We can find the date for you. So if you do <laughs> want a very good needle turn applique, it was the 25th of the 8th, 20, sorry, 28th of the 5th. Why, where did I make up those numbers from? 28th of May, 28th of the 5th, 23, if you want to watch that show back, needle turn, applique. Um, I've got a pattern matched parrot summer tote bag. Is that hanging? Oh, that's hanging oh, behind yeah, parrots. Ours. I've got the parrot. It's hanging behind us. Yeah, shall I grab that? I'll put oh, yes, please. Here. Knocked the light off. Oh, I believe you can see it. There you go. Yeah, um, it's up there. Again, you've got your hexes. Yep. Hexes and also your oh, gorgeous panel. Is that hexes? Yeah, yes. you have to get really close to them. Oh, there it is, yeah. This is one see. look. You can see how the pattern matching works. See there, he looks like he's got... An extra bit of a hedge, <laughs> but that would disappear in the seam allowance, as would a little bit from the other hexagons. 
Oh. Yep, that's for the back of the tote bag, the handles. And, and extras. Some extras. Extras just because. Well, well there's no point in bag. leaving it plain, is there? No. Leaving some lovely. little gaps on the panels. Might as well fill it up. A little Brucey bonus. Uh, plus, you're getting a metre of your fabric for your lining and the inside of your straps, the border bits, um, all included, and your paper pieces, which, again, like you said, these are really good quality ones that you cut, don't oh, they? Oh, yeah, and the thing is, with those, once you've done this, you can just use them again, use them again for other things, for Fantastic. make a scrappy hexi quilt. Yes. Start a scrappy hexi quilt with them. Love it. Brilliant. Um, let's do... Can we talk about the... The uh, the strip of the month because I I feel like I've missed the whole of last you, year. You actually have. I literally <laughs> didn't, didn't do any of them. Do with me. any we of them? We were meant to be on a couple of like last month together. Yeah. Um, and that was the last strip of the month. Right. But then you were poorly, weren't you? Yeah, I was. John, yeah, so John, did John, it, didn't John he? jumped in. So this was. Um, Amazing. Those of you that saw the quilt, there was two colourways, a blue oh, and a pastel. Oh. I, a lady came to Arding Line. She showed me a photo. She's finished it. She's only got to quilt it. <gasps> yeah, fantastic. she's actually done all of it. Now, I haven't got all of the months and there's a reason for that. We can't get any more of any of them. So, But don't be put off if you haven't already done the quilt because you can still use these gorgeous fabrics and do the blocks, couldn't you? Yeah, so if you repeat like nine of those blocks and place them like this. They can be mini quilts, they can be big cushions, or you can just use six of the blocks and do them. And you can just use them as borders as well. Yeah, there's only one of the pastel blue, by the way, left, and it's absolutely beautiful. I can't get over, we're gonna leave it, there's loads of you there, I can't get over the price of these, Jenny, because you're getting the, these are massive panels. Yes, yeah, so it's 10 for October. eight. October. The panels are 10 for eight. Ten fat eights in there. Yeah. The nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. And your pattern. And, and the with all the templates inside the pattern as well. Oh. The ready to use and the photocopy template. I love the fact that these lovely spring colours as well. I'm not going to open them all out. I'm waiting for you to get them home to have a lovely surprise because there are stunning patterns in here, which I don't think we'll ever be able to like repeat. This is it. Once they're gone, they're gone. We're not going to reprint it. So this is your last chance to get these designs that were for the strip of the month. But this is a really cool block. Yeah. Are these are um, all done pieced. There's no... It's all foundation paper. All foundation paper yeah. piecing. And you say your templates again are included like yeah. today. Yeah, so you can just make the whole thing straight away. You don't need to do anything. September, this time in blue. Do you have a yeah. favourite colourway of the quilt? No. no. I thought I liked the blue one most because that was the one that we did at the start of the year. Right, so you saw it all done. And then as I was doing the pastel, the pastel like, is proper traditional, like... Yeah. Patchworky, patchworky look. Like, yeah, it's just lovely. Oh, so yes. I finished the year loving both. I still need to finish the um, pastel one. It's not quilted or anything. Just it's just. I just think it's a bonus to be able to have these patterns. That would make a lovely, you know, border on any yeah. quilt. And and just like on a bag front, yeah. a tote bag front. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have December blue. Uh, they're all underneath us. Anything that is available is underneath us on the website, but there's a lot that are sold out. Um, this is December, strip of the month in blue. So this one again, yeah, you're flying Yeah, but they're just a little bit different. They look a bit like um, toad stores, don't they? Because it's smaller oh, nice. yes. and then larger one. Love it. Um, sorry, I'm flying through these. You've got your November, which is your square. This is the blue, yep. Yeah. And maybe you did get a couple of them before and now you're loving it and you're just missing November or if you're just missing it, if you do want to construct the whole quilt. Um, personally, for the price right now, I would be thinking, right, I'm not paying my postage and packaging. I'm getting an awful lot of fabric <laughs> there for my money. <laughs> so and I'm also getting an FPP pattern yeah. for free. Yeah. So good. The value for money is amazing because these are absolutely huge panels with loads of different I've had fabrics. So many people come up to me at and like asking me if I was going to do another. And the answer <gasps> Are is you? Yes. Ah, <gasps> oh, fantastic! <laughs> another foundation Probably paper piece. It's going to be foundation paper piece. Um, hopefully, for my last, I've got two shows in March instead of one in Feb. So hopefully, the end of the month, the fe uh, March, March, the last like week of the <gasps> month. Hopefully, it will probably be more of a block. Okay. But it won't just be like one mm -hmm. big thing. Yeah. But yeah, 
I'm just working on it at the moment, but it's definitely going to be like this with a panel. Yeah. Vote for Colourways. Yeah. Oh. Send me some messages with um, Colourways on thinking? my Facebook page because I want to know what everyone likes. Yeah. I'd really like to do a, a purpley one. Mm. Maybe a mixture of purples and blues together. Nice. Because I love that colourway. I love um, reds and oranges and pinks together. Do you? Mm. Yeah. See, this is the thing. It's like, what do I pick? Yes. What do people... So, yeah, drop me... Um, some little messages on my Facebook or yeah. I'll do a poll on there or something yeah. that people can vote for what colours they like. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> this is September uh, in Pastel. Do you remember? 1999. Do you remember? That was a mashup, wasn't it? The 1999. <laughs> I didn't intend to do that. That was just the, that was just the price. And it was September. <sighs> Can't help it. Oh my gosh, I went to, I've been in Lanzarote last week and I um, I won the music quiz. I got so competitive, oh, like yeah. so competitive. I was like, hold the baby. I'm standing <laughs> up for this one. It was so funny. I love that. I was so into it. I actually. So did you go, you see, went on holiday with all three. Yeah. Took the yeah. Twins on yeah. The plane. But also took my mother in law. She did sit oh, on amazing. row, she sat on row 29 though, and we were on like row 12. Oh, okay. But did they sleep the whole time on the plane? They did. They I do. even took their little sleepy heads. They've got little cushions and yeah, I put them I, under the seats yeah. and put them down on the floor. Yeah, they're I, like, where are the babies? I was like, they're under the seats. <laughs> I took Dylan on the plane when he was eight months, six and a half hours, and he just slept the whole Yeah. It's great. Fine. It was fine, the plane. Um, right, this is December in Pastel. 1999 for you gorgeous spring fabrics. Absolutely love those. We've also got November Pastel. And that's the only ones that we have, by the way. So if there is um, one in particular that you're after. Are they all the same panels? Like, as in um, the amount of fabrics and, oh, yes. and colourways? It's always 10 for 8. Great. The whole year. So if you do love it and you want, um, you know, more of this fabric that you've already worked with, then, yeah, you've always got 10 for 8. You've always got these lovely springy fabrics. And then it's just the, the, um, the, the block that changes, your strip that changes. Fabulous. Um, so the panels differ between the months, but they all go together. Yes. For okay. The 12 months. Nice. Slightly different prints, slightly different colours, but they all go. They're all on our YouTube as well. You'll be able to find them. Yeah. Right, we've got lampshade kits. <gasps> I'm so happy that you've done lampshade kits because I love them. The one that's on your screen, we have the colourway available. And it includes, it is, it includes the actual lampshade kit. Um, the drum. Oh, fabulous. So you've got the 25 centimetre drum and all of the sort of fixtures that you need. Yeah. And then Alison Glass. <gasps> Love these. Forty-two ninety-nine. Oops. Um, so you've got your three fabrics, which are fat quarters, I believe. Uh, this time. I can't remember. Yeah, fat <laughs> quarters. Three fat quarters. Plus you're getting your paper piecing and your this EPP. Yeah. So even though there's instructions. instructions in the lampshade kit on how to construct the lampshade, I rewrote some because in case people didn't find that that were the ones in here clear. Okay, that's Because I had to reread some of the steps a few times. So I thought, well, let me write another version. Plus, obviously, how to do the EPP and how to put EPP on the drum. Brilliant, brilliant. And then we also have it in this colourway. The Summer Meadow is in... Oh, just your lovely teals. Yeah. Love this. Turquoise and teals. This is going to look so beautiful. Ben, this will go in your new house, won't it, with these lovely teals? Um, you've got your EPP pieces. So what shapes are we looking at here? Um, there is honeycombs and squares. Nice. Plus all your instructions and, again, obviously your lampshade kit. Free P&P. It is free post and packaging all day today using code JAN24PP. Great chance to try them all out. Um, OK. Have you got the message? They're in, they're in, they're in. Oh, thank you, Hayley, because I think she was out oh, last John's night. She's singing. managed to sort it. Oh, amazing. So John's subscriptions are now restocked. Thank you so much, John, uh, for being on onto his team as well at Threads of Life. It's an amazing um, platform that is for sewers, but also just um, anyone who wants to be a part of a great community and watch lots of fabulous online content there will be over the year over 100 hours like 120 videos and hours including trips to meet designers <laughs> that are experts in their field um 
the £100 or 99.99 is only available on three-way split pay today. It might be available on split pay another day, but I know that John had to fight hard to be able to get it on three-way split pay. Um, and it will not be with free PMP again. So if you want to use the free PMP, go for it today. We have had hundreds and hundreds of you join the community already this morning and subscribe to John's new platform, which will be launching on the 5th of February. Um, you will get an email that comes through on midnight, 4th of Feb, at the start of the 5th of Feb, it will come through with your username and a password. Um, it will go to the email that's registered to your Sewing Street account. So if you're speaking to the call centre, just check that your email is, is, is correct. We've had so many people messaging, asking, why is it gone? Why was it limited? We don't have, we haven't had a chance to, to get it. Um, it sold out during his show at eight o'clock at the early bird this morning. So if you do want to be part of this amazing platform, um, we're really, really excited about it. And just to reiterate, we ordered in a huge amount of these, more than we ever thought would, would go today. So John is absolutely overwhelmed and humbled um, by all your messages. He had literally tears in his eyes I'm when not, he came oh, up and gave me the biggest so hug and he was like, I was so nervous. He says, I've never been so nervous. Um, and already half of the restock has gone straight into baskets. Remember, we've managed to do it on split pay. Anybody who buys from John Scott's Threads of Life, which you can buy on the threadsoflife.tv on the website, but you won't be able to get it on split pay. That was why John really wanted to bring it here to Sewing Street. It isn't anything to do with Sewing Street. It's actually, it's nothing in competition. It's not a shopping, you know, channel. It is all just chat shows. I want to be on it's Loose Threads. It's just John having just a chat. John. I want to be on Loose Threads. Yeah. Don't you? You'd be a great we, guest. How was oh, it to be on it? It was so much fun because I didn't really know what we was we were going to do. Yeah. And we just sat and chatted for 45 minutes. Oh, nice. It was brilliant about anything and everything. Brilliant. Yeah, oh, cute. I love it. There's also sewing surgery. There's going to be lies. Anybody who purchases today as well, you're going to be automatically entered into this massive prize draw. Haven't you uh, yeah, given I just, in a prize? Yeah, a kit. <gasps> yeah. I mean, there's so many people who have said, yeah, here you go, this is to go in the prize draw. So somebody will be picked um, who's already, who, who's going to um, get involved before the launch date and they will reveal the first competition winner, which is really exciting. So I just thought I'd let you know before we go to a break, anybody check out during the break or speak to the customer service team. And if you do have any questions that aren't related to Sewing Street, but about Threads of Life, there is an email um, which was, can you remember the email there? It's hello at Threads of Live TV if you've got any questions there. Hello at Threads of Live TV. Uh, if you have got any other voucher codes like your uh, advent calendar, you can't use them as well as your free PMP, but we worked out, you know, it's, it, it's a good saving to use £10 voucher. Use it if you would like to, but also you can use that code January tw Jan 24 PP to get free PMP today. Your PMP would obviously used to be for like admin fees as well as like physically sending something. We have someone who has to set up an automated system. It isn't as easy as just, oh, well, I haven't had a, you know, something physical thing sent to me. You see what happens to our graphics when they're not maintained. Sometimes we, um, yeah, have, uh, <laughs> have issues. But today you won't pay any postage and packaging on anything, which is thanks to John. Uh, so, right, we're going to leave you with that. Jenny's going to be coming back in an hour yeah. and we've got two brand we new have. projects. You're going to be doing a handbag. I am, and a Maltese pouch, so it's a large pouch. I love the pouch. So <laughs> useful for, like, your tablet and things like that. Brilliant Laptop, laptop. documents, everything. Fab. Right, <laughs> stay tuned because... We've got Adele coming up after the break and she's going to be demonstrating a pair of jeans. I'm so excited to do this. And I said, how on earth have you done the fly part of a pair of jeans? She says, don't worry, that's what I'm going to demo. <laughs> so stay where you are. Have a look over the break because we're going to play the overview of Threads of Life for anybody who missed the 8 a.m. show. So get on board. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. I'll see you in an hour. Indeed. Don't go anywhere. We're back in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to John Scott's Threads of Life, my exciting video platform and online community where you can enjoy a whole host of exclusive content and perks when you become a member. Sign up today and you'll have access to a whole array of brand new TV shows that we're constantly producing exclusively for members.
Every week, there'll be hours of new content being released. In fact, over the course of your 12-month membership, you'll have well over 100 hours of programming that you are free to watch on demand at a time that suits you. And here's a small flavor of what you can expect. You'll get the chance to hear all my stories from the past six decades in the most fascinating sit-down one-to-one. It's John Scott's life story, and I know you're going to love it. The Sewing Surgery is the go-to show for in-depth tutorials and masterclasses on everything from dressmaking to patchwork and quilting. Join me on the road as I travel the length and breadth of the country in Meet the Designer, where I chat with the biggest names in sewing to take a deep dive into their fascinating lives. Enjoy some light relief as I'm joined on the sofa by some familiar and some new faces in our weekly topical chat show, Loose Threads. And believe me, we keep it loose. The A-List is the show where I'll be interviewing all my showbiz chums and getting them to open up and spill the gossip like no other show they've been on before. We're taking your calls and your emails in Dr. Mike's surgery, where we'll tackle any medical questions and concerns that you have. Behind the scenes is your front row seat as you follow me for the day to see everything that happens when the cameras are not rolling. I'll be hosting live sew-alongs where you'll be able to join in from home and ask any questions as we make and create together. Talking of live, you'll also be able to join me for an exclusive members-only live chat every month so we can really let our hair down and have a good catch-up. Not only will you enjoy all that fabulous video content, but you'll get access to an exclusive online community to chat and share your makes with me and fellow members in a safe and welcoming environment. You'll also have the opportunity to win amazing competitions. Plus, I've got my own app. It's absolutely fantastic because it allows you to watch any of the shows when and where you want. You can even cast them directly to your big screen TV for the ultimate John Scott viewing experience. You can sign up today and be ready to log in when the platform launches on Monday, the 5th of February. And I hope you'll join me on this exciting journey of John Scott's Threads of Life. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, 
sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Welcome back. What a day. What a day. Ben's been here for seven days straight. I did actually hear you saying yesterday that you were a bit tired and I thought, do you know what, today is going to be so good and Ben is loving the last day of his big seven day stint. We're having a fabulous day. And I must say, one thing I've been, I don't even know if I've voiced this actually, but something that I have always thought, oh, do you know, if I was a dressmaker, I would love to be able to make my own pair of jeans because it's something that I really, really struggle to get to fit right. Um, but it, it's something that I've also thought, oh my gosh, but that'd be so daunting because you've got the fly part and you've got this part and this part and you've got to make sure that it's this. And we've got a jeans pattern and it's a great pattern as well. Um, if you want to make your own pair of jeans, this is the pattern to get and it's free P and P. There's our lovely model, Adele. <laughs> There's my it's bum on Your bum on the telly. <laughs> That's one to screenshot for you then. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> you've got to see the jeans. I'll direct you. Yeah, it's not. I wasn't just filming her bum. Um, how did you find making a pair of jeans? Have you made a pair of jeans before, Adele? So I've never made a pair of jeans, but I've made a pair of like cords. Okay. Um, and like you were saying, with jeans, they're really funny in terms of fitting when you yeah. buy them from the shops because they might fit on your waist, but they're not your hip, and then on your hip and not on your waist. Yeah. So what the beauty of this is, is that you can tailor it exactly to your body. Yes. And you can try them on, um, do some sort of fitting, like, you can tack them rather than doing the full seam, making sure they fit around, nice around yeah. the bottom. And then you've got a pair of jeans that will last you. Oh, amazing. Now, there's two options. You yes. can have either a flared pair yeah. or... Wide leg, which wide is leg. what I've, I've made. Fabulous. Um, so they've got pockets. They've got yep. the, they have got the fly, haven't they? Yes, yes. So they okay. do have the fly, which is daunting. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to deny is a tricky part. But the pattern really gives you every little step of the way. So it doesn't assume that you've ever made them before. And are they high-waisted? Yes. Oh, nice. I love high-waisted. So I always chuck my tops in, my jumpers in. I like high-waisted. And you, you, you want to do it with a, a denim that's got stretch? Absolutely. And that's another thing as well. When you buy denim from the shop, quite often it's really rigid. And it takes almost a year for you to feel comfortable yeah. in them. Because this has a stretch to it, yeah. they feel soft and comfortable from the first time that you put them on. Brilliant. Um, and they both include, both options A and B, front and back. Yeah, front pockets. and back. They're both patch pocket, not in seam. So you can leave them off on the front if you don't want them. Or I quite like them having them on yeah. the front and the back. No, they look great. Um, now, I've never seen Chalk and Notch before. Have you no. worked with their patterns? So... I've never found them by myself. I've done a chalk and notch here yeah. on Sewing Street. But when you actually start looking into the pattern company, they're really popular. So whenever I get a new pattern company, I go on Instagram, have a look at yeah. patterns, uh, like other people, what they've made. Um, and they are very popular in America. This is great, look. When you open the, uh, the packet, when you get it at home, it is an American brand, so just be aware of the sizing. Yeah. John actually told me this morning that you just add four, so a size yeah. zero in America is a size four here. So it says it goes up to a size 30, so if you think like a size 34, but always check with your Absolutely. hips, waist, especially making jeans. I would say this yes. is an imperative, actually. 100%. Um, every pattern company makes their patterns from their stock block. So they have a block and every pattern company has slight differences in their basic yeah. measurements. So I will always advise, no matter, even if you've made this before, 
always measure yourself before you cut. You, you can just buy this pattern though because you don't need to worry about all oh, which pattern am I in between because no. it's all it's, on one. Yeah. It's from size zero to size 30, so a great size range yep. here. And it's got your waist and your hip measurements. But when you open it up, I love the fact that here, look, on the flap side there, you can put your date and your measurements yes. there. Any sort of pattern and fitting adjustment notes that you needed. Yep. Fabric swatches space there. Do it a friction pen, you can, you know, yeah. rub it out. Yeah. And the thing is, as well, Vicky, I am an advocate for repeat pattern use. Of like, I've made several dresses in different fabrics and no one ever picks me up and goes, oh, what, haven't you got that dress already? So I would say make this once, twice, three times. But every time you go away and come back, it's really difficult to remember what you did, yeah. like what yeah. little changes you made. Yeah. So it's great that it's got it on the pattern pack it yeah. where you can put your adjustments rather than a little notebook somewhere yeah. else. And this is a huge yes. booklet that it comes with. And on the first page, it's got all of your um, how to follow them, but also on the first page, as soon as you open it, QR yep, code. Did you have long. a watch of it? No, I didn't. I didn't even notice it. And do you know what? I wish I had because... It's so long. Yeah. For the zip as well, for the fly, 100%. When I make these again, I'm going to have that on in the background. It says here, scan this code for Chalk and Notch Sew Along Library, follow yep. this link. So, so, so you're going to be able to find it. Now, it's got your pattern details, yep. huge um, uh, uh, size chart measurements there. Yeah. So for, you know, if you've got, um, it says here, even your thighs. thighs your yeah. Thighs. So the thing is as well, with a pair of jeans, you want them to fit perfectly. So it's got your finished garment measurements. Okay. And it's got your waist, your hip, which you obviously think. Then it's got the front rise, so how far it will come up to the front, how far it goes from the crotch up to your back. Then it's got the, uh, the thigh on the flare, but right. also the fly on the wide. That, oh gosh, that's really difficult to say, isn't fly it? Fly on the flare, fly on the flare, James. <laughs> and then the fly on, on the, the wide. Okay. And then it also gives you the measurement for your knee as well. Oh, so why would you need a measurement? Because knee? with the, the flare, you're going to have quite a tight fitting upper leg and then it's going to flare out from the right. knee. Right. And you want to be able to move in them and feel comfortable. So it gives you how much ease is in those areas. Right, and that's your finished garment size. So that's yes. with ease, which is yes. fantastic. Um, custom fitting as well. There yep. is actually a section on that. Choosing your fabrics. So they do suggest obviously using a stretch denim, but cord. Absolutely, I know, a cord stretch cord. Nice. So 100% do not use this pattern without a stretch because okay. the pattern pieces have accounted for that stretch. Right. Okay. Um, but stretch cords would be gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, this is, I could talk about this like pattern for the whole hour. Yeah. I'm getting really into this it's because lovely. it's, uh, these are the things that you want to know when you're making a pair of jeans. Yes. Is that actually I'm going to be able to make these to fit. Yeah. And there's so much help with custom fitting. There's page and page and pages. There's also cutting tips here. Yeah. So um, yeah. what's really good as well, there's a whole bit about adjusting the rise. Yeah. There you so go. this is the bit where it fits around the crotch area. Area, okay. that you really right, let's just be frank you don't want that bit there to be uncomfortable because when you're sitting down standing up yeah you want that area to feel so nice and comfortable and it actually allows you uh, well it tells you how to adjust it and on the pattern piece it even yeah. tells you exactly where the thigh line the thigh measurement is okay. so you can twirl it up just to see where that thigh sits on you because we're all different and that's yeah. what the beauty of dressmaking is we all have different um lumps and bumps in the right areas and so this geez, is the thing yeah i think sometimes like you know you make a dress and you can um you get away with it but if you're making a pair of jeans yes and we all wear a pair of jeans yes. everyone's got a pair of jeans in their wardrobe pair of jeans don't absolutely you? so if you're thinking well i haven't worn jeans for ages because i've never found ones that fit this is your chance yeah over half the stock of this brand new pattern is in. Now, we've also got some gorgeous fabric choices. Um, shall we start with your classic denims? We've got three yep. colours, I believe. Let's go with the dark colour first. Now, it is stretch denim, and we've got enough here to be able to make the largest size, which is three and a half metres, and that's for your flared or your wide leg. 26 99 and that's three and a half metres of your stretch dark denim, which is the one that Adele made her jeans out of. Yes, so I made the dark. I've got the medium. 
to sew up today. Great. Right. Uh, 26 99 It's your free P&P &P day as well today. So if you just want denim in your stash, even if you're thinking of another pattern in mind, if you're thinking of bag makers, all of our denim's always very, very popular because the prices are great. I mean, that's for three and a half metres. And a good pair of jeans you can pay a lot of money for. So um, definitely worth getting your stretched denim dark jeans in your stash. So that's the dark. We also then have your medium, which is like your real classic, like what I've got on today. Actually, yeah. are these a bit darker? But classic. Um, <laughs> £26.99 for your three and a half metres. Going into spring, maybe a lighter colour. But like you said, once you've made them once... Yes. I'd then, if you know you've got a good pair of jeans yes. that fit you well and you can do it, I'd be thinking, oh, right, OK, I'm having them in every colour. Yep. And also, it talks about that you can use uh, twill fabric. So if you wanted to make a pair of smart trousers, it doesn't necessarily have to be a casual trouser. No. So a smart, wide leg trouser, maybe if you're at work that, or you yeah. want something for the evening. Yeah. But denim, I think over the last sort of 10 years, used to always be very casual. Yeah. Loads of people go out now oh, and yeah. don't they? Yeah. Whereas I know my granddad, bless him if he is listening, I got told off once because I went round with cut denim jeans. Oh, yeah. And he was furious. He was <laughs> like, why on earth would you wear that? And I was like, OK, granddad. Oh, but now, like you said, you go out and it's quite, yeah, yeah jeans and a nice top is what yeah. I always go to for yeah. going out. Um, right, shall we do the light ready for summer? This will look lovely. You know, like with the blouse that I've got on today or something like a white shirt and jeans, you can't yes. go wrong. And a flared pair of jeans are very in. They are. Back. All the 90s is coming back, Vicky. They are in, they yep. are in. Skinnies are out, yep. aren't they? Do you know what? I actually got rid of all my skinny jeans. Have you? Because I kept putting them on and I felt so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, I felt like all my leg was restricting. Yeah. I was walking. And I thought, why am I wearing something I feel uncomfortable in? Yeah. yeah. So I like a little bit of tight snatched in at the waist and then big baggy. Yes, yes. Uh, the wide leg and the flares are very, very on trend. Yes. Very on trend. Lovely in this colour as well. Um, we have black, if you do want to do more of a sort of smart one. Now, these are... The yarn dyed, Ben's telling me. Does that make yep. a difference? So what it is, is the, the weave is you have a, a black thread and then a white thread. So that's why when you turn this uh, fabric over, look, it looks white. Yeah. And that's what denim is. It's about the weave. OK. So it still has a stretch to it. Yes. Which you want. This is the um, yarn dyed stretch denim. Three and a half metres is 26.99. Remember, that's enough to be able to do the largest size, um, which is a size 30 American size. Twenty-six ninety-nine. No, I don't know what you mean, Ben. I've got grey. <laughs> he says when you buy black jeans and they just he says some black jeans they look really cheap. Yeah. Where are you going with this? You buy another pair. I know what you mean, yeah, but where are you going with this comment? These aren't going to look cheap, these are going to look lovely. The yarn dyed is the higher end, he's saying. Um, so you've got here. Your lovely denim grey this time. It's still got that nice stretch. I think these are going to look really smart. Yes. And also with denim, um, I actually really like how it starts to fade in the areas where often you wear it. They look, it makes it look more natural. Love it. 26 99 And then, right, a bit of a curveball here. Spring's coming after all. How beautiful will yes. these look? Rose, it's called. This lovely... I think the wide leg one. Yeah. And you could have real fun with your top stitching. Absolutely. Maybe like a grey. Yeah. Top stitch would look nice. <gasps> Right, we have a couple of other bits and bobs that I just want to quickly mention, and then we will dive into the demo because we all are wondering how to do this fly section of the uh, uh, jeans. So we've got two zips. Now these are metal zips. Are they the right length? Yep, absolutely. I didn't need to trim them down at all. Perfect. Did you use the beige one? No, I had the black one, actually. Right. We've got, um, I think we've only got the beige and the white today, I think. This is the beige, 199. See, it's things like this that are brilliant for your free P&P &P day, yes. aren't they? Yeah, stocking up. having Like, that's the thing. You were saying that you wanted to make a couple of these. We'll just yeah. get a, a couple of um, zips in your stash as yeah. well. Definitely. £1.99 for your brass zip. It's 18 centimetres. That's in beige. And then we have the white with the gold zip. Yes. 
I think you do want a nice um, metal zip. There's you need a, a heavy duty zip. Yeah. Don't go for a cheaper plastic zip. Right, okay. Because you want to finish the whole look. I mean, let's face it, it it's not going to, I mean, it's, it's less than two pounds. It's yeah. still, and it's going to look fantastic and professional. Um, and then I mentioned top stitching. Classic jeans always have mine i've got here yep. that twin needling with the gold yeah i went for gray actually with these yeah um and i really like the silver look yes i do but you do have these lovely um tans you also have your red green yep. navy blue black in there white in there now are these thicker than your 50 weight yes. are they top stitching threads yes they're top uh, top stitching threads so what i would recommend is You'd, if, if you've got two machines, have them set up, one with your top stitch, one with your other stitch, because I wouldn't use these to do all your stitching. No. Or when you get to a point where, like, I'm going to show you exactly where you top stitch, make it all up, quickly swap over your threads, and then do that. Just then. in the top, you don't put this in your bobbin. No. It's heavier, heavier. Yeah, just in your top. Okay. okay, you get 100 metres of each polyester top stitching thread, just solely for your sort of decorative. Um, and it's twenty four ninety nine. Another great one. To stock up whilst you've got your free PMP code there on screen. Jan twenty four PP. Yeah, and with dressmaking, I always recommend polyester thread, not cotton threads, okay. because you need that little bit of stretch in it. Right. Good tip. Thank you. Um, underneath us, we've got other bits and bobs. Lovely buttons and um, jean buttons. Yep. Oh, anyone who got that green machine? Yes. Great chance to get your rivets yes. in. Your yes. nice poppers. All sorts of buttons. Um, yeah, great one. We've also got jean needles. Yeah, so I would recommend. So I actually, before I started sewing these, I did a bit of research what size needle you needed because I didn't have any jeans needles, but I had a range of different sizes. So if you've got universal, it's the 90, but I would recommend with the jeans because when you get to the pockets and on the waistband, you're going through quite a few layers. Brilliant. Right, what part are you showing then? The, the okay, part? so... I'm being really brave today. You are doing this on <laughs> telly. Yeah, I'm being really brave. We're going to do the, the fly. Um, this is an intermediate pattern. Okay. So I am going to say, look, if you have never made a pair of trousers, this is not your first pattern no. to do. But if you've made a pair of trousers before and you want to delve into denim, go for it. Yeah. Because, like you said, this is a huge booklet. And look at how many steps. So it tells you literally everything what to do. And this is why I love modern patterns. Yes. Now, those are just fabulous, aren't yeah. they? The paper pieces, um, are they, are they... So they are to, tissue. But they're easy to... Yeah, the only... I would say the only difficult part is when you're coming across this part here... OK, if I actually get the pattern piece out, there's quite a lot on the pattern. Right. OK, because there's lots of markings. It shows you where the dart is, where we down yep. slightly. Thank so it you. shows you where the dart is. It shows you where you're going to put your pocket, and it shows you one, two, three, four points. Whereas some patterns only ever normally show you the top. Right. Then it's got lots of markings down here. So one thing I would say is just take your time cutting the pattern piece out. Yeah. Or some people, there is a real split in dressmaking, whether you're a cutter or a tracer. Yeah. I am a cutter. I can't bother with tracing this out and then cutting that out as well. But just please be very mindful of that. Okay. Um, it does talk in the, in the pattern about how you can blend sizes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're one size at the waist, but around your bottom area that you need another size, it shows you how you can blend those sizes. Right. So it tells you all that in the pattern booklet. But the booklet, I'm really good that I didn't see that code at the start <laughs> now. But it really does take you through every step, how to prepare, um, what to do. This is also very good because it doesn't normally tell you when to finish scenes. Right. Normally there's an assumption of, oh, I'll just finish this scene, but it tells you exactly which scenes that you're going to finish. Um, like, for example, on the um, button loops, uh, yeah, the belt, belt loops, loops, that's it. You only actually need to finish one side, so okay. it tells you exactly where where to put your interfacing as well. When you and, talk about um, finishing, do you really want to be using an overlocker on this? Do you think? Yeah, well, denim because it's a weave, it will 
spray. Yeah. Spray. And jeans are something that you're going to have for many, many years. It's not going to be something that you just wear once or twice and then it yeah. stays in your, uh, your wardrobe. It's be one to one. You've really got to invest mm -hmm. in this. And I, I definitely recommend to finish your seams. Yeah. If you don't have an overlocker, very often on machines they do have an overlocking sort of yeah. function. Um, really please do take your time with okay. that. Okay. Um, there is darts on the front, one on the front on either side and two on the back. And it does even advise you in this, um, when it comes to top stitching these darts down, to try it on first and maybe leave that till the end so that you've got a little bit of wiggle room to, to ease that pattern out. Okay. So that's what's really great about this. It takes you through every step. So I would recommend this if you've done trousers before, Mm -hmm. um, you, if you've done jeans, you're going to fly through this because it takes you every step. But a bunch, yeah. Doing the fly. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even know I was a comedian. Either. <laughs> um, but if you've never made jeans, this is a great first pattern. So I'm going to have a go at the the fly. Yeah. Do you know what? If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Oh, yeah, it's good to be able to do it together. Just so you know, pattern is going to sell out. There's more in baskets than we have availability. It's the first jeans pattern I've seen on Sewing Street. Yes, we've yeah, never done. Brilliant. We, I know that a lot of people have always asked for more trouser patterns. Um, and I know the team are looking into getting more. It's, right. it's difficult sometimes because obviously I've got them on now. We can't look at it on a mannequin. We're looking at it on the time. Oh, there you go. A little more. <laughs> But look as well, so it also tells you the height of the model that it's actually done for. So I think it was a five foot seven it's intended for. Yeah. And this length is perfect. I actually like the fact that it hits right at the floor. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I sometimes wear my Doc Martin boots, so it allows me to have that little bit of room. Yeah. No one wants short no, trousers, no. do they? Right, so I'm just going to do the darts. They are only very subtle. They're not big darts, but it gives that lovely shaping around the waist. Just put my foot down and then I've just got grey thread to help it show up. But like I said, spend that time and on top stitching. I think it will be really worth it. So just going down and then we need to press these. Everything on jeans is all about pressing because you want it to be really nice and sort of slick and, and smooth. Now, I've not cut... If someone's thinking, why is this so short? Are they hot pants? <laughs> <laughs> I've not cut the whole thing just because I'm only demonstrating today the fly and I didn't want to have big lengths of fabric to get in the way from somebody being able to see what's going on. What's the point? Could you do a hack into shorts, though? Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, I was talking to my daughter just yesterday. She was like, oh, mum, what shall I... Because she's planning to go to this concert. Mum, what shall I wear? And I went, a nice pair of denim shorts, darling, yeah. because they're comfortable, yeah. they're robust. Yeah. You don't feel like you're just in a little pair of shorts. And so you'll like, be making a repair? Most likely. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if, at the moment, we're in the teenage yeah. age of everything's got to be the right brand yeah. and the right style. <laughs> I remember being like it. So you can see this fabric really does press so well because yeah. it is a cotton fabric. So I've got it on quite a high heat. It withstands the iron really well. You don't need to worry. Because, it, yes, it does have a polyester thread, elastic going through it to give that stretch, but it, you can still give it a really, really good press. OK, now... I'm just going to show you where we're going to do a quick top stitch. Okay. So, as you can see, I've just pressed that dart to one side. We're going to top stitch close to where that dart is, just to hold all those layers together. When you're top okay. stitching, do you change your stitch length at all? Yes, so I always go up to 3.5, Okay. just so that it looks more decorative. Yeah. Um, now, we're not going to go down into the point. You will go down, and where that dart finishes, just do an end locking stitch. Is it solely decorative? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Completely decorative. If you didn't want to put it on, you don't have to put okay. it on. And that is the beauty of dressmaking, isn't it? You can have it exactly how you want it to be. I've got a little pair, well, I say little, a pair of um, denim dungarees and I've done this top stitching on and it's just such a nice yeah. little picture. It really does finish it off. 
And if you're spending the time doing this, why not spend that just a little bit of extra doing all the finishing touches? Right. So I've just sewn those down. As you can see already, Vicky, I think that looks really yeah, nice. Yeah, it does. It does look very nice. OK, right, let's get on to this. So also, well, all I'm going to say is we do need to prepare this. I've not overlocked it, but this would all normally be overlocked. And as you can see, this front part here is slightly cut out and that bit is slightly cut in because that just allows for the, the zip to be on there and give that a little bit of extra room, if you see what I mean. Yeah. See that that sticks out, then we go in and then we're down. So when I pop that on, it's not going to be exactly the same. Right. So as I put that on there, you've actually got yeah. a bit of the one underneath right, sticking so that out. That is correct. That is correct. So we're only sewing from the crotch up to that first notch. Do you know when you are overlocking, do yes. you take any of the fabric away? Do you cut it? No. Any? So this is my concern. Yeah, so if you're overlocking before, you don't want to cut any of the fabric away and you will need to put those notches back in. Yes. So what I, I cut in my notches but what I would recommend if you're overlocking it to get yourself a chalk and actually put where that notch is for example like this so that when you overlock that you can still see exactly where that is right okay so we're going to sew just from the bottom all the way up to that first notch and then we're going to put our fly guard in it's called yes a fly guard but because there's lots of components to a fly isn't there yeah you forget so if you're at home now and you're wondering what makes up a fly go and have a look at a pair of jeans because it's a heavy duty fly you need to have several layers just to make it a little bit more comfortable around the tummy area so you've got the fly guard and then later on you have this bit here which is like the fly i think they call it the fly shield right so that when it's sitting on me now i can't feel that fly at all no, yeah. on my tummy okay right i am going to keep this open i have done it before but even the telly <laughs> yeah i would always keep my instructions close to hand so I've only done this right side to right side up until that point there. I've got my fly guard, which has got some interfacing on it. Doesn't Any need to be. interfacing? Just anything that you've got around. I wouldn't go anything heavier than this fabric. Okay. And like you said before, this fabric's got a nice drape to it. It's not heavy, thick no. weight no. denim. So just be mindful of that. And we're going to put that in at that point there from where we sewed mm -hmm. all the way up. Now, I just want to be, I want to be clear, yes, it doesn't, it doesn't go up to the top because that will be our waistband. Right. Okay, so please don't be alarmed. This part here, if you look at the fly shield, that is the right length. Right. So please yeah, don't yeah, be alarmed wrong. Yeah. because your fly isn't going all the way up. Right. You're going to have a button there as well. So I'm just going to sew along here, then we're going to fold this over, press that, and then edge stitch this. Right. Now, can I can I be uh, open and honest? Yeah. I don't always do edge edge stitching. What is an edge so, stitch? Edge stitch is when you've done a seam, you often open it up and then catch the seam allowance ah, along yeah, an edge. Yeah. Um, so it stops it from rolling out. I sometimes skip it if I'm doing a dress, but yeah. with this, I did every one of them because okay. I want everything to sit perfectly flat for when we put that okay. uh, zip in. Okay, so let's just go from there all the way up to the top. And it also does tell you where to finish this fly, fly guard as well with the overlocker. Now, I'm not doing it with any just because I'm trying to do this quickly with no pins, I would recommend 100% please pin this. Um, Christine, it was just a chalk pencil that you were using, wasn't yes, it? Yeah, yeah. Nothing fancy. Just a quilter's choice chalk oh, pencil. Yeah. We have got um, some other chalk. Yeah, the like Taylor's, Taylor's chalk. Taylor's chalk. Um, this is with free P&P. Well, everything's with free P&P today, so if you do want to stock up on your Taylor's chalk, 
It's just three pounds and ninety nine, and you've got all three colours there as well. It's a nice little set that is. Yeah, it's always good it's just to have to hand. Like we all, I don't know if we all have it. This is what I do. I have my big sewing box on the shelf, but then just a little sewing box next to me. It's got all my bits that I can Your grab. Your essentials. Yeah, my essentials. So I'm going to understitch that and just go down there very close to that edge. But again, look how lovely this yeah. denim is pressing. Yeah. It's just pressing so well. Again, I've just got a longer stitched length. I see why you say if you have two machines, set them both up with one with your top stitch thread in. Yes. Because that top stitch thread is slightly thicker. There, we've done that. Then it talks about preparing your zipper. And now we're going to attach the zipper. So I'm going to change my foot to the zipper foot. When he says about pre preparing your zipper, yes. is it telling you sort of like what length it needs to be or yes, so how, it what tells you, you to prepare it? So it tells you what length. So if you can't get the exact length, you might need to cut this down because you don't want a long piece at the end. Yeah. And also it gives you some tips of where the, these edges, these little fluffy edges here, we can just fold them over like that and just sew there so that it doesn't stick up mm -hmm. as such. Because in a moment when we put all this in, it's nice sometimes to have that top bit there out of the way right. as such. But it tells you exactly what to do on here. Fab. That's, and that's what's lovely about this pattern. It gives you those little yeah. tips that I've never seen before. No one's ever told me how to prepare my zip. No. So that's really well, that's great. That's why I questioned it. I thought, way. prepare a zip? I haven't, I haven't heard that phrase yeah. before. Great. Then I'm just going to change my foot to the zipper foot. So everybody would probably have their zipper foot that they've used before. Yeah. Uh, it comes with your machine often as standard. And it does tell us that we're going to use this all the way from 13 all the way to 17. Okay. So we're doing it as we put the zip in, as we attach it to the fly guard, and then as we attach the fly shield. So use this, and I'm going to just, I'm going to just double check which way this is going round, because I don't want to get this wrong live on air, and then be like, oops. Don't forget, just while Adele's reading through that, don't forget, everything's on free P&P today. Everything is very limited today. We can't even keep up with how busy it is. Um, but also remember that there is a QR code on the pattern. So even if you jot down today's date and we don't get a chance to do every part of the jeans today, there is so along, there is fabulous yes. instructions as well. Very, very busy today. Also, don't forget John's Threads of Life subscription is back in stock. It completely sold out. Um, and half the reallocation has now gone. Um, I, did, I hope you asked for lots and lots again. He did, he did, he did. So your 12 month membership includes, um, it's worth watching the show back at eight o'clock. We did um, a full rundown of everything that the, the platform entails, but it's very exciting, isn't yes. it? Yes, he had lovely balloons. They've all gone, haven't they? I, I think he's taking them with him. I think oh, he's with him. I yeah. think they're absolutely fantastic. They all had John Scott's thread of life. I know. I want balloons with my name on. <laughs> Look. <laughs> We didn't see him skipping through. You're going to have to skip back now. Come on, go, go, go. I hurt my foot, I can't skip back. Oh. <laughs> but I think that's amazing that he's oh, got I balloons. Oh, it's just so lovely. And like I was saying to John, like, he should be so proud of himself. Yeah. Like, he's such a gem. Yeah, he completely deserves it all. Yeah, and, and it's... It's all it's genuine. So like, oh, I bet I can't wait to listen to all the interviews because oh, yeah. I bet they're so interesting. Oh, yeah. he, he really gets the gossip, doesn't he? Oh, he, he? does. He, he does. does. Without you even knowing. Yeah. He knows Without you even knowing. Uh, right. right. So, sorry, where were we? We're just gushing about John. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've just sewn my zip in. Now, it does tell you exactly where to go. And then we're going to do that up. And what you start to see it starts to close in over itself right hang on let's just see that's that okay again. go on right okay. that's it so let's show you exactly where i sewed wait let me get this the right way around this is what i, I did only a yeah. short piece so this is the right hand side mm -hmm. we've sewn that and when i pull this over that now wants to sit and close over nice. the zip. 
Yeah. Do you see how easy yeah. that is? And, oh my gosh, I've even made it better this time. <laughs> you know, when I made it at home, I had a tiny little bit sticking out there and I was like, oh, ah. this has just gone beautiful. And look how seamless and perfect that open is Amazing. at the end. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh my gosh, I am Very so proud of yourself. impressed with myself. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I want to just iron that fly guards in place. Like I say, keep your iron open. Well, not open, but on always. And then what we're going to do is we are going to sew our fly guard onto our zip. Now, this is the thing. I'm just going to have a quick look here, Vicky, because there is a particular way that this has to sit. There we go. Right. OK. So I'm just checking. Flip the front side down, place the zipper onto the fly guard, and then sew the two lines of stitching to secure the zipper to the fly guard. Okay. And it also says, make sure that the wearer's left side is out of the way. Because this is where I've made mistakes in the past when I've done a fly, that you think, oh, I need to have that all together. That fly guard is separate. Right. So when it says have the left part of the zipper all out the way, how, where do have you Have that, yeah. all of the left-hand side of your, your uh, front jean yeah. out of the way yeah. so that you are only going to be so sewing to ah. the fly guards. Okay. Then we're going to sew down there. Then that will open out and give us a beautiful finish. Nice. Like oh, that. I mean, that looks amazing. Is that concealed? Zip? Yes. It is. Yes. yes. So that's the beauty of this fly. Just going to make sure I've exactly got it the right way because I don't want any mistakes. Just making sure. Yep. And also, what I would recommend is have your pins, but also. Just keep flipping it over to make sure yeah, that you're flowing nice on the right side. Yeah. And I'm going to just do that the other side as well, because I don't want this to go wrong. If it goes wrong, Adele, you unpick it and you can do yep. it again, can't you? Absolutely. I always have my own picker close to me and I don't see it as a bad thing no. that I've got my own picker, um, because that is the beauty of dressmaking. Now, also, are you going as close to the metal yes. zipper as you can? Yeah, with the zipper foot. I would recommend not doing these jeans all in one sitting. No. Because... Do this part as one. Yep. One then way. go away, come back another day, start yep. the next piece. Right, let's see. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yes. Perfect. Oh, my gosh, this is even better than I did it at home. <laughs> oh. oh the telly as well. Oh, my gosh. I'm oh. very proud of you. I can't believe that. Oh. <laughs> Do you know at home at this point? I actually did this one several times and now I've just done that. Look how nice. Oh my gosh, that, that looks is. so good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew down through the front so it does leave a fly. Okay. And this is where I would recommend getting your uh, chalk back out and drawing the exact line where you're going to sew. So keep them together like this. And if you had a ruler, have we got a ruler? Uh, I would have said so. Any kind of ruler? Yeah, just the straight edge because we want this line of stitching to be nice and straight. I've just done that without a ruler there, look. Yeah. And we're going to sew all the way down here. And what that does is create your fly and also keeps that fly guard attached. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is coming out well. See, do you know what? My new philosophy is just say yes, have do a go. It. Yeah, put yourself under Thank the you. pressure, you can do it. It's made me do loads of exciting things this year. So just say yes. Right. Now, the great thing with chalk on denim, I, a fix-it pen, you might not be able to see that, but with chalk, you really can. I think you need to make these into patchwork jeans, like add another bit of fabric to the bottom or something to the bottom to make them into shorts or tassels or something. Because that is such a waste to have such a fantastic demo fly. Oh, no. I'll have them and I'll just put some tassels on them or something. I just can't get over how well that's worked. Straight line and we don't go all the way to the end. 
that comes later. It tells you on the instructions that that does come later because that's when we have the fly shield in place and then we finish that right, off. So not even a reverse there? No. no. Right. Okay. And then I've got something to get rid of the chalk. I'm just going to rub that off. Look. And there we've got the front fly. Oh my God. Fantastic. How good that looks. That looks really good. And the fly does open. Just check in. Yep. Now, this is where the fly shield comes in because that's going to be your tummy and that would be quite scratchy if that was sitting against you. So we're now going to put, put our fly guard in place. Okay. So it says to attach our fly guards, we're going to have them this side together. Do my zip up, I'm afraid. Let me just do my zip up. And everything sits nice and flat because remember we pressed all along the time and we are going to attach our fly guards here. Mm -hmm. okay. Now one thing I've just realised I need to do, this needs to be the right side out so I need to sew down here, sew down here around and turn that the right way around. I've okay. just realised that. Back to our normal, normal one foot. just to do that part there. And denim does last for years, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it does. I just think, a denim pair of jeans, like you said, you want to take your time with this because you're going to be able to... These are the jeans you'll wear day in, day out. Yeah. And having that little bit of stretch, even though they're wide leg, just gives you a little bit of room when you're sitting down. Mm -hmm. Like, I bet we've all done it. When you put your jeans on straight out of the wash and you've had to oh, do yeah. the, the oh, bit yeah. of the squat yeah. to get them feeling comfortable again. Where did I put the scissors? There they are. I'm just going to trim these edges so that we get a nice point. If they're too tight, then what are you trying to show? He's trying to show me the line down his shin on his jeans. What happens? Whenever I wash my jeans. If he washes his oh, jeans. Oh, you get. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Oh, gosh, yeah. On every pair I own. Oh. Really? Well, that's that's a, that's, how are you drying them? if it's how it lies we're not gonna be able to see you can come in front hold your leg up that high in front of us so we can see because here we go oh yeah <laughs> yes it's no, not there just a little crease along there do you also do that squat oh, when you is. first put them on ben <laughs> do you do the squat when you first, when you put, first put, them put them on yeah but not with my leg up <laughs> i'm not flexible anymore oh you look it. Look at oh. you. Oh. Still got it. <laughs> right. So turned it inside out. Turned back it inside out, out because it this press. will be. And then let's just quickly run through. That is the right hand side. This is the left hand side. We've got our zip. Our fly guard stays over on our left hand side. And we are going to attach this to this edge of the zip. We are not attaching it to the right hand side. So it does really clearly say try and keep the fly guard out of the way. And that part is going to go all the way down there, all the way up to, to the, the top. top. Would you pin this? Yes, I would. And also clips are quite useful. Well, I was going to say this is getting well. quite bulky now, isn't it? It is. And that's why I said earlier, do get yourself a denim needle. Right. Because... Once you've got this zip in, you've got the zip, which is bulky, several layers of denim. It's really important that you've got the right needle to pierce through all well, that. Well, they're really strong, aren't they? They're really yes. strong, sharp points. Very sharp. To get through yeah. all the um, different um, woven fabrics. So I'm just going to pin this in place. And this is all normally finished on the overlocker. This part here would be finished. It tells you when to do your overlocking Absolutely. instructions, it? That's what's brilliant about this pattern. It guides you through every step. There's no assumption of finish your seams. It tells you everything to do. Are there any other patterns left, Ben? Ben, try washing your jeans inside out, isn't Ooh. it? Um, no, pattern sold out. Oh. Pattern has sold out. I'm so excited for everyone who's bought this yes. pattern now. 
Yes. Definitely jot down today's date to watch this demo back because this is a brilliant fly demo, isn't it? I just can't believe it's worked out, Vicky. <laughs> oh. I have a little celebration McDonald's on the way <laughs> home. <laughs> Here we go. Right, let's check this is all worked. So you've got your fly, Great. you're open, and your fly guard is there. Amazing. Okay. So your fly guard, sh sorry, your fly shield. shield. And again, that doesn't go all the way up to the top because that is going to be folded over part of your waistband. And you say there's a button at the top? Yep, the there's a button at the top. Now you've got the jeans button, but I actually did the wooden button. Mm -hmm. I quite like the look of wo uh, wooden with my denim. I think that looks really nice. Then we've got enough time to quickly talk about the patchwork pockets to yes. go on the front. So we can pop those on. And the patchwork pockets are completely optional. You don't have to have them on if you don't want to have them on. The patchwork fronts are slightly smaller than the ones at the back. I like the shape of these pockets. Yeah. And also Very you were cool. talking earlier about little rivets. You can put little rivets yeah. in the corners there and really yeah. finish them off and give that nice touch. So I've already pre-folded these. So I folded up the bottom and the side. The corners fold in, which is lovely. So there's no bulk and um, gathers around there. And then I folded it over once, folding it over again. And the pattern really does have all of those instructions of where they are, all the right. notches, everything. Now, before I put them on, I'm just going to top stitch that first fold over. Go back to my normal foot. Oh yeah, you have to dip a foot on you. Yeah. Go back and just top stitch this down. On one. And I'll do the other one as well. Did you enjoy making these, Adele? I did, you know, and I, I'm definitely going to make them again for myself, um, ready for the summer, because even though you think, oh, you don't need your jeans in the summer, well, we live in Britain mm -hmm. and we do, mm -hmm. don't we? Mm -hmm. And because they're quite a lightweight denim, I think they're going to be really nice in the yeah. summertime. So I do want to make them myself. Now that I've done a zip, yeah, that looks this you... good. And that was really quick. I thought this is something that's going to take you, you know, a really <laughs> long time to get your head around the yeah. different parts of it. And you've done that. Oh, I'm just yeah. so pleased. Um, and, you know, I said earlier, sorry, I've just remembered something. I said that we only stopped there. Now that we've got our fly shield in place, it does say do your round part here just to tack in and hold all of those sides together there. OK. Um, let me just quickly do that. I only just realised that part as I look. So would you carry on that stitch? Yeah, carry, carry on this stitch yeah. line. Now, we are going through lots of layers here. Please take your time. You might want to even just do one stitch at a time. On these machines, you can slow right down on you your can. tortoise, can't you? Yeah, and also they do talk about some tack bars. So the tack bars, I'll show you where they are in a moment. Ah, oh, I know what they look like. Are they the ones that go across? Yes. It's almost and like it's, a really a satin stitch. Yes, and it's just to help on stress points. Okay. So what I would recommend is one there and one here. So one there where it just fits on and one there. But now we've got it going all the way down there. I could have done that better. What sort of stitch do you do on your machine for that? Um, so you do a zigzag, zigzag, but really decrease the distance between your zigzags. Okay. And then that will work. Right, let's put these patch pockets on. And the beauty of patch pockets is you can put them exactly where you want to put them. So I would recommend pinning them on putting them against you and then feeling where's my hand going to fit. I realised after I made this pair, my bum ones, my back ones, are a little bit too high. If I had more time, I would have unpicked them and put them down a little bit lower because I love putting my phone in my back yeah, pocket. Yeah. Just a little bit too high, but that's just my preference. I would have had them a little bit lower. I think it gives your bum like a real sort of lift, though, haven't they? Yeah, that's, higher. If you, if you start putting them wider, then it can make your bum look bigger than it is. And, yeah, you've got to position yeah. your pockets in the right place to give yourself a... Yeah, because I have a peachy bum. Vicky, this will come. <laughs> you don't have to carry the kitchen sink when they get older, the kids. So now I sometimes leave the house just with my phone in my pocket and my yeah. keys in my pocket. Oh my gosh. It will Couldn't come. Imagine. It will come. 
And then the kids have to carry their own stuff now. <laughs> now, I've just patchworked these on. We're going to do a seam down, across, down, across, and then we're going to do a very close edge. So you actually have two pieces of stitching along here. And again, just take your time on this. Don't rush this part. Maybe this can be one afternoon and then put it away, come back again. Because that top stitching is going to be visible. You yeah. want it to look perfect. I'm just going to do one line of stitching. Now, I've just pinned it all the way along. If you really want to make sure that these don't move and pucker, do a tacking stitch first, even a hand tacking stitch, and then come back to pop them on. Now, when I get to the edges, the corners, I lift my foot but keep my needle down to keep a nice crisp corner. There we go. Because when you finish on a, a stitch here, it, automatically the needle is down. There we go. Up. And it also talks about some tacking stitches, bar tacks at the top as well, because they're right. going to be stressed points as you keep putting in and out of your pocket. These are good places to put your rivets as well, aren't they? Yes, yes. But look how lovely that is. Do you have any of those green machines? Well, we're on free p and P. I'm not allowed to air them, but have a look on the website. You never know. You might be able to get all your rivets. I have one of those green machines at home and they are so good. You've got one? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. And they are so good. <laughs> you literally just put a little yeah. bit of pressure on, no fiddling with the pliers yeah. and yeah. it just works perfectly. Yeah. Quickly do this last one and then off yeah. I pop. Um, just so you know, pattern has sold out. The most popular colourway in your denim is the one, I believe, that um, Adele... Oh, the black. So we sell outs of the denims. Have a look underneath us. Medium denims available. Um, it's the... Oh, medium denims sold out. Here we go. If you have a look on the website, you can see there's your medium sold out. You can still get the grey. You can still get that lovely rose pink. The dark sold out. Pattern sold out. Right, there's the new code, by the way. There's the, re the next... Um, I say edition, it's the next lot of subscriptions that we've got available. It's there, CAO084, uh, if you want that. And there's our front finished, Vicky. Nice. How nice this oh, one. Oh, but you're honestly, be very, very proud. That is a really I'm good so block. <laughs> Oh, see, practice makes perfect. Practice on the ones I've got on. Like, when I look at them, my tummy's pushing that little bit further out. I didn't get a good fold over there. I think I could have got better, but... No, they look great. They are perfect. Thank you very, very, very much, Adele. Thank you for having me. Jot down to the because what an amazing demo that was. Um, you're back with yes. a jacket. A jacket, yes, the Sienna. Love it. Coming up later on at 12 o'clock, we'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have a little celebratory cup of coffee yes. or something? Yes. Um, we've got Jenny Jackson back in a minute with two brand new patterns. Everything's been selling out today, so make sure you stay tuned because I think these are going to be very, very popular. We've got a handbag and we've got a pouch, all EPP, coming up right after this. Hello and welcome to John Scott's Threads of Life, my exciting video platform and online community where you can enjoy a whole host of exclusive content and perks when you become a member. Sign up today and you'll have access to a whole array of brand new TV shows that we're constantly producing exclusively for members. Every week there'll be hours of new content being released. In fact, over the course of your 12-month membership, you'll have well over 100 hours of programming that you are free to watch on demand at a time that suits you. And here's a small flavour of what you can expect. You'll get the chance to hear all my stories from the past six decades in the most fascinating sit-down one-to-one. It's John Scott's life story, and I know you're going to love it.
The Sewing Surgery is the go-to show for in-depth tutorials and masterclasses on everything from dressmaking to patchwork and quilting. Join me on the road as I travel the length and breadth of the country in Meet the Designer, where I chat with the biggest names in sewing to take a deep dive into their fascinating lives. Enjoy some light relief as I'm joined on the sofa by some familiar and some new faces in our weekly topical chat show, Loose Threads. And believe me, we keep it loose. The A-List is the show where I'll be interviewing all my showbiz chums and getting them to open up and spill the gossip like no other show they've been on before. We're taking your calls and your emails in Dr. Mike's Surgery, where we'll tackle any medical questions and concerns that you have. Behind the scenes is your front row seat as you follow me for the day to see everything that happens when the cameras are not rolling. I'll be hosting live sew-alongs where you'll be able to join in from home and ask any questions as we make and create together. Talking of live, you'll also be able to join me for an exclusive members-only live chat every month so we can really let our hair down and have a good catch-up. Not only will you enjoy all that fabulous video content, but you'll get access to an exclusive online community to chat and share your makes with me and fellow members in a safe and welcoming environment. You'll also have the opportunity to win amazing competitions. Plus, I've got my own app. It's absolutely fantastic because it allows you to watch any of the shows when and where you want. You can even cast them directly to your big screen TV for the ultimate John Scott viewing experience. You can sign up today and be ready to log in when the platform launches on Monday, the 5th of February. And I hope you'll join me on this exciting journey of John Scott's Threads of Life. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Sorry, Jenny's just turning the microphone on as we were coming live, we're like, oh, actually, we haven't got mics on, so um, welcome back. We have got two amazing brand new patterns. We've got the most gorgeous handbag. I love this, I absolutely love it. It's like, you know, we've seen, obviously, Jenny doing her um, tote bags, but I love the fact now, we're sort of growing as bag makers with Jenny, those of you that are EPPers, um, then this is gonna be sort of your next step along to include your hardware and do your adjustable strap. There she is. Hi. <laughs> Are you on? We're on. I'm on. Um, 
Yeah, so, I mean, it's really nice to be able to have EPP is growing in confidence to be able to now say that they're transferring their skills to bag making as well. Yeah, it's just adding something different. Instead of it just being like a tote bag, we yeah. thought we'd go for a slightly more handbaggy style. Yeah, it's lovely. Really, really lovely. Um, so, brand new in today, we have got pattern on its own and we've also got a couple of kits for you. So, we will start with this one. You have got your lovely pink. Liberty again. I know. All of the Liberty that we had completely sold out first time round. So just to be aware, you've got fat quarters this time? Uh, no, fat no, eight. eighths. Fat eighths. So all of these Liberty fat eights cut for you. You've got the pinks, the lovely greys, and you've also got your solids. So you have your half meters? Yes, they are half, half meters of your now. solids. And then you've got your Liberty fat eighths included. Yeah. Um, in terms of your paper piecing, you are EPPing this section here. Yeah, EPP in the pocket. Love it. For it. And it has got a snap on the pocket as well. Right. That's a new addition. And all of your instructions as yes. well. And do I still get EPP instructions? Yep. You're not just presuming everybody's oh, done no, EPP? Oh, no, 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 no. It's perfect beginner EPP. If, if you're a bag maker and you like want to try EPP, it works both ways. Well, exactly, because you're not having to do <clears throat> a whole quilt yes, of exactly. EPP. You are doing a pocket, but it's still enough of a pocket to... Yeah, you get your head round. Get your head round yeah. EPP. Or if you're an EPP who wants to get into bag making, you've got all of your lovely um, hardware as well. Um, 39, 34.99, <laughs> in fact, actually. That's for all of your fabrics that you need and also your hexes and your instructions. There's one of these that I think has been is different, which is the you'll get the yellow included in there. Uh, I mean, could I use the hex? What are the hexes? You the yellow use, in the hexes. Yeah, and use one of the greys yeah, at the top. You if completely you completely can, the yellow. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'd probably do: is mix and match this. It's up to you. You pick whatever colour you want for that. Right. And whichever colour you're using for this and the side tabs. Yeah. <clears throat> you don't use for the hexes. Right. So you could pick the darker grey. That or would you be could a pick nice the pink. one. Yeah. So you can just have a play. Brilliant. So you get all of those. The mustard eight. is in here as well. Right. Oh, so yeah. So it would be a look lovely as the hexes. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably use the mustard in, in, in the, the hexes. hexes. Yeah. Or I'd be tempted to <laughs> maybe dump into, into my stash. Into my stash. Well, yeah, you've got enough. Yeah. You've got enough to just do the hexes out of um, four. Right. Because you, you, you still have plenty of this left over. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Loads of options. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Uh, that one's for this one. And then we also have the colourway that you're going to be working on, which yeah. is this. And I love this <laughs> as well. This is lovely. I mean, you could do some cool embroidery onto this. And yeah. I, I really love this sort of jewel colour palette. I love that. I've used it before for, um, I think it was a, a box or something that I did. But I really love purples and blues together. There's a lady who messaged in earlier saying she loved the blues and purples. Um, right, so in this one, again, fat eighths, you've got your instructions, you've got your hexes, and then you've got your two half metres for the back and the lining. And then you've got your fat eights in different colours. So once again, play around. If you want to have a change in the colour, you have exactly the same amount of fabrics. So you can change up if you want to do more purple at the top or blue. You've got your two or three different shades of purple and your three shades of blue. 28 99 um, You've also added some lovely hardware this time. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so we have got hardware that we can offer you as well. Pattern is also available on its own. So with your pattern, you do get your paper pieces included. They're all hexes. What size hexes are they in there? I think I've done a one and a quarter inch. Yeah. Lovely. And these are great quality that you're gonna be able to use again if you want. Have you got enough to be able to do that whole pocket? Yeah, and you've got half hexes for along the top of the pocket and the bottom, so you don't waste much fabric. Fantastic. Um, £15.99 for your pattern and your pieces. Hardware bundles. So we've got a couple of options. We've got the gold. We've got the gold, which you get your two D rings. They're lovely quality, aren't they? I know, they're chunky. They're nice and chunky. You then have your adjustable strap and then you've got your magnetic snap as well. 
So your adjuster, your D-rings, and then your magnetic snap in the gold colorway. Only four ninety nine. See, it's things like this that I'd be using that free PMP code for as well. Oh, is that for that? Have they bundled them all together? Bundled them all that. together. That's amazing. That's really good. <laughs> I isn't thought it? you had to get them all separately. No, all in all, um, you bundle so you get your D-rings. Uh, yeah, all three of them amazing. for just four pounds ninety nine. Fabulous price. And if you're not paying PMP, that's where you really benefit. Remember, use the code Jan. 24 pp um we then also have the silver <laughs> happy bundle which is your two d rings again your adjuster strap and your magnetic snap for £4.99 fabulous price and they are really lovely chunky d rings aren't they great quality i do think adding haberdashery just takes it to that next level. It really does, doesn't yeah. It? I had to pick gold because I love gold. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, send me the gold. Oh, it will work with both. It, it will, will work totally with, work with it both. It will work with both, whichever's your it's personal preference. preference. Yeah. £4.99 and also at that price point, because we've bundled them, I make the most of the fact that we've got free PMP today and just stock up on your hardware. Um, it's one of those things that, don't get me wrong, we love getting new patterns and new fabrics, but then it's always the thing you might run short of is your snaps and things like that. Right. I've got a feeling you'll love this one, Jenny. Have we got the uh, rainbow one? Or are these individual? I've got... Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. <gasps> love those. I've got a gin glass like that. Have you? Yeah, I always have it when I'm doing um, pin and tonic with Adam. Oh, love and it. And everyone's always like, I love your glass. Uh, the two D rings are two pounds seventy nine. They're not in bundles this time. They're just individually, but you do get the two D rings, and they are so nice. They remind me of all. I remember going to the Pink Ball Outer Range yeah. of like Rocha Cutter and all sorts yeah. with this cool rainbow iridescence. They're two seventy nine, um, and I do also have the slider. You adjust the strap. Um, Slider, couldn't bundle them because we're so limited, so grab the last of stock of those. Whilst we're on free P&P, you're not going to be paying any extra for your postage. It's only $1.99, so stock up. Um, it's items like this that we just probably wouldn't even really have chance to show on air. It's only $1.99, but whilst we're free P&P, I'll just let you know it's available. Right, we're starting with the handbag. Don't forget, we have also got brand new pattern of the pouch. They are selling really well, rapidly on pre-order. In fact, do you mind if I just quickly run this because yeah, otherwise they fine. could have sold out on yeah, pre-order by the time we get them and then we can just demo so this is your multi-use pouch what did you design this for um laptop laptop but yeah. also like a4 documents you know you can get those plastic wallets that you put them in you know if you've got meetings Thank or you. my dad i made him one a while ago and he uses them for all his printouts when he's going on holiday oh great yeah. He flips them all in there and takes it with him so he's got everything together. But I you can fit A4 wallets in there. Well, I think you're going to find loads of uses yeah. for it when you've got it. My laptop fits in it and it's quite a large laptop, so it's great. Brilliant. Um, to keep some of your patterns in as well. Yeah, that's one. true. Yeah. 29.99. This is the Jason Yenta, which is the one that the, uh, the, the pouch is made up of. It's lovely and quilted as well, really plush. You get all of your instructions and your paper pieces as well. Plus, you have all of your fat eights, four of them, and a metre of fabric. So half a metre of blue and half a metre of purple. That is a lovely colourway. They are selling rapidly. Be quick. Half the stock has gone. Half the stock has gone. Um, it's a very, very, very busy day today. My favourite colours. <laughs> I'm so. Do you have a say in these colourways that we put together? I pick them. Oh. I always pick the solids and actually the designer fabrics. I get sent what's available and I choose from those as well. Jenny, look at this. They look amazing together. I love this in there. That look works so well. So you've got half a metre of grey, half a metre of purple, and then all of these two beautiful shades of pink, and then your two sort of teals and art, oh, that lovely sort of spearmint. They are all in your bundle, along with your paper pieces and your instructions to make the lovely pouch again. Um, yeah, in your solid colourways, only £26.99. Pattern is available on its own, your EPP multi-use pouch. If you are thinking of fabrics you've already got in your stash, another great one to just use up. What shapes are they in here? Uh, they are jewels, but when you sew them together, oh, they look hearts. like hearts. They yeah, do. so we did it kind of like a Mother's Day vibe with hearts that you could make it for as a gift. That'd be really nice. It would look really nice if you just isolate a few like 
red or pink ones. Yeah. Along with the like black and white. Right up. Yeah, yeah. Nice. There's so many colours you could do this in. Oh, I love it. Fifteen ninety nine. You do get your uh, your EPP pieces as well in there. Shall we start with the bag then to demo? Yeah, that would be ideal. So what I've done, I'm going to just plonk that over there. Is Thank that you. all right? Yeah. What I've done is the construction of the actual bag is really simple. So I wanted to make it so you could see the colourway, and I've got really detailed instructions on how to add the uh, snap. Fab. Because it's probably the easiest bit. And again adding these little hoops is super duper easy and i don't use hardware so i wasn't going to do anything complex mm -hmm. so that you guys could learn with me or most mm -hmm. so we're going to concentrate on the strap okay because i felt that was probably the most confusing part of the whole bag but it's not really confusing it might be confusing for me today because i can't think straight <laughs> You've had very little sleep. We'll get through it together. So did you cut your strap pieces first? Yes. I actually cut these before I did the hexagons, yeah. just so that I knew I had enough. Yeah. And I've just sewn it together like you do normal binding. You definitely want to sew it on the diagonal. Don't just butt two straight pieces together. Why, or, why is that? Because when you fold, you're going to fold this like a few times, it would end up with a huge amount of bulk right. in one space. But because it's diagonal, the bulk is like over. Okay, Certain. right. So you've sewed them all together. Yeah. You've also then interfaced. Yeah, just medium right. weight iron on interfacing. You need like a meter for this whole pattern. There's loads of interfacing because I've made it a bit more sturdy than my usual tote bags. Right, interfacing I believe is underneath us. Ben, do we have interfacing? Yes, we do. We've got the medium weight interfacing. Yeah. So you'll need two packs no, of one this. Pack's fine. One pack, yeah. sorry. But if you want to interface, I've interfaced the... Um, lining of the uh, pouch as well right so you would need an extra packet for that okay sorry uh, ben's put the wrong graphics it's oh, okay but how much a640 do i need for the bag do i need it for uh that? yeah half a meter is fine for the bag this is what you would be saying you would stock up anyway for oh, yeah. P free p and p <laughs> i use it for the pouch as well and you would need another half a meter for that Nice, definitely stock up on your H640 and there's your interfacing, 399 and one pack is enough for the bag. Perfect. But these are things, honestly, whilst you've got your free PMP, that is everything that I would be thinking, well, actually, definitely. need more interfacing, need more H640. Fabulous. Thank you, Jenny. So, um, obviously, the strip for the um, bag uh, handle is too long for the length of the interfacing, but just cut a couple of strips and just place them together so they're like closely butted together. It doesn't have to be perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this over and iron all the way along to make a crease in the middle. See, this is coming off because I folded it and I did it like two weeks ago, <laughs> I think. So do yours nice and neat. I've just trying to get everything done. I haven't got a pressing mat here, so. No, um, you need you know to little, one of the, uh, yeah. the cloths. Yeah. So I'm just gonna fold it over like this and it will just repress it anyway, the heat. And I chose the little iron. I would use a larger iron to do this bit usually, but. We love a little mini iron, don't we? We do, especially when you're here and there's not much room, you know, so it's just easier just to use a little iron, I think. Are you loving having your studio space though? <laughs> yeah. Where did you used to do all of your sewing? In my living room. Right. Oh, I had a so large it living so room, nice. but this is like, it's, it's really big, so it's just, just heaven not having to pack anything away. And it's actually really nice being able to shut the door at night, yeah. whereas yeah. before it was constantly yeah. in my face. Yeah. So yeah, I had a door knocked through into the main side of the house, so I don't have to go outside and round the back. Oh my gosh, amazing. Because it was actually a shop, wasn't it? Yeah, back in the day, I used to go get my penny sweets from there. Oh, do you remember the shop? Yeah, Is yeah. it lo really local to So um, now I live two minutes walk from mum and dad, oh, instead lovely. of 15 minutes, I'm getting closer and closer. <laughs> Fantastic. So I used to go there when I was little, but it's been shot at least 20 years, I think been shot a long long time do you remember the day where you used to be able to walk up and be like i'll have one of those penny sweets yeah and they were us. actually a penny as yeah well. and they'd yeah. be happy to like sit there and take 10 different ones for you exactly. with the template. once you've folded it once and pressed it you're going to use that fold as a guide and you're going to press this is all cut you like you're wrapping, on the wrong side you need to be left-handed for this um, oh and what's hilarious is i am left-handed 
I am actually left-handed, so I'm doing this right. But you want to press both long edges in. So I would go all the way along one side first and then come back and do the other. But, because I feel like you can get, it's a little bit more accurate when you do that and take your time. You can, what you can use is a bit of that. I don't own any, but I might actually get some if I'm gonna do more straps like this. You can get this little, this fabric glue that you just, so it's not like sew line, it's more actual mm -hmm. glue. Mm -hmm. Bit like basting glue i think and you can just put a little bit along mm -hmm. and you, then you iron it oh, okay and it will stop it from pinging open like it is with me now i don't know what it's called though. that's a good idea lisa lamb probably knows what it's called i've had loads of messages for you by the way jenny i keep oh, trying to keep up with everything <laughs> on the um is it Kim, kimmy b kim She's oh my loving kid. the fabrics jenny uh jenny joe's new items today all are absolutely beautiful pin and tonic time soon Yes, we've had to, we had to stop it because Adam was doing a Strictly thing, wasn't he? Oh, he won, didn't he? Yeah, so proud of him. And then I was moving. So when are you back? We're hoping to come back in February, and, but we might just to start with, just be doing it once a month instead of every week and maybe do it just for a little bit longer on that evening instead of an hour. We're just trying to work it out because we're both super crazy at the moment. Just looking at the time, thinking I'm not sure how we're going to get both of these done in this hour now. Don't worry, we will. We will. Oh, my pattern's about to go. <sighs> Bit of a mess today. The thing is, I would skip this stage, but I actually can't. But do it really neatly. Take your time. I'm just trying to get the creases in it so I can do the next fold. And I will. The strap is really long, isn't it? It is because it doubles over, but it just means there's so much length for you to alter it. Oh yeah, you could wear you it across it's a long body. one or, uh -huh. or a shorter one, and you can if it's really if you put it really long, you can use it as crossbody. Brilliant. Also, there's an option. I haven't done it, but you could put a second snap here. Yeah. To close that if yeah. you want, but if you have it across your body, it like automatically sits really nicely. Right, so we folded both of these in like this now and we're gonna do one more fold so they meet. So now it's really nice and sturdy and I will give it a quick press, then I do need to take it to the sewing machine. What I'm gonna do is only sew down the closing side. Okay. What you want to do is sew close to the edge, about one eighth of an inch across, like from each edge all the way down the length. But for time reasons, I will just do it down one length just so it closes it or it'll be impossible to. And do you do that with like as a feature sort of? It's top stitching. Yeah, yeah. so, so colourful, maybe, nice. Yeah, you can use colourful stitching. I tend to use a slightly longer stitch length than usual. Yeah. I'll use like a 3.2 or something. Yeah. Or if I've quilted the bag loads, I often try and match my top stitching length to my quilting length. Yeah which is usually 3.8 for me. Wow. That's what I like for quilting. We had some lovely top stitch oh. threads actually on the last oh, show. Oh, did you? Ones. Yeah, heavier weight ones. Oh, don't, I'm obsessed with it. I've got a TL straight stitch machine, but they've got a TL straight stitch machine that actually takes really thick threads. Oh, wow. I'm so obsessed with it. I don't have it, but I don't know how much I'd use it, but I really love it. Right, so I'm just gonna whisk this through. Like I said, you do both along both Oh, both edges. sides, but you're but just, I'm just gonna, gonna do the one, or it's just gonna. And so you've changed it up to three point two on your stitch. Yeah, range. I think I've done even longer to be honest. And just, just close to the edge. Close to the edge, about one uh, one eighth. But do take your time. Make sure you folded it nicely so both edges are touching. This one is not going to be perfecto, but that doesn't. But the nice thing is, if I want to finish this bag, I can make that strap again. Cheryl said that Lisa and Becky, she's sure you, they use quilter's tape, the double side Yeah, you tape. can use quilter's tape. Yeah, I use that for zips. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't even think to use it for this, but you totally could. There is a quilter's tape. Actually, it's sold out. Has it sold out? Yeah. <laughs> we did have it on the show. So yeah, we I suggested it. it for the zip because the next project's a long zip. How are you, Laura? Ben's voice has instantly changed in my ear and I've realised it's it? Laura, Laura now. Laura, Laura. Laura. Oh, I love Laura. I, so like I came on a few months ago and Laura was 
Directing something straight. Oh, really? It was so random, but it was directing. so great. I'm sure oh, she yeah. was, yeah. I'm sure it was directing. She wasn't um, ironing back horses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. So what you would do is go again down the other length of it. <laughs> so now this is the bit that I'm so tired, I've got to remember to do right. I'm just gonna grab my instructions to make sure I don't get confused. So you pick one end. Yeah. And I face it hold towards me, because I find it easier. You're gonna go up one mm -hmm. and down the other like this. Okay, and I decided to fold this bit back by two and a quarter inches. So you just measure from where it is round there to here, about two and a quarter inches. And then what you want to do is top stitch. I did um, a square or a rectangle with a cross going through yeah. just to strengthen it. You could do a zigzag. Yeah. You could do whatever you wanted. No, you often see that, don't you? The square but, bit. Yeah, the square bit, but you want it like two and a quarter inch. So this bit is easily going to go through your machine and not Lots yeah. of our buyers have been buying oh, the green machine. Do you know what machine. I've done? See, what this you is done? how tired I am. Before you do what I've just done, you know when you're folding your edges? Oh, you want to fold in you your edges? You want to fold the yeah. tiny edges in and trap them in by a quarter of an inch. Don't worry, that is on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Do as you're saying, what did you do? I know, I know. So before you fold the first fold of the length of the strap, fold each end quarter of an inch in, press it, then do what I just showed you. Lovely. So I was just looking nice at that neat. thinking, why is that not looking too, too pleasant there? If everybody checks out on this colourway, by the way, we've only got one left. We're loving this colourway, this jeweled <laughs> blue and purple. Such a lovely colourway. Gorgeous. Again, with this, I would use a larger st stitch length than usual. And also, don't forget, free PMP. Laura, can you believe it? We've got free PMP today. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, do you get free PMP on Hobby Maker very often? No. She says, I don't think we've ever done it. <laughs> we don't do it lightly. We don't do it lightly. It was because we launched John Scott's Threads of Life subscription. Yes. And he was saying, you know, they don't get a physical product sent to them in the post. And the team were arguing, you know, well, it's admin fees. It's more, it's, it's a lot more difficult than saying that. So anyway, John, of course, fought for us and we've managed to get free PMP all day today. So lucky, isn't it? Well, it means everyone's trying out all your kits now as well. My mum has signed up for oh, uh, this morning as well. She did it on the split pay. Well, that's it. She if takes you, me saying, um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I was like, do it. It's only, we're so lucky to have, you know, obviously had the connection with John that we do, and he's not leaving. And there was a few people yeah. like, where's he, oh, going? No, is he going? No, but he's not going, but it just means that we can do it on split pay for everybody. Exactly. So once you've done your square, I would do it in a better colour than this. What you want to do is you want to hold your strap like oh, this so and just, twisted. yeah, take it around. Because the last thing you want is, if you do have a twist, check it before you do any more sewing. Okay. And then you can re-thread because this is on here now. Right, so next stage, I'm just thinking which way I like to have the bag. I like to have it like this. Now that I know there's no twists, she says, who's just, there we go. Mm -hmm. You want to take the opposite end through the inside of one D-ring mm -hmm. and out of there, like this. So you've got no twists. I've had this facing me, so there should not be any twists, but at this point you can just double check and there is no twists. Then you want to take this, which would not be a raw edge. <laughs> it would be folded in. Mm -hmm. You want it to go. You're just gonna go a bit closer so oh, we yeah, can see sure. this. If you just bring that, that's it. That's, that's fine. Perfect. So I've gone in from the inside of the bag to the outside of the bag with the end of the zip that has nothing on it. Then we're gonna go up and down through the slider like this there we go and pull it now you can this is the bit that i would say just check you've got no twists twists and turns in it okay so now you can see if you move it like that that's now you can see that that bag is looped. Oh, I'm so pleased that you've shown this on air because right, it's very difficult to write this so down. So my, when my mum was first, I was explaining it. She was like, yeah, but you haven't, why is this bit not got, but that's got that on it. How's it going to go through? Yeah. So I thought as a non-bag maker, like. I've never seen anybody demonstrate this though. It was handy for a beginner Very handy. So as you can see, now it's all making sense. You pull it along. So now you're going to take this one 
yeah. this end through the outside of the other D ring. Yeah. And you're going to pull that through. And then again, you're just going to pull it up by two and a quarter inches so it matches. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do the cross on here. Right, okay. And again, this is bulky, isn't it? You've still got your normal foot on there. Oh, I've got a normal foot and I haven't even put the walking foot on no. this machine. But I use the, I remember using the walking foot for it. Yeah. But um, it's, it's not too bulky. That's what I was thinking. Let me just see where this is. So you just want to do the same cross as you did. It's like a rectangle with a cross going through it to keep those stitches. I did a very neat job on the sample one because I want to finish this bag because yeah. I've messed up the actual handle so much I will probably just remake the whole handle oh no you don't need to do that I don't think anybody would notice it would only be you that oh no because it's got the raw edge I oh, know but it's only you that would notice that part of the raw edge I range. know um, just so you know, the pastel colourway is your main graphic. It's the Liberty one. It's only $34.99. It's a Liberty handbag. <laughs> How much would you pay for a Liberty handbag? There's so many of you have got this in your basket. You need to check out. Uh, remember, you're getting loads of Fat 8, six of them, and a whole metre of your cotton solid as well for the back and for the lining. And it's up to you which you want to do. Jenny's used the pink on the back here and the grey as the lining but if you wanted the grey on the back and the pink lining you can and then we discussed how you can mix and match which fabric you want as your feature fabric so you could go for a darker grey or you could go for one of the pastely ones or you could go for the pink because you've got so many of these for eights you can really afford to sort of play around with the different colours that you've got in there um, it's $34.99 so everybody check out on that Liberty one the the jewel blues and purples, very, very, po in the lead at the minute. Way. <laughs> oh, I do love my solids. So yeah, that is the handle added. So it is really simple and you can re-watch that if you get yourself in a bit of a kerfuffle oh. with it. But I've also, I've got step-by-step -step photographs of oh, it. Oh, great. So, but I think, I just felt like if I showed you. Yeah. Then it was, you can just Brilliant. rewind it. Right, are we moving on to the pouch yeah, now? Let's yeah. do it. So. The pouch, oh my gosh, how useful is this going to be? It's a really good size pouch for anybody who wants to store any paperwork, any of their patterns. It can fit your laptop. Um, the Jason Yenta version is about to sell out. In fact, there's only one left. I'm gonna there's 14 unchecked um, baskets. So just be aware that is literally about to go any second. Oh, there's way too many of you there. Um, we also have... My favourite option, which is the most beautiful solid colours. You have got in the other option. Oh, these. Look at this. Only single figures of these as well. You've got the blue. You've got that teal. That is a lovely colourway, isn't it? And then you've got the purple and the grey, depending on which one you want to use for your lining and your, um, you know, back. Are these a pliqued onto the front of here? Yes. So this is so clever. Applique, yes. If I don't think I've time, seen that before. I've done it on quite a few things. I've okay. got a really lovely gem box quilt that I did it on. Nice. And a big star quilt. Um, it's really, really simple because you can either... Um, for this one, I hand-stitched it on. <gasps> so I just hand appliqued, just picked up the edge of the fabric and just popped it in but you don't need to turn your seam in because it's already pressed in beautiful from that but on the sample one i machine appliqued it on so did you use bonder web uh yeah so i i put it instead of putting it on and uh, on no i didn't use bonder web no i used um 505 no interfacing oh okay yeah and so you get another pack of the interfacing for this great project. Because I use it on the oh, lining no. and there. You can see the hearts. You can see the hearts in this one, can't you? You can more? really see the hearts in the solids. Yeah. I love that. Um, so also pattern is available individually on its own. If you do want the, the pattern, it does also come with the jewel. What do we call these? Jewels. Jewels. Um, shapes, which I love. So if you want to use your own fabrics, you can. Pattern on its own sold out. Pattern on its own sold out. You've got... I'm going to say Jason Yenta sold out as well. So if you want the pattern, the only way of getting it is with those 
beautiful solids. They're gorgeous. They're really nice. I, I love solid fabric. It makes me happy. Oh, doesn't that just look amazing? And yeah. you could go to town with your quilting on this if you wanted you to. Could. You could. That's the thing. I didn't for no? timing reasons. That's the only reason why I didn't. But, you could. but I did a little bit of quilting once I attached it just on the edge, but you could do it all over. You could do some really nice hand quilting on it as yes. well. It doesn't need to be machine quilted at all. You used H640. I did it is for the for laptop Laura. She says that would be a really nice laptop bag. I know it's not intended <laughs> for that. No, no. you're right. She says, I've only jumped in the last 10 minutes, but I'd use it for my laptop. <laughs> yeah, so the outer pieces are H640'd and the inner piece, the lining pieces, I've used medium weight interfacing. Grab your H640 while we're free P&P. Jan, 24PP. Loads of people multi-buying. We've got people buying four units, two units, lots of people checking out a multiple. Okay, what bits do you want to show us on this one? I'm going to show you the zip. Love. Because if you look back at any of my shows that I've done the EPP of PK, I've spent a long time showing you exactly what to do. If we have time at the end, I've got some EPP ready to go in case mm -hmm. we have the time. But I know people are afraid of zips and I was afraid of zips for years. Right. And then I just found, I tried and tested different ways and I found... My, I just think it's really simple the way I do it. I don't overcomplicate things. I can't overcomplicate things. No, I love I that. I don't have the energy to it's, overcomplicate things. That's brilliant because that's how uh, virtually 99% all of us are thinking at home. Yeah. I want the simplest way, the easiest way of being able to do it. So exactly. now I've got different zips to you. I've got some nice metal ones. Yeah, no, they can right? be used because you, you, then you could just cut it to the length that you want. You just need to make sure that you've got some zip pulls and the lamb. Miss Lisa, she's got loads of videos on how to put zip pulls on oh. easy peasy. So these, do these not necessarily have zip pulls on them? Am I right in saying that they don't? Do you need to buy them separately maybe? Yeah, you would. Um, so here you've got four metres of your nylon zip for blue. Oh, so it's not metal, is it? It's nylon. It looks well, it. Well, this is the nylon, yeah. Oh. oh, I don't know what that is, actually. I'm definitely not a zip expert. No, I don't. But that you only need one. 18 inches of it, so you would have plenty left over. Lovely. £14.99, and that's for your blue. I'll just quickly run through these. Purple ones sold out. Well done if you got the purple. Oh, We've got black. <gasps> oh, black with the kind of rainbow colour going through The it. iridescent hardware was so so popular. If you've got that rainbow hardware, look how many people have already getting the zip. <laughs> you've spotted it on pre-order. That is lovely. Um, right, you've got to be quick on that. That's the first time I've seen that ever. That is so cool. And then we finally got the red. Again, very, very limited. I love that they've got the copper zips. Yes. Like the copper colour instead of the usual same colour as the tape or uh, yeah. silver. And zips on a roll are always great because you can choose what size zip you need what size zip do we those 18 this? inch so okay. if you want to get a normal zip you need an 18 inch just normal zip yeah nothing special i just need to grab a pair of those scissors which aren't fabric scissors because i need to cut through the zip i'm guessing these ones aren't but i know here all of them have just been i think they i was going to say so i think they're um hobby yeah hobby. i just realized that i've only got my favorite fabric scissors with me and i was <laughs> like i'm not cutting through a zip with my Let's favorite fabric say that they are so this is obviously 18 inch and it is a bit big. So all I've done is, because it's sometimes it's really hard to find the exact size. So what I've done is you need, we'll need to keep it open from now on. And I'm sure this, do you know what? I often think this is probably not the professional correct way of doing things, but yeah. it works. So yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> and you just, can I, oh, I am in the right position. You are. You can see. And I'm just going to trim off one end. So I'm trimming. Just be careful of your head. That's it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pop it in there. I've dyed my hair, so it's all right. <laughs> I haven't got roots. So I've chopped off this bit, and that does include the stopper bit on the zip. I'm sure that's probably got a proper name, hasn't it? But I would stopper say a zip. stopper. Stop yeah. A bit. And then I'm going to place that on to the edge of there, and I'm going to just, I tend to draw a little dot where I want to cut. Will the end of this be captured in your seam allowance or exactly. do I need to put some stitches no, over the top? It's, it's going to be captured in your seam allowance. So if you trust yourself, you don't need to stitch okay. it. I'm yet to pull one off and I'm really clumsy. So I'm just going to trim a bit off this end as well, just so it is the exact size I'm looking for. But like I said, I would draw a dot, little dot, so you know where you're going to cut it. There we go get rid of those bits. So I did use um, 
quilter's tape because it is a long zip. Mm -hmm. For small, like nine inch zips, I don't tend to bother. I tend to just wing it. Clip it or just clip, clip it. it. But I find that even clips when you're using larger ones, they just go a bit. Right. What about um, your glue pen? You can. I was just wondering why this isn't sticky. I had it out with my niece oh. the other day. She came <laughs> round and we made a pencil case. Oh, that's so lovely. So she was doing the sticking of the zip. <laughs> So and now it's no longer sticky. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happened. So what you want to do is you're going to place your zip right side down on top of the right side of your pouch here. Yeah. So I want to first stick along. This is your double-sided wash away it one. Is, it is, it is indeed. And you want a thin one as well, but most of them are. I've not seen a thick one. No, they are brilliant. They're so useful. I know that um, Becky, Alexandra Frost, she gets through. Oh, she uses oh. loads of it. Yeah. I only do if I'm doing, I only use it really if I'm using massive, mm -hmm. large zips. There we go. So, yeah, this was my niece's favourite part of making. Mm -hmm. This was my niece's favourite part of making oh. her pal. She was a bit scared of actually using my sewing machine. So she pressed the button a couple of times and then she was like, oh, can I just <laughs> stick? Anyway, she was satisfied. And my brother was upstairs playing on the computer with Dylan. So I brought my niece into the studio. Oh, I was lovely. like, what would you like to make? I gave her a few options and she went for pencil case. I that's was like, so well, lovely. that's absolutely fine. See, this is why I say always dot it because I've cut it a tiny bit short. Okay. See, I use it on both sides. And then I don't have to clip at all. <laughs> <laughs> not scary at all, though, is it? Anybody who's not done a zip before? Well, no, especially once you've seen if I can do a zip, you can mm -hmm. do a zip. That's what I think. I'm so glad I brought my zipper foot. Although I sometimes use a different foot for my zipper to Go add on. zippers. I can't remember what it's called, but it's not actually the official zipper foot. Oh, but I, you get so many feet. And I actually prefer it. it. And, um, but I thought I'd be proper and bring the right <laughs> foot with me. Is it one of the ones that comes with the juke? You get loads yeah, of feet, you don't do. you? Yeah, you think, oh, just play and around. You know what? I feel like right. you get more feet now than when I got my juke really? those years ago. Yeah, I'm sure I saw the box in a box recently and I was like, what? That's more than I had. <laughs> right, so then you want to put your lining piece right side down on top of the zip, lining it up. Okay, this is again been interfaced. It has indeed. Nice. Remember, you only need one packet of interfacing a metre is enough. Yeah, it's nice to interface these because it gives it that even more little bit of padding. If you are going to be popping your, um, your laptop or your laptop in, in there. Yeah. So making sure that the most important bit now is that when you come to the zip bit and you need to pull the zip forward so you can get along, mm. make sure you don't pull it too far to the end because you do not have anything on the end right stop it coming off what you could do is actually leave the zip as is yeah and trim it off afterwards oh right yeah that's good i point. don't know why i trimmed it off first yeah. but you could just leave it just make sure you center it quite nicely okay. so you're not going to get the end bits you know the chunky mm -hmm. bits trapped in the seam right that's the reason why I cut it off, because I didn't want to risk trapping. So where is your zip pull now? It's about here. Okay. Yeah, I would usually probably have it halfway. Can you feel it under your sewing machine when you get to it yeah. to move it out of the way? Yeah. yeah. It's fiddly when you have nails to yeah. do that. That's probably one thing I've noticed I'm not very good at doing with my nails, yeah. is pulling the zip um, forward. So get your zipper, zipper foot. Okay. Your zipper I ain't even getting it in. Trying to change it, aren't I? There we go. I could have just plunked it down, but I'm not. Where's my zip? What is there? <laughs> I was like, is it this end? Is it that end? So now we're just going to go all the way along from the start mm -hmm. off the end. We're going to stop halfway and have a fiddle to try and move the zip, which will take me a minute. So, what stitch length do you do to put a zip on? Oh, just a normal stitching length okay. now. But then when I do the top stitching on the front of the pouch, then I'll go higher again. Sue says, Jenny, please be careful driving home. Try to have 40 winks in the green room if you need to. Aww. Yeah, my friend Bryony, who watches Stone Street, she messaged me saying, drink all the coffee. Lisa Lamb texts me saying, oh, Lisa Lamb texts me saying, can you um, 
put pull over at every service. Yeah, I was going to say that. maybe. Um, the problem with me is away. I sometimes feel worse if I have a quick power nap. Right. I've yeah. either got to have a full on hour nap. Yeah, yeah. But not a quick fifteen minute power no. nap. That doesn't do me anything. But even just stopping and stretching your legs a bit, or yeah, that's true. Put on a good podcast or oh, something. Oh, songs no, you songs, like. Songs, songs. I'll sing. I will sing. Just all single the way. my home. How I, long is your journey? A couple of hours. It, ooh, my Real. foot's doing a little twitch oh. here, and it keeps going up and down. Um, anything from two hours forty-five. It really does depend on the traffic. traffic. It depends on the M twenty-five, should I say? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, I forgot to say, I would probably put a couple of clips on here anyway. Not just rely on the tape, but honestly, the tape does wonders. Fantastic. Yeah, everyone always thinks, oh, Sundays. It's fine on a Sunday. It's, it's not true. <laughs> Is the coloured nylon coil zipper? Hang on. Is a coloured nylon coil zipper still avoid? Oh, okay. Still avoid it with your fabric scissors, even though it's super easy. Oh, so yeah, just probably use like your everyday scissors or your paper kitchen, scissors. You get your kitchen scissors. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> oh no, your best fabric scissors. Oh, never ever. No, it's not it worth matter. it. That's just. No. I like these because they do look like metal zips, but they're not. She was hilarious with me. I've had so many scissors over the years. And my favourite fabric scissors, which weren't the best, are like super cheap. <laughs> my best friend got me a packet of three scissors because she saw them and they were leopard print. Oh, I love it. Three I always think of you with leopard print. I know, three different sizes. And they were like, I think it was like 12 quid. Three beds. Fantastic. And they're your paper. They're my, and it's not just because they're leopard print, they are my they fabric did. scissors. Yeah. I, I like love they. them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, Weird, because usually yeah. cheap scissors are dodge on fabric. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've sewn all the way along there to add one side of the zip. So that's how easy that was. What you want to do now is take a bit of time to pull your fabrics away from that zip. And I do tend to press it lightly. That thing that I was using in the last hour. Oh, that, yeah. That would be perfect for this, Oh, actually, because... well, someone did message about the wand. <laughs> the wand. Oh, it was Laurie. Jenny could try pressing wand on the, uh, the iron on this one. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, yes, yeah, so, um, sometimes if you've, only, if you've only got a big iron, you've yeah. got to be careful of... Yeah, you don't want to you melt don't want to your melt zip. melt your zip. So that... Thing. Perfect. Would be put the little wand would be perfect. June you... Taylor pressing wand is the the gadget we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sold out again. Everything you're mentioning, Jenny, <laughs> it's just gone. It's the free B and B. It is. So once you've pressed that away, you want to top stitch quite close to the zip onto the fabric. If I so, wanted to quilt this, Jenny, sorry to interrupt you. Yep, at the front. Would I need to keep bigger, you know, my wadding large? Oh, yeah, so you oh, what point do, I do in it? the instructions, it says put it on a larger piece. Okay. So you will have attached this before you put it onto that. Okay, and I would have already quilted it. You, yeah, well, I say top stitch on here because yeah. it's not technically quilting, quilting. when it's yeah. only going on to interfacing. Yeah, yeah. But... Any of your extra stitching. Then you can requilt through all layers. Right. But it's just nice to get this piece on. Do yeah. you know what? I'm completely lying to you. I've not. This has gone straight onto the fabric. Right, okay. And it's then not you interfacing. quilt it. Right. Yeah, it's not got interfacing through here. You see, yeah. it's all. Yeah. Put your hand in it at the right. moment. But yeah, no, so you just quilt it. Ah, okay. Oh, I need to say. <laughs> <laughs> At least I've got an excuse today and I'm not just losing my mind. So yeah, now you want to top stitch along here. Using, I use a larger stitch length, and that's purely just to keep these fabrics from getting caught in the zip when you're opening and closing it. I have not pressed it, but I will do the stitching just so that it's slightly further away. Um, I'm gonna do it this way, because of where my zip is. I often will use my walking foot for this bit as well because I find that it will take all the fabric through nicely. So I'm just doing a bit of a botch job on this. They don't need to zoom in on me stitching this bit. Do it nice and neat and you will have pressed it so you'll have a nice edge here. But this is what we call ultimate TV sewing. 
trying to get as much done. Yeah. Not bothering about the perfection side of it. No, it's good to just show the steps, but don't panic if we don't get the whole construction done because, I mean, your instructions are always so Yeah, well. yeah. And if you have any questions, you can always email me. How do we find Drop me you? A message. My website's www.hashtagso.com. Yeah. And there's a contact Literally, me Literally, hashtag. Spelt spelt. hashtag. Spelt hashtag, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so is an S E W. And and yeah, there's a contact page on there, so you can always oh, lovely. drop me a little message. So the next part of adding the zip is exactly the same as the way you did it first. You get the back of the um, pouch. Yeah, and this has got the H640 already, on. Already, and you can okay. quilt this as well. At that point, yeah. You can quilt it before you've trimmed off the yeah. excess uh, wadding. I would definitely quilt the back. Oh, I did quilt the back of the sample. Oh, there you go. Just yeah. some pinstripe quilting. Yeah. Straight line, I love straight line quilting. So you're just gonna pop the tape again. I don't know if you got this tape, it has completely sold out. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so, so handy. Try and put it as close to the edge of the zip as possible, further away from the, the T. And this will completely sort of wash away. It yeah, doesn't matter, it does. does it, even even in. Not that you're necessarily gonna need to wash this. You yeah, can. and it doesn't it doesn't gum up your machine needle or anything okay. either. So it's it's especially developed double sided sticky tape, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's not just oh yeah, it's not your average double sided because no. that will proper gum up your needle. If, as you can see, my one it's almost not. It looks different. To yeah, tape, doesn't it, it looks does. woven. Yeah, oh, I've not stuck that on very well. There we go, and then that is going to go along the edge of the right side of your pouch back. This is when you need to make sure your zip's open, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you still, well, no, um, it has to be halfway open when you're sewing all the way along. Yeah. But you've got to keep it open. If you've trimmed off your zip like I have, you need to leave it slightly open during this stage as well or it'll pop off the end. And then you'll need Lisa Lamb's video of how to put a zipper pull back on a zip. There we go. So we've popped that on. I feel like this table's got higher, honestly, Vix. Yeah, I know. I, I, um, I think I've only demonstrated on here once, but it's definitely higher than I those definitely, ones, isn't I definitely. Are we on blocks here? I think we are now. I do think it's actually a little bit higher. I felt like that. I'm in my heels today because I do feel like every time I come back, I'm shrinking and shrinking. <laughs> Lisa wouldn't be able to see over the table. What <laughs> was I mean to her? <laughs> So you're seeing Lisa this week? I should be, yeah. She wants to come over and have a little plan. We're thinking about doing more shows Where is Lisa eventually. Lamb? Is she... She, she yeah, yeah, she's actually in... Well, she's in Hove, actually. But, oh, lovely. Uh, yeah. yeah, but that's only... It's only... I'm only 10 minutes on the motorway yeah. from her, so... And she's not been round to my new place yet. <gasps> we've just been too busy. Fantastic. So she's going to come round and see the studio. Um, just so you know, we are very close to selling out on everything again this hour. There's three of these kits left. The Jason Yenta's gone. The pattern on its own is gone. It's another Aww, fabulously popular amazing. project. Uh, going back to the handbag, just to warn you, the pattern on its own is available at the minute. There's nine left. There's way more than nine of you have got it in your basket, just be aware. The solids bundle, eight left or seven left, in fact. There's 11 in baskets. And the Liberty version, which is called your Pastels, is again loads in baskets, just needing to check out on that one. Get into single figures on that one. All oh, very popular. Right, so the next bit is lining right sides down onto the zip. So your right sides are touching of both your lining pieces. And then it is just sew across again. Um, Sue's asked, is the pin and tonic this week? No, hopefully we're going to get back in February. Uh, it is going to be February during this week, isn't it? Need to have a catch up with Adam and we'll work out a date and let you all know. Oh. I think I need this week to recover <laughs> from everything last week. And Adam will start getting a bit quieter. Oh, well, he's been so busy with Panto. Exactly, with that's what I mean, because they're still it's quite strictly. busy packing all the Panto away and sending things out and 
sort in stuff out. So yeah. Have you be. been to his new house? Not yet, no, because ever, uh, we was met, we were meant to. The plan is for me to come up before a show the night yeah. before mm -hmm. and stay. But um, the last time we arranged it, he realised he was actually away. He went on a little break. Right. Um, yeah, so I couldn't, but we will. Because he's just around the corner. He's so went, oh, close. I can come and see the baby. Please, Please come over. Amazing, because I've not even met Maisie. I know, that is crazy. That's not that okay. Is, no, you definitely need to come over because he's so close. He's got the loveliest public in his little village as well. I've heard about it, yeah. And I need to meet Stanley and Rufus. Oh. <laughs> but I saw Stanley the other day for the first time in ages and he's like a full grown dog already. Oh. And I'm like, no, he was meant to say a puppy. <laughs> Well, you just showing me a picture of Dylan, I'm thinking, oh my word, like, I oh, remember, it feels like five minutes ago that we were at sewing court and you brought him in and, <laughs> yeah, and, he, and he was a young little boy. Mad, he's so grown up. He's so grown, he's so, so tall. I was audioing so John Scott last night, oh yeah, and uh, uh, Ben just said, Maisie will be like that soon before you know it. And Maisie was going, Mum, Mum, wanting a tattoo. She's got these little glitter transfer tattoos. She's like, Mummy, oh, give me my fine. tattoo. Give and, I'm, and John's like, that's so funny. I can hear her in the background <laughs> shouting she wants a tattoo. My <laughs> niece loves those glitter tattoos. And because she knows that I love real tattoos, yeah. whenever she's got glitter tattoos, it's the first thing she shows. Yeah. Like, Look, I'm I've, got I've got tattoos. Oh, I've got the... Oh no, you up today. Tape. The tape's come out, but that's all right. That's so fine. It will, it off yeah. and it will disappear it will if disappear. I dab it. So we've gone a bit wonky. So I'm just going to top stitch that again. I remember to press it nicely and really take your time. Right, pre give it Getting a press first. Fab Getting yes. it away from the seam. Yeah. Yeah, and um, take your time to make sure it's all away from that zip or your zip will just keep getting caught in it. Okay. They do tend to loosen up over time if your fabric is caught, you don't really want that at all. Honestly, the construction of this is so easy that you can make it, once you've got that EPP mm -hmm. done, you can just make it really, really quickly. These would make lovely gifts, wouldn't they? Yes. That's why I made my dad's one yeah. as a gift. I mean, it was nowhere near as nice as, like, as it, it wasn't yeah. fancy like this, yeah. it was actually just plain, but I found this, um, Mass fabric, and my dad's like a mass genius, like physics and all that. Oh, that. wow! Yeah, and I just thought it was the perfect fabric for him, yeah. so I made a pouch. Yeah, well, that's it. Which you don't even need to necessarily do the, the EPP on it, it then, again, just yeah. keep using just keep the pattern. Using yeah, the pattern, yeah, fantastic. So, we've got the two bits, so and the next got a minute step, or two oh, that's what well, I'll just talk, talk you through. through. Yeah, yep. next step is taking them all. So you've got your linings right sides together, your zip, uh, your outer pieces. Make sure the zip now is halfway open. Ah, okay. Because that you want a nice, be able to get your hand in nicely. And then all you have to do is clip and pin it so it's all lined up beautifully. Then you sew all the way around, but leaving. I like to leave a big gap, a good five, four or five inches, because mm -hmm. then it's just easier to turn because mm -hmm. you're going to close it. Mm -hmm either by machine or hand, and you're just gonna sew all the way around. So that will, I always clip here first, just to make sure my teeth are all lined up mm -hmm. and clip that side and then work around with the, mm -hmm. I tend to pin this side and clip that side. Right. So I find that pins are a bit loose when yeah. it's just over there. You don't wanna leave any in there, do you? You can see them at least when you no, take them out. exactly. So yep, all the way around, leaving the hole there. So I usually start there, go around. And then it's just a case of clipping off the corners to reduce bulk. Do you hand stitch it closed? I tend to use the machine yeah. because no one's going to see it. But yeah. if, if you think someone's going to inspect your work, a small ladder stitch. I tend to cut a bit of bulk out the ends, just snip into that um, seam allowance, just a teeny tiny bit, yeah. just to reduce the bulk. But you don't have to do that. But yeah. We've loved it. Thank you so, so much, Jenny. It. Two amazing projects this hour, as well as obviously the, uh, the, the one in the last hour as well. It's been very, very busy. Everyone's loved it. Uh, and good fun. And I stayed away. Oh, yes. And I Please drive carefully home. home. I'm going to make a big coffee to take with me. Yes. I've got to stop and get some petrol. So Good. Get some fresh air. I'll get a snack as well. Good. Sugar. Good. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you. When are you back? Uh, the first weekend, I think I'm actually in the Saturday of March because I had to swap my shows from the February and then I'm again again at the end of March. Right. Or two in March.
Brilliant. Thank you. We'll see okay. you there. Thank Bye. you. Um, right. In just a moment, we're going to get Adele back on. We've got the most gorgeous pattern, the Sienna jacket. Um, there are still so many people messaging in about Threads of Life. Those of you that missed our 8 a.m. show, please, please, please watch it back. John Scott was here doing the TV launch of his brand new platform, which if you haven't heard about already, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? I mean, it's such an exciting journey for, for him and for everybody who's joining the community. He was so emotional this Look morning. I've never actually seen John like it. He was so humbled and so excited that so many of you are going to be on this journey with him. Um, the benefit of purchasing today is one, we've managed to get free P&P &P and we've got it on not one, not two, but three way split pay as well. Um, any questions that you have, please get them in. But for everybody who is asking us, why is it sold out? Is there any chance I could get it? We have managed to restock. So, however, the restock, once everybody checks out, there will be over 80 people missing out. This is your final call. If you're thinking about it, check out during the break. It is so much more than just an app or just a, you know, a channel. There's so much that you're going to be able to learn. There is uh, fabulous stories about John and his guests. I mean, Jenny, he came to your house, didn't he? he? And had like a 45 minute chat, chat with you. <laughs> um, there's loose threads. There's, oh, it's just amazing. In fact, in the break, should we play the um, video again for everybody who missed it? Uh, to see the overview of it because I'm worried by the end of the break um, yeah there's going to be people so it's going to have sold out and I know that John Scott is actually doing a Facebook live at four o'clock today isn't he it's Sunday so he'll be doing his Facebook live and as soon as he starts talking about it and people come back to buy it it will have sold out people I know watch it back during the afternoon um, so definitely check out whilst you can because I'd hate for you to be disappointed and not get it on split pay there are now nearly 100 people that want the final few spaces that we have. We can we we'll try and do everything we can. We can try, but it's, it, is, it is 12 o'clock. Hence why Ben is, is saying, please, we just reiterate how limited we are now. <laughs> During this break, this could be your final call. Free PMP oh. as well. I know, I know. We just hate seeing people missing out. Okay. Um, right. Adele's coming back in just a minute. Stay where you are. I'll keep you updated. Jenny, thank you so much. You. See you bye soon. Bye. Don't go anywhere. We're back in just a couple of minutes. Hello and welcome to John Scott's Threads of Life, my exciting video platform and online community where you can enjoy a whole host of exclusive content and perks when you become a member. Sign up today and you'll have access to a whole array of brand new TV shows that we're constantly producing exclusively for members. Every week there'll be hours of new content being released. In fact, over the course of your 12-month membership, you'll have well over 100 hours of programming that you are free to watch on demand at a time that suits you. And here's a small flavour of what you can expect. You'll get the chance to hear all my stories from the past six decades in the most fascinating sit-down one-to-one. -one. It's John Scott's life story, and I know you're going to love it. The Sewing Surgery is the go-to show for in-depth tutorials and masterclasses on everything from dressmaking to patchwork and quilting. Join me on the road as I travel the length and breadth of the country in Meet the Designer, where I chat with the biggest names in sewing to take a deep dive into their fascinating lives. Enjoy some light relief as I'm joined on the sofa by some familiar and some new faces in our weekly topical chat show, Loose Threads. And believe me, we keep it loose. The A-List is the show where I'll be interviewing all my showbiz chums and getting them to open up and spill the gossip like no other show they've been on before. We're taking your calls and your emails in Dr. Mike's surgery, where we'll tackle any medical questions and concerns that you have. Behind the scenes is your front row seat as you follow me for the day to see everything that happens when the cameras are not rolling. I'll be hosting live sew alongs where you'll be able to join in from home and ask any questions as we make and create together. Talking of live, you'll also be able to join me for an exclusive members only live chat every month so we can really let our hair down and have a good catch up. 
Not only will you enjoy all that fabulous video content, but you'll get access to an exclusive online community to chat and share your makes with me and fellow members in a safe and welcoming environment. You'll also have the opportunity to win amazing competitions. Plus, I've got my own app. It's absolutely fantastic because it allows you to watch any of the shows when and where you want. You can even cast them directly to your big screen TV for the ultimate John Scott viewing experience. You can sign up today and be ready to log in when the platform launches on Monday, the 5th of February. And I hope you'll join me on this exciting journey of John Scott's Threads of Life. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I've just eaten biscuits as quick as I possibly could <laughs> as they told me there was 10 seconds left and I don't know why, I always do this. I just shoved a whole biscuit in my mouth like, I can do that, 10 <laughs> seconds left. Right, we've got an amazing show with Adele. Sorry, by the way, um, if there is a queue on the phone line, there has been a queue all day. There's been a bit of a backlog because we've launched the um, John Scott's Threads of Life platform today and it has been amazing. I'm so proud of him. I mean, me and Adele were just yeah. saying, John, uh, John is so unique. He is, I will never ever meet anybody else quite like John and I'm so thrilled because he's the loveliest person. And, you know, he takes the mick out of all of us. <laughs> From the days when I met him and he called me Jedward because I used to wear my hair in a big quiff like this. And he has literally been the most supportive, lovely friend personally to me. And I know that I'm not the only person to have said that to Bet, to everyone, everyone who meets him, he's really special. So I'm very, very happy that he has, I mean, everybody adores him and is supporting him through this amazing journey that he's going on. So go on, some numbers to crunch in the gallery, Ben's saying to tell everybody there are how many left? I'm telling you there are 40 spaces. 40. Oh my word. There are 191 people who've got it in their basket. If you're thinking about it and if you're on the fence, can I just, just let go. you know that there are, there's only, it's only today that you can get it with free PMP. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to do three way split pay again. Um, ben can try and reallocate stock for you for, you know, by the end of the day, if it does sell out. But the issue that we're facing is that it's a Sunday and it's already 12 o'clock. So there's not office people in. 
So it would be between John and, you know, the team to be able to reallocate it. And it probably won't be until we're off air. So it, keep an eye out later on. If you're watching John Scott's Facebook Live later at four and you think, oh, I'm coming back and having a look. If you want to take advantage of the three-way split pay, 0% interest. There's now 30 spaces and over 200 people who have got it in their basket. Oh, John, honestly, I can't wait to ring him after the show because he'll be absolutely, he'll be thrilled. Right, Adele, Hello. we have got this Sienna yes. jacket. This is beautiful, I isn't it? I was very excited when it popped up on my um, sort of, my brief that I get. Because mm. I never know what I'm going to demonstrate until right. I get my monthly brief. And when the jeans came up, I was like, yes. And then when I scrolled down and saw this show was this, I was yeah. like, wow, it's an amazing jacket. It is lovely. I love the um, the fabric, actually. Seeing it, because when you sort of described it earlier, it's like quite a, a you know, a raincoat, yeah, really. Yeah, it's so a really versatile jacket, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. So we've got a variety of different fabrics. We've got like raincoat fabric, so you can have a waterproof jacket. We've got thicker linens. Yeah. And then we've got some canvas. I love these abstract ones. Yes. Yeah. So cool. I I was just saying they? to Jenny as she left, she was gushing over it. And I said, check that these one. ones out. That's my favourite. That one is amazing. That's my favourite. I want to see how much that is, whether I need to go and order it. OK, and it's free PMP, remember? Yes. Grab it. Right, shall we do the pattern first? Pattern first is £25.50. Now it's... No, uh, is this an American? It is again? an American company. So closet core patterns have been around for a long time. They're right. one of the very first independent pattern mm -hmm. uh, companies. They used to be called... Uh, closet core. No, is it closet core? It is no, closet core now. Closet case patterns. Okay. Then they rebranded and they've got a huge stock of different patterns. We've done several here before. Um, and I, this is one of their newest patterns. And I can't find anything that's quite like it. It's no. really, it's not just a rain mac. No. It looks like a blazer, but then it's got a beautiful belt it. section. It looks very big, smart there, practical yeah. pockets. But there's three different versions that you can make as well. Right, I was just looking at that. So view A is here. I don't yep. know if we can get really close to this. So what are the difference in the options? So now? you've got view A, which is this one. So it'll come down to sort your thigh area, okay. uh, which this uh, sample is. Then the next one finishes, I'd say maybe... Oh, it's just half a foot, mm -hmm. yeah, just underneath the pocket. So it's more of a blazer. Nice. And then the third one's a bit like a bomber jacket. Yes. Uh, it doesn't have the belt. It's more open and you've got breast pockets, different Love pockets it. at the bottom. A chic utility jacket is yeah, how that's they the describe word, utility it. Utility jacket. Inspired by vintage French workwear. Designed for hard wearing, uh, designed for hard wearing use by makers and artists. It functions both as stylish outerwear and highly practical, uh, practical layer for use inside the studio as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. So your sizings on it on there. It yes. does say it's suitable for denim as well, for yes. twill, canvas. Oh, patchwork denim. Like one side darker, oh. the other side slightly lighter, darker. And like really match it up. Like you said, you love a pattern that you don't just use once. No. This no. is going to be one of those. This yeah. will really, really be useful. Um, don't forget, free P&P today on everything. Jan 24 PP, if you do want the pattern, add it to your order. You don't need to worry about sizes. It's all there. You know, different to with the jeans, we were saying you really want to make it fit. A coat, I suppose, it has a lot of ease because yes. you want to fit your clothes under it. Yeah, so. absolutely. So it depends on what fabric you use, whether you're going to wear jumpers or not underneath. So... If I was going for a more heavier weight fabric, I would be like, well, I would probably want to wear my jumpers underneath yeah. this. So I'd go sort of to the generous side of these. Yeah. But in the summer, if I was going to wear this just over sort of a, a vest top or something, I'd probably size down slightly. Okay. But I always do recommend go onto their like Instagram page, look through all the different versions that people have made. And that really gives you a good starting point of what fabric you're going to choose and what style you're going to go for. And you even said, actually, there was a blogger who did a yes. lining option yes. as well. And we've got some cool sort of... Um, Waterproof. waterproof. Yeah, fabric. so it's, it's completely waterproof, the fact that it's got a plastic inner. Um, and if you want then to have a lining, they've actually got a blog, a whole blog of how you can do that as well. So it's not included in the pattern, but... There's hacks out there. Yeah, and this is the thing about independent patterns. They don't just 
give you the pattern off you go end of there's yeah. such a support and lots of people within the sewing community have made them so even if you saw somebody who'd made the jacket message message them and go how did you get on with yeah. this and quite often people will reply yeah. Amazing. Uh, should we go through the fabrics? Because then I want to know all the different techniques and different things that we're going to learn. Let's go through the waterproof ones first, because if you do want to do it like a really smart rain mac, this blue is so striking. I must say, I have never seen this fabric before. I think we've got it in especially for this jacket. It has got the plastic on the inside, but it's not um, rigid, rigid. No, so if, so if I wear that and I've got my jumper on it doesn't stick no so it's a textured sort of plastic coating on the inside it's still got drape to it yes. as well hasn't and it that's it's what will give this lovely shape here yeah it's not like an oil cloth no. it's not got it's got more of a drape to it yeah it's only 22.99 which those of you that are eyeing up what you're getting with your free p and i'll be thinking of loads of projects now waterproof we just haven't done fabric like this before and you're getting a great three meter bundle there for 22.99 so whether you're making the rain mac or thinking outside the box for garden things home furniture yep. outside cushions Absolutely. i mean this is brilliant for that yeah seat covers i'm thinking loads of things um 22 pound 99 and that's the blue we've also got a lovely green i'm going to fly through these because it is the last hour and i don't want to lose time with adele this is the um i think the green is lovely Green. Like green and so i was looking it doesn't have big buttons does it it's got no, like a no buttons whatsoever um so you've actually got let me show you the whole belt how it fastens love this color that is gorgeous so it's almost like a wrap jacket so oh, yeah. you have a belt loop that goes around comes right around the back so that's why it gives that really nice shape yeah and then you've got it's called um a buckle loop and then that would just go through there into there and then that's how it's fastened that's really so nice. no buttons whatsoever i love that really nice feature that's what i'm saying you don't see this i haven't seen this anywhere else no that looks very designer doesn't yes. it yes oh, i love it very chic uh 22.99 and that's for your bottle green we also have two other darker colors i've got black and then i've got one that's like a what they called it brown deep dark gray um dark gray oops losing my pattern here's the dark gray but it's more of like a fawny uh like a pewter color pewter. isn't it yeah yeah mushroomy that's really nice yeah that is really nice and that will be a safe jacket that will go with any outfit mm -hmm. yeah 22 pounds 99 that is really nice color and remember this is your waterproof fabric this is so ideal to just have in your stash ready Use your PMP code free. Uh, sorry, free. No, <laughs> forgotten it. I've said it so many times today. Jan, Jan 24PP. Jan 24PP. <laughs> and the thing is with the jacket, it can be your whole outfit. You can wear just something really plain underneath and then just yeah. go statement with your yeah. jacket. Like earlier, you were like, Ben, I love your jacket. Oh, yeah. Ben, yeah, he's, he's, he's bought quite a few pieces like this this year. Very in. And then the black. This is great. Go for it. Add it to your order. There's loads of you who have checked out today. This is black, $22.99. And that's your waterproof. I have to show you some of these. Did you say that they're more like a camber? Yeah, they're a, a very thick cotton. Oh, and right. I love them. Because <laughs> oh, I don't see, word. I only get given one of the, the colourways and I never know what else <gasps> is coming up. And when I saw that on the trolley, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, right. This is, there's the pink colourway and then there's also the sort of greens and blues. This one is my cup of tea. Oh no. Okay. I'm not even going to get too excited about this. It will sell out. There's only three left. It's gorgeous. Oh. I'm not going to get too excited about it. I'm thinking of lots of different projects and all sorts, but this coat is Ooh. going to look amazing. I was thinking I could have ordered this when I came off air, but never mind. I'll have to keep my eye out for when it's That's a really good in. price as well. Yeah. Three meters, isn't it? Oh, that's going to look... That is going to look so individual. There's not many of you going to be walking around with a coat, this fabric. Oh, I love it. Oh, if I was wearing that on um, playground duty, 
I bet everyone will go, Miss Rowland's a lovely coat. <laughs> yes, they would. Too nice for playground duty, Miss Rowland. Oh no, you've got to have some style. <laughs> Do you know what? Teenagers give you the best compliments. Yeah, yeah. It's like, Miss, I love your dress. Thank you. <gasps> oh, this is, uh, honestly, that is one of my favourite fabrics I have seen for a very long time. It's gorgeous. And it also is in this colour as well. Do you have a... Do you have a favourite, the pink or the pink. blue? Pink. Right, there's only one left. It's about to go. There's loads of you there. This is in the blue or greys. It's got these lovely... Oh, there's only one left of this one as well. Your canvas cotton. It's beautiful. Um, okay, I'll leave that one because that's going to go. We also have this one. Ooh. Look at this. This is going to look really cool. Now, in terms of like directional prints like this has got a very yes, clear so you direction you definitely have to be mindful when you're cutting this out we'll have However, enough with three meters yeah yeah because uh the pattern has several versions of the layout so it has the layout for different sizes and also different widths right what width fabric is it do you know uh ben will be able to tell us the width of the fabric because this i've thought 45 and 58 i'm, I'm probably thinking it's 58 which yeah. means you'll have plenty yeah. to do the direction and all the pattern pieces on here are, are in the direction that it should be lovely that is so gorgeous that's going to look again really individual isn't it that would look very uh, parisian it would wouldn't it 28.99. Don't forget to have a look on the, uh, the, the their Instagram, the social media. Yep. 140 centimeters. 140 centimeters. That's not quite that large. What's that? Oh. Do they put it in inch? Interviews? No, it's because it's smoking. It's all in inches. Okay. There you go. We can do a quick conversion in our heads. 58 is 1.5. Carry the meters. two. Hold the the one three. Four. He's doing full math. So, here. how much is there? Three meters. Uh -huh. So that takes you up to 16, 18, and 20 if you were going directional with view A. Okay. Um, but then. Inches. Oh yeah. And then view B and C. Obviously, you don't have as much. So plenty. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Adele. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> um, oh, this is going to look different as well. I'm thinking this in like the bomber jacket style. Do you think? I think that it would look really nice with the wrap with the belt as well. But your Alice would love this. I can see Alice wearing this, and the, it would suit her colour in as well. The green, wouldn't it? Forty-four ninety-nine, three meters of that beautiful olive floral. I think it's brand new in all single figures. They're very, very limited. We've got a couple of linen options which is the one that the sample yes. is made up of how was it working with the linen so i didn't make this sample i think it was oh. rebecca harrison okay that made it up last time i remember it was over christmas time so i was watching then um so yeah i haven't made this yet oh, it looks so nice doesn't it, does, it? it looks It looks lovely in the linen and i love the big oversized pocket yes you well. have a good pocket that is it? a good size pocket so you could put wipes Dummies. That's it. You don't need to you know change your bag. You know what you say? You just walk out with yeah. your phony pocket. I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm just wearing. I've just put everything in there. Ben says, yeah, that's just for Kieran. Why <laughs> <laughs> well, it's changing up? I have three kids at home. You have four kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's the. This is the dark grey. Three meters. Stonewashed linen. Free P and P as well. Remember, whenever we do linen bundles, they're always very popular. Jan 24 PP. <laughs> hey Keith. Hello, lovely. How are you? Good, how are you? Keith's setting up ready for Hobby Maker. There he is. Give everyone a wave. Woo woo woo. <laughs> 34 nights. Sorry, we're a bit giddy today. It's been one of those days. I haven't been here for ages. Right, let's do the lighter colour and then we can crack on with doing yep. some techniques. And this is lovely. This is my colour. I love anything that's like tans, lights, go with my mm. nice brown boots. And you see, it's a colour that I don't often wear. Um, and I was somewhere the other day, and someone was talking about you can get like your colours done for you, where they put all these different oh, like shades. Oh, like colour therapy. Yes. 
I went to a, one of those by you. Is Hallcross Hall by you? No, Ragdale Hall. No, one no. One of them's near you in Ashby, I'm sure. Yeah, but fun. like it's someone was just having it and I was like, I'd be really worried that they'll tell me all the colours in my wardrobe that you, don't match that you wear, me, that yeah. I like. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, mm. No, I love these. I think they always look really nice. OK. Um, Right, we're moving over to, to Adele to do yep. a bit of demo, but very, very quickly, there are now 20 spaces left for the restock and way over 200 people in baskets. If you're after John Scott's Threads of Life subscription, it will sell out this hour. So that is, again, your final call, just to keep you updated on the uh, the numbers. We will get on to John, don't worry, if, um, if it sells out, and we'll see if we can get any more, because I know he's going on Facebook Live later this afternoon, so I don't want people to be disappointed. But if you want this three-way split pay... Oh my gosh, grab it now. Grab it as soon as you can. That could be your last chance. Right, what elements are we going to show? Then, okay, Adele? so I'm going to show where the patch pockets go and then we're going to have a look at the sleeve okay. because the sleeve has a, a top and a bottom sleeve and then you do need to ease it in. I know Rebecca last time looked at the belt, so okay. I thought, well, I'll try something slightly different. Now, do be careful with this fabric if you're doing the raincoat fabric because it does have a plastic lining that you don't want it to melt when you're pressing it ah so okay. just be very careful i've got it on can you the press lowest. it well i've been pressing it here on the lowest it still has a bit of bounce but if you really wanted to be careful just get um a piece of old cotton fabric just have a yeah. pressing cloth um i would hate it that you'd got all the way through and then you'd put your iron on and then it's like gone okay so just be careful now what's also nice this isn't like oil cloth that when you put pins in it leaves a mark mm -hmm. i tried this before i was pinning it at home and i can pin it through and i take the pin out and you can't even see where the pin was oh that's great because i would have thought that that would pierce holes would yeah. you yeah and like i'm looking and it's a really nice weave to it it's like you say it's not uh, an oil cloth nice. it's like it's almost like a textured um fabric on the top and then a plastic on the inside yeah. just to make it waterproof Really interesting fabric. So these are the big pockets at the bottom here. Mm -hmm. What we then do, I would um, overlock that edge first, but I haven't got my overlocker with me today. Fold that over and then we're going to top stitch all the way down there. Now again, a universal needle will be absolutely fine on this. You don't need a specialist needle at all. Your nails look lovely, Adela. Oh, Spotted thank them. you. They look so um, nice. So it's one of those things that I'd never, ever had done. Then a new nail shop had opened in town and my, young, my eldest daughter went and had hers done. Not last Christmas, the Christmas before. And I was like, oh, I quite like them. I might have a go. So now I'm a little bit addicted to having oh. them done. So it's my little monthly treat to They're me. Really nice. But then it's like the mad panic, what am I going to do? What am I going to have next, yes. next time? And I often say to the girls, can you get me some ideas, please, and send them? Because all I do is I go in and show the photo and say, yeah, can I have these, yeah. please? They never look gorgeous. I oh, just went very subtle this time. Right, so I'm just doing the top stitch along the top edge there. Now, I have got my stitch length at 3.5. Like I said, when I was doing the jeans, when you do top stitch, you want just that little bit longer in your stitch length. Mm -hmm. The next thing is we need to do is we need to fold up the edges. Now, with this fabric being a little bit bouncier, what I would recommend is that when you fold it up, just tack that first because it's not going to work just by pressing it. Okay. So just go on a really long stitch length because later on you can take that out because it just it's not fabric that you can press with a hot iron. So I'm just going to tack this as I go along. Actually, I'm just thinking I don't need to do that side there. It's the other side that I need to do. No, no, I was right. Sorry, Vicky. That's right. um, and then when this attaches on, we'll just take that out because I, I hope I'm not wrong in this, but I'm definitely finding every time I, I put a needle through this fabric, it doesn't leave lots of holes. That's brilliant, isn't Whereas, it? Whereas I know normal yeah. oil cloth does, yeah. doesn't it? So we're just going to do that and then we'll attach it onto our actual piece. These are really good size pockets. They are. <laughs> and the thing is, like, they're functional pockets. They're not there just for display. You actually can put things in them. I do like your idea of doing patchwork. 
I know, with denim, it looks so nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I'm just, I've got this again on a really low, low heat and I'm just gently putting it on. I've got no steam, just to give it a nice press. So you would do that on both sides. As you can see, they, it does press, mm -hmm. but I haven't pressed too hard. Then we need to go to our front piece. Let me check which one's our front. Uh, that is the front, good. Do you always keep your pattern pieces attached always, to your fabric? Always, always. Until I come to use it, I always leave them on because, um, I know I've said this several times before, I never ever cut my pattern out and sew straight away. Yeah. I always feel that I have to cut it out first, then go away, come back the next day and then put it on. And sometimes you think, hang on, what piece is that? You wouldn't know, would you, unless you'd had it no. onto your pattern? No. Now, let me just see where our markings are for our pockets. I'm just... It's also... For the two views, A and B, it's the same front. All that, like we were saying earlier, all it is is cropped a bit shorter. Ah, so okay. it gives a bit of a boxier look, whereas I really like the trench coat look yeah. to this. I think it's a really, really pretty feature. Right, I'm just go in onto this side. I just want to know exactly where that pocket is going to be. Just put a snip in because this pocket is going to sit within the seam. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a patch pocket, it is going to sit within the seam. Just making sure this is absolutely right. Because I didn't make the sample up, so it's always weird when you don't make the sample up because you don't really try it out to start with the other one round. No problem. Let's put that onto there. But I'm definitely going to be making this again. I'm a bit gutted though that I've missed out on that pink oh I know I, we definitely need to ask to get some of that more some of that fabric back in because that is lovely it is isn't it just this is the exciting thing about dress maker is there's so many gorgeous fabrics there is and also you can show your personality through your yeah your clothes you just don't see things like that when you go out to the shops do no, you no you don't not at all and the thing is like you say okay there's several people today that have got that fabric, but you're never going to bump into that person when you're going out, are you? Yeah. So you're never going to have that moment where you're out in a shop or out for dinner and someone's got the same jacket on or the same top on as you. Oh, and if I did, I'd be like, oh, where did you get that fabric? Did yeah. you make it yourself? That would be an interesting conversation, wouldn't it? It would, it would. And I'm just going to unpick this, Vicky, because I went slightly wrong. Let me find the unpicker. <laughs> Oh, my oh I don't know if there is one in there. Is there one? Yeah. There is. There's always one. And did you crochet that cardigan as well? Yes, I did. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's my Love latest sleeves. my latest one. Um, I crochet a lot in the winter because I put the fire on and I just sit there going along. And my husband said I've got too many blankets, so I've started making tops and jumpers. Well, that socks. Um, so I have made some crochet socks. Is that um, your New Year's resolution? To knit. knit. And I have not done it yet, and I am a bit gutted because I'm just too nervous. If you can knit and crochet like all of these amazing garments, like I don't know how you can't do socks. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And Stuart, every time I'm on with him, he's like, "Look, Adele, I'll sit down with you and get it done." Um, but I just don't know. I, I can't get the tension right, and I am right. gutted. I am gutted. I don't know why I can't do it. Which, which very often is quite unusual for me because normally I give everything a go. Yeah. I'm just not sure why. <laughs> right. Just now going to put that within the seam. So this ends part here will be within the side seam of the coat. Okay. Again, we're just going to tack it in place. And then what we're going to do, these are all just tacking stitches. You saw a moment ago, it was so easy for me to remove them. We are just going to sew closer to the edge this time and attach it to the front. A bit like how we put the patchwork pockets on earlier. I really like that it's finished in the seam. Yes. Is that unusual for a pocket to be finished yes. in the side seam? 
Well, it's just a nice feature. It, is, it makes it? it look like it wasn't an afterthought. Yeah. It makes it look like this was an intentional pocket to go there rather than, oh, that's a nice jacket. Let's whack a pocket on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's been considered within. And I do, I do love a pocket because. I don't really carry a handbag anymore. <laughs> I honestly just, I find it a faff because like you're holding it and then like you want to do something, you have to put it down. Let me get rid of this other piece. I've I like the idea of having a really pieces. stylish raincoat. Yes. You know, mine are always like very, and, and it's always, you're always caught off guard, aren't you? That it can yeah. be suddenly one minute in this country and then all of a sudden, oh, you need your rain mac and I've just got like my, What's it one that's rolled up in a bag? Yeah, the Packamac thing. Yeah, and it looks awful. And this is quite lightweight. And like you said, it has draped to it. So making this version where you've got the belt, it won't look stiff when you've got that belt yeah. ruching up yeah. in the middle. It really is a beautiful fabric to to make a raincoat out of. I really like it in the bottle green. I think that's my favourite colour for the raincoat I have the rain to say that's option. my favourite. I really like that bottle green. Some people years ago would never wear green, but it's really come into fashion, hasn't it? Oh, I love green. So now what I've done is I've just taken my stitch length down to three because now I am attaching that pocket onto the front. And then in a moment, we'll undo all those tacking stitches that we had. And I purely put those tacking stitches in because this fabric, I don't want to press it too hot of an iron. Because it is a synthetic fabric. Do you think this would wash okay? Yeah, absolutely. But remember, if it's not dirty, wash it dirty. <laughs> I like the rhyme, that's good thinking. Yep. And our new washing machine, I've discovered a quick 20 minute oh, yeah. super wash, yeah. which has become very useful, Vicky, for when clothes from a teenager's floor gets discovered. And then oh, I Not need sure. that. Yeah, yeah. I need that for PE today. OK, well, you're going to have, a, have to wait 20 minutes and then I'll quickly put it in the tumble dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell that happened this week? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that's really good, though. I don't think mine does a 20-minute cycle. By the way, these little buckles that we were talking about earlier, I've just noticed that we've got the iridescent ones. Oh, wow. We had the iridescents in the bags with Jenny, and they were gorgeous. But we've got, um, like, a, a silver, a gold, a matte gold and then the iridescent the rainbow there's the rainbow it's only two pound 29 and i do think that would look so nice like oil on water next to the blue this would look really nice am i in the right place no i think it would look really nice with the pink canvas one as well i saw him doing the john james needles like this yesterday holding them up to his oh camera. really yeah right i am just unpicking those tacking stitches just to show you that it hasn't left holes. There it is. Look, it works. Don't look at that. Oh, yes. Here you go. In the background. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> there I've got it that I've just patched that on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do the mirror. I don't want to waste my time doing that to show you. We're going to quickly do the back, mm -hmm. put them together, and then let's get onto this sleeve. Yes, because it's, it's a, a setting sleeve, isn't it? It is a setting sleeve. And I, I must say, the amount of times I go, oh, it's not a setting sleeve. Brilliant, it's not a setting sleeve. But we don't want people to be scared of setting no. sleeves. Please just getting the ease so. right, isn't it? Yeah, it's just getting the ease. And again, it's just playing with the fabric, sitting down, on your, by your sewing room and just taking the time with it. Try not to rush it. How are we getting on with pattern, Ben? It's in your graphics, it's £25.50. Loads are gone, half the stock gone. Rest are in baskets. Remember, there's three different options. It's been so busy today, so busy. We love free P&P &P days. Now, the back, you don't cut it on a 
um, on a fold. Mm -hmm. There is a back centre seam. If you're making this version, you don't go all the way to the end. There is a vent, or if I just show you on here. Oh, at the back, nice. There I is. Like so we don't go all the way down. Mm -hmm. Just be mindful of that. But with the bomber, also the sleeves on the bomber have pockets. Mm -hmm. So it's an even different feature on that, that one. Oh yeah, I did spot that on the picture actually. And that's what I've started to notice with these independent pattern companies. Once upon a time it was just one. Yeah. One version. Whereas, you know, the big four patterns, you used mm -hmm. to get lots of versions in them. Now they've started to do a lot more versions. So there's my vent. So you do feel like you get your value yeah. for money because that's what we want, isn't it? Oh, well, we want to be able to use the pattern multiple times, don't we? Yeah, we don't want to just spend that money, use it once, and then that's it. And there are patterns out there, you know, like special occasion garments and things. Yes. You think, right, I'm going to wear that once. But when you're building a, a bit of a, a collection of things you want to wear, yep. these Absolutely. are perfect. We're all going to need a jacket. Yeah, and I am never afraid to look back through my pattern stash and go, well, what have I not made for a while? Yeah, yeah. So I've got a pattern that's sitting on my um, sewing table, ready to, for me to make. And it's one that I've got a dress already in, but this time I'm going to make the top version. Yeah, so it's yeah. going to feel completely different. I've just done the shoulder seam on that one side where I've got the, uh, the pocket. And now I'm just doing the side seam. And do you remember earlier where I tacked in that pockets that now becomes all part of the seam. Ah, all enclosed back. Yeah, and it's good just to tack that in so that when we're sewing now we know that pocket's going to be nice and flat. It's, yeah, not, it's not going good. to to bulk up and move out of place. Dad, would you finish these seams on your overlocker as yep, well? Yeah, absolutely. But with this fabric it really doesn't fray. So if you don't have an overlocker and you're just using this uh, zigzag stitch on this, it will still give the same great effect. And Christine noticed it's a normal foot, not a Teflon foot. No. It's not sticking. No, and that's what I said. So when I had it earlier, look, if I just get my jumper and I'm wearing this, it's yeah, going it's to move. It's not sticky at all. Yeah. If I just put it on now, look. Yeah. It's not sticky at all and it moves on my body. Yeah. So it's not, it's, it's difficult to describe without touching it, yeah. but as you touch it, doesn't yeah. feel sticky. But there is an option, not in the pattern, but there's somebody who's done a blog yes. on how to do a lining. Yeah. So if you do want to do a line lining for it, then you can. Absolutely. Right, I haven't done this right hand side. I've only done this side here. We've made our armhole. We're now going to put our sleeve within this. Fab. So I've got to remember which way is the front and back. So I remember which one I'm going to pop together. Because there is a front and a back there to a is, sleeve, isn't there? and we there? need to be really careful because this sleeve here, so as it sits here, can you see the sleeve naturally yeah. falls forward? Yeah. If we put it the wrong way around, they'll be like that. <laughs> yeah. Now, you wearing it will force it to go that way, but yeah. it will feel uncomfortable. It yeah. won't feel nice to wear at all. So I've got the back. I'm trying to remember which side if I... Can I pop it that onto there? Yeah. Just while you're working out, just yep. single figures, by the way, on John Scott's Threads of Life. Literally single figures. Oh, I'm so excited to call John and let him know on the, uh, the way back. Has he messaged you? It, hasn't he got his PT session today? I've, I've lost my talk back. The batteries have gone. Oh, yeah, he has PT. Very good looking PT. We've said that we really? want to include in Threads of Life. With a, um, yeah, a workout maybe. Keep yourself nice and fit. Four times a week. Four times a week. Yeah, going for it. Wow. Thank you, Lauren. Right, this top piece is the one. Now, I am literally just whizzing it because I am mindful of time. Yeah. You do need to take your time with this. Please don't rush. There we go. So I... That's an odd shape. I know it. <laughs> and that's the thing. Okay. Um, it's a sleeve that's got a top and a bottom. It's not a full sleeve that then you just roll up. Can you just pull that down so we can see yeah. that shape there? Look, that's what So I that's the underarm. Peculiar. 
Right. This part here is our seam allowance. Okay. And then in a moment, once I've sewn this side, we will sew that side together. Right, okay. And then we make ourselves like a tube. Well, our sleeve basically. And then it will go into it. And this is where we're going to talk about the ease that we need to include. And yeah, it's going straight through with a normal foot. It's not sticking at all. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Have you worked with this sort of fabric before? No, I haven't. I've done oil cloth before. Yeah. And um, yeah, that can get stuck in your foot. And also, like I said before, you have to use clips because the pins mm -hmm. just don't work with it very well. But you can see this has drape to it, so you won't feel rigid when you're wearing it as a raincoat. And everyone needs a good raincoat. To do the sleeve, do you need um, a free arm? No. No? No. I say no only because I've never used the free arm and I've always put lots of sleeves in. Right. So it'll be absolutely fine. Right. Oh. There we go. Then we pull that through. And there is your sleeve ready to go in, mm -hmm. okay? OK? So that part, as you see, that's the bottom part, is yeah. going to sit underneath. And then you've got this top part here. Now, where's my pattern piece? Because there's some important markings on the top here that you do need to be mindful of. Is this all in the instructions All well? in the instructions. Yeah, the instructions so you've got two notches to tell you that's the back. You've got one notch to tell you that it's front. Is thing. that universal? Yes. Even in America? Yeah. yeah perhaps. It's like a, a universal code. OK. And then you've got one here, and that tells you where it's going to match that top shoulder seam. OK. So that's the important part, because as I sit this here, you can see these are not central. That's not central to the, oh, yeah, the whole not. part. So you can't like fold it in half and find the centre. So are you going to no. mark that out with yep. some chalk or something or snip? Yep, just a snip. There's a bit of a debate on what do you use to mark your notches. Well, if I'd snip in, am I running the risk of snipping into my seam allowance? You do if you aren't confident with the sizing and you know that you need to make some adjustments with the sizing, yeah. then yes, you would yeah. be very mindful of that. Now, I'm going to take it up to the very, very longest uh, stitch length and then I'm going to do two rows of stitching mm -hmm. between my notches because that's going to then give me that lovely ease so I can ease it into the hole. Looks a bit of a mess down here. I've literally just thrown it all down. All the way down here and leave a long thread because you're going to use this to gather. Oh, so don't use the cutters on this. No. Point. We always love using that scissor button. Yeah. Sometimes like you can program them to cut automatically at the end of each six, six, stitch yes. sequence. But just be careful. And we're, as you can see already, it wants to gather up. I'm just going to pull on those threads, get a very small gather in place before I take it to the armhole. There we go. So I'm going to go back to this, inside out, right size to right size, post my sleeve through, match up where that top one notch matches my shoulder seam and then underneath as well there's another notch there that we just need and because I did a slight gather before it's gone in it's almost fitted already so let, let's lay this out so you can see what I'm doing mm -hmm. there's my sleeve there's the small gathers at the top, and as you can see, it now fits perfectly 
in that oh, hole. Yes. There's a slight little bit extra there, so I'm just going to pull on those threads, just take that bit of fabric out. And do you need to make sure these are all even when you're pulling it? Do you yeah. Need to like shimmy it around a bit. Yeah. Like that's why I'm not pulling one and taking it all the ah, way around. Just okay. pull both because I have pinned that sense point. Yeah. It's going to stop moving so because you don't want all the gathers sitting on the front or on the back I mean, it's going to be it's a very it's not a gather like no. obvious gather is it once this is in you, you don't, you really don't see it. it and also when you wear it it makes it stand a little bit prouder on the, the shoulder so it, it's if you start this is what I did once I started dressmaking it makes you look at the garments that you've already bought and mm -hmm. in shops and you do start to notice how clothes are put together also, you notice all the mistakes. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet you think, actually, I'd, I'd do that differently. Or well, it's not. pattern matching yeah. on shop bought. Yeah. Very poor, I'd say. <laughs> Little consideration. But because it's mass made, isn't it? Yeah. People don't consider where that pattern's going to go. And if it was on a pair of trousers and it's in the wrong place, it yeah. could yeah. look very, very <laughs> silly. Just going to go all the way around. This is where you would put plenty of pins to hold it. Absolutely. You want to hold all of this in place. And this is the thing with dressmaking. I'm not trying to pin as it's flat. I'm holding it up because as we start to sew, we are making a 3D object now. Right. So we have to allow it to to want to stand up in the right places, sit down in the right places. Don't ever try and pin, like, don't try and pin like this. Right. Flat like that. Okay, no, that's a really good point. It's not how it's going to be sitting. No, you want it, it's a 3D, it's a 3D piece of fabric now. Yeah. And as I've done it like that, you can see it now wants to sit up. So we're now going to sew all the way around. And this is the part that I would think, right, do you need a free arm? How are you going to manoeuvre this round? Slow and steady okay. wins the race. So it's not tight, so you'll be absolutely fine going around. Is there a certain place that you start? You I start always start on the underneath. Okay. Purely because that's where it sometimes can be a little bit messy. No one looks under your arm, do they? <laughs> well, Ben looks under everybody's arm. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Has he never asked you to have a look at your arm? No. No, <laughs> no I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you want to keep moving this around. You're not going to be able to do this in one full seam. You do have to keep manipulating it and making sure that the, the gathers are only in that top part and you're not creating gathers in the wrong places or pinching in the wrong places. Right. Now, what I've discovered in, in the past is having clips here are really useful. Right, yes. I love, I love a clip. Well, you don't end up leaving pins in, do you? No, you know it's there and you can, can sew it. almost right up to it before you take it out. But I tidied my sewing room and I've forgotten where I put my, pin, uh, my clip, so I need <laughs> another tidy up. <laughs> Almost done. How are we doing for time? That's We've right. got... Oh, I've got this bit left. And then... Plenty of time, Adele. Lovely. Eight minutes. Five minutes with you, Adele. There we go. Pull that round to the other side. Oh, and that looks so lovely and neat. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. I'm just going to take these gathering stitches out. And as I take these gathering stitches out, that shoulder will sit even nicer because we... I'll leave the gathering stitch on the inside. Did you do two rows of gathering I stitches? I did, yeah. just to give me some stability. When I'm... I used to always do one, and then I found that often it would fold up or gather in the wrong places it was oh. going through. Having two just allows you to have more even distribution of I always gathers. thought it was because you might break one when you put it. That as well. <laughs> yeah, that's but happened before. 
but it's more so it's more well look, if you've yeah, got one gather and then you're sewing yeah that piece of fabric is able to move yeah whereas if you've got two gathers and you're sewing in between it ah yeah that makes sense it just allows that gather to be a bit nicer distributed right I'll just get this on the end and then I'll pop it back on the mannequin so you can now see that shoulder seam. Everyone is loving your demos today. Very thorough demo as always from Adele. Thank oh, you so thank much. you. We love you Adele. Oh, I just end up being like teach Adele. <laughs> I know, but we love it. We learn so much from a teacher Adele. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, look. Oh, gorgeous. That looks really nice, doesn't it? In that fabric as well. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, when I first saw it, I thought, mm, is it, how is it going to work? Is it going to drape? And it works really nicely. Yeah, so it? let me just pin it in the place and then you can actually see this front part does fold over. So this part will all be part of the, the collar. The collar. Yeah. Oh, that's looking lovely. Yeah. Happy with that. Up there. And as you can see, it yeah. has a lovely shape to it, doesn't it? It does. So if you've never made a raincoat, uh -huh. this is going to be a really good option to have. That will obviously be out because that's where my tack tacking yeah. stitch is. But you can't even see where that was. No. And then a belt. <gasps> Make it look. Oh, yes, since you in. <gasps> Move my hands out the way. Oh, we love it. Look how nice that is. I've got the belt piece. Oh, actually. go for it, everybody. Let's... Whichever um, colourway you go for. I really am loving this. Is the pink fabric. canvas gone? Um, keep, yeah, I think it has gone. Is this one gone, Ben? Yeah. And this one gone? Yeah. Sorry, Adele. It would look really nice. We're going to ask and see if we can get any more of those going forward from the buying team because we love those fabrics there and we they go, flew look. out. It's too that late would to say, be normally folded in. Nice! Oh, that would look so smart. See, that's what I mean about a really smart there, but practical coat. Beautiful. Love it. Thank you so much, Adele. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, we will see you very soon. Have you got a date? You're back yeah, with us? Yeah, the 11th of February. 11th of Feb. We shall see you there. Yeah, another coat as well. Oh, nice. Brilliant. Um, don't forget, check out your basket on all of the items from today, even the little bits and bobs, because it's free PMP until midnight tonight. So even though we're going off air now, um, you can shop on the web, use the web shop, the code. You can use the codes as many times as you want. It isn't just limited to one purchase. So if you think later on, oh, actually, I could do with some H640 or I need some more wadding or some more refills, do it. It will all combine your order at midnight tonight and you, you'll get free PMP. Speaking of free PMP, it's the only time that we'll be able to give you free PMP with the John Scott Threads of Life subscription. It's nothing to do with Sewing Street. We're so proud of John for the new platform that he's launching. It launches on the 5th of February. And there's a massive prize draw for anybody who purchases before then. So if you're getting involved via Sewing Street, you get the benefit of having split pay. We had thousands of people sign up today. We were down to three left at the last minute Haley has got in touch to let you know there is more for the rest of the day just to make sure that anybody who is watching on a replay fingers crossed you also can subscribe um, the amount that we've been given is less than both of the first two amounts that have both sold out but if you're watching on a replay call the call center use the split pay definitely use your free pmp as well it'll all be on the website i will show you where it'll be so as we come off air click on watch live it will be there it will be there this is the one that you're going to want to use the code there because if you scroll down you'll see ones that have sold out so there'll be ones that are sold out. Anyway, everything's all there. What an amazing, amazing show we've had today. Well done, every single person who's got involved. If you haven't yet got your subscription for Threads of Life, it's a, a, an online platform. There's an app. You can watch it on your smartphone, your computer. You can cast it to your TV. There's a community with competitions. There's sew-alongs. There's sewing surgeries. There's loads of videos that have already been filmed. Over the year, you will have watched over 100 hours of fantastic content half 
half of it going to be sewing related, half of it's going to be, um, you know, talking to some of his celeb friends, doing John Scott life stories, doing baking and cooking. And uh, I know his brother's involved with uh, Dr. Mike's surgery. There's loads Ooh. going on. It's going to be amazing. Uh, it's like a mini Netflix. If you can't get enough John Scott in your life, then you've got to sign up to this. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> We all haven't got enough John Scott in our life, have we? We need more. Um, and he'll be doing a monthly catch-up live every day so you can still speak to him as part of the community. Um, it's only available on Split Pay through Sewing Street, though, so take advantage of the three-way 0% interest Split Pay today. Uh, and well done, everybody who subscribes. I know that John is absolutely overwhelmed. Honestly, he was genuinely shaking. He was so nervous and just so excited is I've never seen him like it I can't wait for the launch day we're all going to be there supporting him so it's going to be so exciting um right tomorrow's show should we have a look at the menu I'm not back until Friday now so thank you for a lovely day today I'll see you later on in the week but tomorrow Adam Brooks is here um with some more amazing dressmaking for you so you've got Dre June Taylor products at a project's at eight o'clock. Uh, nine o'clock, you've got the Rotting Dean blouse um, with Adam, and then you've got the Big Heart quilt. Who's presenting tomorrow? Is it Monday? Tuesday? Monday? Is it Bex tomorrow? Oh, I think it might be Stuart, actually. I think it's Stuart tomorrow. Sussex Seamstress Dress Patterns with Adam at 11. And then 12 o'clock, you've got Brother Sewing Machines. I believe it's all with Stuart, so he'll be back. But remember, Free p, p only lasts till midnight tonight. Fill your boots. Use that as many times as you like. It's been an absolute pleasure today. Thank you so much to Adele, Jenny Jackson, and of course, the amazing Johnny Scott. And thank you for uh, yeah letting us have free p, p all day today, John. That doesn't happen lightly, does it? So definitely make most of it. Hobby Maker's going to be continuing with Keith. On the other side, there he is. Um, stay exactly where you are for more crafting and we will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Don't forget, subscribe to Threads of Live and John's Live on Facebook at four. We'll see you, bye.